I can read the chat. The fact that none of you have like any faith in me to, to do this more than <laughs> once a month, it hurts, you know? I'm reading messages like, oh, this is dangerously close to a trend. Ooh, two, two streams in a row. You know what, fuck you. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna stream again in six months' time. That's what you want. You don't get- you're not the boss of me. <laughs> you don't command how I stream. Just sitting there, making- making quips and jibes. I was gonna stream now, but no, you gotta wait a minute. I'm gonna eat this, uh, this Reese's peanut butter egg that I've got. Okay? You don't get this. Listen. Mmm. Egg. stream right now. Not going to. You don't deserve this. Should have rubbed you on my hair. Didn't. Couldn't be bothered. Egg chewing. Oh, Noah is already in game. The absolute babe. He knows. He knows what's about to happen. It's about to be four hours of me being lazy. Ten seconds. Will I start? Who knows? Might not. Might that I get to one and count down. Yeah, what do I do now? Oh, that's my alarm going off on my phone to actually stream. Hang on. Look at me being all prepared and stuff. Hang on. I'll finish this egg. It's not an egg. It's like egg shaped. Uh, hang on, I'll, it'll be easy to show you. Hang on. Right. Okay. Stream's off to a strong start. We have to discuss the shape of an egg. Because... Not sponsored, but... Right. These things. Okay? Like, it says egg. I didn't realize it would chroma key itself out. It says egg. If you've just joined and you're thinking, Ooh, some RuneScape! No, wait. Alright? We have a lot to discuss before this happens. Reese's peanut butter egg. I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah, oval. Peanut butter oval I would have accepted. But listen, right? We found that you can buy boxes of them at wholesalers. Boxes. The box cost four quid. The individual things themselves cost like two quid. The box contains like 40 of them. We bought something like 60 quids worth of peanut butter ovals for like five pound. It was ridiculous. Visa says, can you please move the chat? I have to edit the chat afterwards over it. Done. Okay. Right, for those of you who have not joined before, let me explain what lazy man mode is. Right, I've uh, I've changed the rules a little bit since uh, since the previous lazy man mode uh, because it makes it even more lazy. Turns out that the the lazy man mode rules that we had in place were actually remarkably difficult. Like it was it was a lot of effort being put in. It's okay, hang on, Visa. I'll make it a little bit easier for you. I'll pop it down here. We'll uh, we'll stick that just there, and then we'll move that to. Look at me being all professional. See? Oh, hang on. Wait, there we go, and beautiful. Now it's like it's coming out of the chat box itself, fantastic. So, the previous lazy man mode rules we had were actually really, really, really uh, restrictive for what I could and couldn't do. So here's how lazy man works. Uh, I want to get a RuneScape quest gate, but I want to do as little work as possible, which means while I will take over when it's required, I mostly want you guys to do the work for me. Oh, I've gone with the cloaked mug again. I keep doing, I don't do this on purpose, but this is always here. So here's what's uh, what's gonna happen. You're seeing an, an ad under the screen. So this is it. It's just here. Beautiful stuff. This is how you read chat. This is how you read in-game chat. You just wait for me to move the mug across it like that. Also, you'll notice that we're in a member's world. Now put the mug over your face. This is how we're playing RuneScape from now on. You will notice that we are in a member's world because I redeemed the bond that somebody gave me last time. Here's how this works. Uh, I am going to try and do quests, but you are going to do it all for me. Like, I really can't be bothered to, uh, to to do much work, 
So you're going to give me the items. You know how Iron Man characters are like, oh, I'm going to do everything on my own with no assistance from the outside world. Uh, no, I'm going to the opposite. I'm going to do everything with your assistance and nothing on my own. So I believe I've got the little quest thing up. The next quest we need to do is Gertrude's Cat. Allow me to just double check where Gertrude's Cat starts and finishes. Uh, I can start this quest by talking to Gertrude at her home west of Varrock. I don't think we need anything for this. I'll uh, open the little quest helper up just in case. Let's see, yep, Gertrude's cat, there we go. What do we need for Gertrude's cat? We need basically nothing. Uh, oh, no, hang on, we need a bucket of milk, some coins, and a raw sardine. It's fine, all those things are tradable. You can just give me all those things, not a problem. Right, uh, Noah, do you mind uh, walking over to Varrock? I just can't be bothered to walk there, to be honest. All right, sweet. This is, uh, this is reaction content right now, guys. This is how the stream is working from now on. Is this my main? No, but it might be. Noah, that is not Varrock. Unless you're going the other way. You're going the other way to Varrock? Noah, what the hell? Who goes this way? This is... What? No! Cross the bridge, gang! Who walks this way to Varrock? Don't you tell me to sh... Noah. You... I... Okay, right, guys. This is like when you get back to Lumbridge Castle. Do you go left or right? You obviously go left. You know, left stairs, gang. That's how it should work. Straight away. But Noah's like, no, nah, I'm going to take the... Uh, I'm going to take the western route to Varrock. This is ridiculous. Only psychopaths don't cross the River Lom on the way to Varrock. Noah, where are you going? Are you taking me into death? Okay, now for those of you who watched the previous Lazy Man mode, and I'm going to explain one slight difference. I can take over if I feel it's something that I would do better than you. That's pretty much it. That's the new thing. So I'm going to do as little work as possible. So the whole point of this mode is to enhance my interaction with the chat. That's what it is. And if I can just interact with the chat, I'll, I'll do that. If I can't interact with the chat and I've got to do something, I'll do that instead. But, I mean, this route's... it's okay. Noah, what are you doing? What? So have I got to click on the stepping stone now? Yeah, I need 31 agility to tackle this obstacle, Noah. This is the opposite of lazy man mode. You're asking me to train agility. That's the opposite of lazy man. Like, that's a lot of effort. You thought you were being really clever, being really smart, bringing me to, you know, Varrock this way. Nah, man. Go, yeah, go grind agility for me, Noah. Take me to an agility course and tell me to keep jumping. You want to do that, I'll do that. Well, the reason that they're doing quests in this very specific order is simply so I can get the quest cape as easy as possible with as little grinding as possible. I am also aware that I'm Noah is the only person currently around. If you are a RuneScape member and you wish to take part in this crazy challenge of can I get a quest gate by pretty much entirely relying on the community you can uh, hop on over to world, what world are we on right now? 342 which I think appropriately is the role playing world because we are role playing as, uh, as a lazy streamer no way I'm catching Josh live for once, yes you are, welcome welcome pressed, is that uh, a 14 logo I see in your name? Amazon shut up no one is involving you in this conversation. You're not even plugged in. How... Thanks. Thanks, Alexa. All right, Temptation's here as well. Fantastic, we've got some more people. Beautiful. Oh, Temptation is trading with me. I'll accept a trade. What's going on? Are we going to get... Is this the stuff I'll need for Gertrude's cat? 100 Varrock teleport tablets. I mean, that seems pretty, uh, pretty baller to me. I'll take that. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Are we using a Varrock teleport tablet? If you told me to do it, I'll do it. All right, sweet. Off to Varrock we go. Beautiful. So much easier. Just wanted to pop in and say thank you. You're more than welcome. Followed your Vengeance Demon Hunter Guide. Good class. I did so poorly I was kicked from my Toxic Raiding Guild. Yes, this is exactly what I was trying to do. Found a new group. Now I'm much happier. Still terrible at tanking, though. It's okay. If you followed the actual advice in the guide, you'd have been kicked a lot quicker. That's what it was. Who is this beautiful person? Oh, that's, uh, that, that's Noah right there. Okay, Noah, I'm going to need you to take me to wherever Gertrude's cast starts. Can I switch to free-to-play worlds for free-to-play quests? Yeah, sure. When we do free-to-play quests, I'll hop over to the free-to-play world. But we're doing the members' quests right now because there's a lot of members' quests. It's much, much easier. Hello, Josh. Nice. I finally get to watch you live. Oh, don't get your hopes up. All right, it's not going to be a good stream. People always are like, you know, oh, it's amazing. Hang on, Temptation, you're trading with me again. What's happening, Temptation? So many trades going on. 100 coins, sardine, milk. Fantastic. Going to need those for the quest. Beautiful stuff. I don't know why people think RuneScape is hard. 
It really, really isn't. All you need is a thousand people watching you play it, and then a small army of people giving you everything you need to complete the game. Uh, you need to catch a fresh fish. Cats don't like stale sardines. Uh, Apoc, I don't need to do anything. Right, I'm going to talk to her. Yo, Gertrude, how's it going? Hello. Are you okay? Do I look okay? Those kids drive me crazy. I'm sorry. It's just that I've lost her. Lost who? Fluffs. Poor Fluffs. She never hurt anyone. Look, Gertrude's been through a lot in her life. That's what she sounds like, okay? Don't judge. Who's Fluffs? Me beloved feline friend Fluffs. She's been purring by my side for almost a decade. Pl Why have we gone to that accent? Please, could you go search for her while I look over the kids? Yeah, sure. Why not? I suppose I could. Really? Thank you so much. <laughs> I really have no idea where she could be. I think me sons, Shylock and Willow, saw the cat last. They'll be out in the marketplace. All right. Then I'll see what I can do. Acting. Acting is what really makes RuneScape RuneScape. That's what it is. Okay, cool. So uh, we need to go to... Where are we going to? Who's saying, why so busy? GMP Steve. Steve, mate, we're busy because of it's it's a focus. Right, I need... Uh, I'm going to grab you. Temptation. Follow. Let's pop over to... We've got to talk to the kids, haven't we? What is my acting experience? Uh, mostly negative, but uh, I, I, I get by. Uh, no, I, I went to university. I learned how to act properly. Yeah, I walked onto the stage. I acted. And uh, some... Get, Steve? Steve, are you, uh, are you watching us, Steve? Steve, you best be involved, mate. Steve, jump on the chat. Come on, come and join us. Who's first time playing? Hang on, kinda. Hop on Twitch. Josh Strife Hayes. Oh, look at me advertising myself. Dude, dude, this is beautiful. We've got people from the game. Oh, by the way, I um, little little secret for you guys. I I contacted one of my my friends who works for Jagex, and I said, hey, um. When a player is in an instance by themselves, uh, a zone that no other players can get to, can Jagex staff still see them and log in and interact with them? And he went, uh, yeah. And I thought, fantastic. That means if we're ever in a quest-only instance, we can just get Mod Shogun down. You know? Beautiful. Done. Not a problem at all. I'm just going to phone him up and be like, Shogun... Shogun, I know that you work for RuneScape 3 now. I know that you were responsible for the entire mining and smithing update. I get it. You know, you're busy. You're a busy lad. I understand that. Forget all that. Stop. Get on a Jagex account. Jump into old school. I need to follow you. That's what I need to happen. What a lovely mug. Thank you. It's uh, made of cherries and antimatter, apparently. Uh, you forgot the Dougal leaf. Oh, for God's sake. God damn it. We can't do the. Go back. Temptation, go back. We need to go back and get the Dougal Leaf. Because you need to rub the Dougal Leaf on the salmon to do the thing. Look, talk to Gertrude. Pick up some Dougal Leaves. We've not got the press tablet. I'm going to press the tablet. I'm back to Varrock. You guys can come and grab me. I'm going to wait for you there. Okay? Utter, utter waste of time. I can't believe that. Temptation, you let us down. You let me down. Uh, Josh, can you please move Can We can't see the in-game chat. Yeah, sure. There you go. Noah, I'm going to follow you instead. Noah, I'm trusting you on this one, mate. We need to see the winter. The stream is let down. Yeah, I'm let down. The stream is let down. Your family's honor. Jagex as a company. Right click sardine for a second. You. Okay, so. Apparently. Season sardines are in fact tradable. And. I genuinely thought they were a quest-only item. I thought you had to get given a sardine, pick up a dual leaf, and then season it. Which would make it a quest item and therefore untradeable. However, apparently, seasoned sardines are tradable, and we got given one. Uh, my bad. And you know what? I think I owe Temptation an apology there. I, you did not let your family down. You did not let Jagex down. You've most definitely not let me down. Game whispers give me strength, Josh. Look, okay. It's, it's, this is a long journey. <laughs> We're going to be here for a while. I've got all the time in the world, okay? This is literally my job. I can sit here and let you guys play RuneScape for me all day. 
All I've got to do is drink a cup of tea, eat a few more Reese's eggs, might even grab a, uh, might grab an energy drink later for all the energy that I'm spending sitting here. This is why we can't have nice things. It is. Can you make yourself bigger? I can still see the in-game chat. Yeah, sure. Hang on. Let me help you out with that. Done. There you go. Yeah, this is better than being uh, hundreds of kill count dry at the Corrupted Gauntlet. Good. What do you have to say for yourself, young man? You know what, Temptation? You are right. I am sorry. I apologize. I made a mistake. And you are right. Right, I've got to look in these stupid boxes now, haven't I? Uh, pick up some doogle leaves, use your doogle leaves, talk to Sh It says talk to Shiloh or Willow in Varrock, and then the secret playground. Use the bucket of milk on Gertrude's cat upstairs in the lumberyard northeast of Varrock. That's upstairs in the lumberyard, isn't it? Right. Um, who am I following for this? Okay, so Noah, I'm going to trust you, mate, with this one. Take me to the, the ladder, please. I'm not going upstairs without this. What's the goal of the account? Get as far as I can, doing as little as possible. Josh, can you recommend me some Harry Potter fan fiction? Well, thank God you finally asked, because this is one of the few things I know a great deal of knowledge about, just absolutely encyclopedic knowledge. Hey, there we are, Gertrude's cat. Use bucket of milk. Use bucket of milk on Gertrude's cat. There we go. Okay, cool. The cat doesn't seem to be thirsty. Interesting. Um, use a seasoned sardine on Gertrude's cat. Do we do that next? Who, who's throwing snowballs? So, use seasoned sardine on Gertrude's cat. The cat doesn't seem to be hungry. Search for a kitten in the crates of the lumberyard. Okay, so I'm guessing we go back down the ladder. You haven't talked to the NPCs in Varrock. No, we haven't. Talk to Shylop or Willow in the Varrock Square. Did we need to do that? Hang on, no. Someone is about to owe me an apology. Did we need to talk to the NPCs in Varrock? Did we need to talk to Shiloh and Willow? Is that a thing we had to do? I think it might have been Sweden. Hello to you. S your, your Twitch username is Sweden. An entire country on Twitch. That's really impressive. Right. Let's go back to Varrock. And I... Oh! Oh, hang on. Oh, how the turntables. Look at those two NPCs I see in the top over there. So these guys, look, see them? Ben, see? Shiloh, Willow. Oh! Turns out we did need to talk to people in Varrock. You know what, Temptation, you can lead me over there. See? And what do you have to say for yourself, young man? Thank you. Right, Willow, I'll, I'll sort this out. Don't worry. Leave this to a professional. Here we go. Right. Hello, I've been looking for you. I didn't mean to take it. I just forgot to pay. What? I'm trying to help your mum find fluffs. Oh. Well, in that case, I might be able to help. Fluff followed me to my secret play area. I haven't seen her since. Uh, where's the play area? I told you that. It wouldn't be a secret. Well, what will make you tell me, mate? You know, I'm going to beat you up. Well, now you ask, I'm a little bit short on cash. How much? One hundred coins should cover it. Uh, the lisp sounds insulting. It does, but that's just how he sounds, Okay. This is the, it's my impression of Bickus Dickus from Monty Python and the Life of Brian. That's what it was. Although yesterday I did check to make sure that all of the accents I were doing or was doing were completely appropriate. We had the entire German community completely agree that my German accent was absolutely spot on. Can't read dialogue, you put your cup down. That's hang, yeah. Hang on, let's just do. 100 coins, why should I pay you? This is how we're doing it from now on. You shouldn't, but I... There's a cherry in the way. But I won't help otherwise. I never liked that cat anyway. What do you say? Is this how you want to play? Is this really how you want to play the game? I mean, I can do it. I can... Yeah, can confirm. The German accent was absolutely spot on. This is absolutely... It was perfect. Um, no, that was uh, the Germans' attempted sarcasm. They're not great at it. That's true. They are a, a very, very sarcastic people. Right, here we go. Uh, yeah, I'll give you some money. I will give this... You give the lad 100 coins. Where's Fluffs? You know what? You're right. I don't want to insult anyone. Therefore, I am only going to do normal accents from now on. Should we do, like, AI-style accents? I play at an abandoned lumber mill to the northeast, just beyond the Jolly Boar Inn. I saw Fluffs running around in there. Anything else? Well, you'll have to find the broken fence to get in. I'm sure you can manage that. There we go. We're just doing AI from now on. That's all we're doing. Every single thing is in an AI accent. 
That's how every other character sounds. Right, you know what? Noah, I believe you and I trust you. Let's pop back over. Oh, hang on. This Advant wishes to trade with you. I will always accept a trade. If people are going to give me free stuff, I'm like, this is the this is peak streamer. Lumberyard teleport. We are being peak lazy. Oh, this is beautiful. Lumberyard teleport. I'm going to use that. Don't even need to walk. Fantastic. And me being all the way over here straight away. Perfect. That's what lazy man mode should be. Okay, so if you're getting involved in lazy man mode, I need you to... Snake, I'm going to trust you on this one, Snake. Snake Queen wishes to trade. I'll accept free stuff, no problem at all. Stamina potion, stamina potion, stamina potion, super energy, and a stamina potion noted. 20 super energy, some stamina potions. Beautiful stuff. Class, yeah, I'm, I'm learning from Asmon. I'm slowly getting better. People are like, hey, you should... Uh, what are the new rules exactly? Ah, right. So the new rules are I'm allowed to do whatever I want whenever I want, but if I can't be bothered to do it, you have to do it for me, and I can change what I feel like doing at any given moment. That's what it is. Uh, basically, there we go, follow. So I really couldn't be bothered. See, I could click there, but I want you to take me to within one square of there. Then I can go over there. Now I know what I'm doing, see? So much easier. Seems like good rules. Much good rules. And now, uh, Snake Queen, if you could take me to the ladder over there, please, that'd be great. If you can get me within three or four squares of it, then I'll go up. Can't be bothered. It's, yeah, it's kind of like a, it's like, um, babysit mode. That's what it is. You guys have to take me around RuneScape and slowly we will you know, complete quests together. That's what it will be. Right, use bucket of milk on the cat. Sometimes I'll be really strict with the two or three squares rule. Sometimes I'll be much more, you know, chilled out with the two or three squares rule. But we will, together, if I ever do get that quest cape, it will be because you guys have done the vast majority of the work. Hey, just just followed you, but I watch you on YouTube and Asmon Reacts. I appreciate that. If you could do me a favor and watch my original video first and then Asmon's reaction to it, that would be swell, because that way I earn more money. I mean... That's just the, the long and short of it. That's just the truth. You know, I appreciate people reacting to videos, and if you feel you've got something you want to add to it, absolutely fine. Reaction content is something I will need to talk about in the future, in general, because a lot of people say, I have people come up to me and go, oh, I don't watch your videos, I just watch the reactions to them. I'm like, cool. I, I, fuck me then, you know? I'll just stop making them. That sounds great. I wonder how long before Josh starts ninja looting. I've already started, okay? I am literally just going to take anything you give me. I'm going to click on these crates and see if I can grab the cats. I think they're on this crate. You find a kitten, you place it in your backpack. Check me out knowing what to do. Uh, really earning that str- I am. I am. React bros should have won- Oh, they really shouldn't have done. Let's climb up the ladder again. Give the, the cat back to the other cat. I use adblock on YouTube, but Twitch doesn't- Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Do you get any less money from a video if it's muted? Uh, I don't know, actually. I genuinely don't know. That's, um... That's actually something I'd have to look into. I have no problem with reaction content, provided the reaction is adding value to the discussion that's being had within the actual, you know, content itself. Uh, the issue is when people use reaction content as a replacement for doing any actual work or effort. Because if someone... I mean, there's a reason that I haven't reacted to other people's videos. If someone spends weeks and weeks and weeks, or, you know, days or days, or even months, on creating a video, they only see the income from people who watch that. If I were to then go and react to that, I could react to 10 videos in the time it takes me to make one. And because the reactions are longer than the original video, I would then make more money than the person who made the original video. Especially because I don't need to put the effort into researching, scripting, recording, editing, uploading, advertising, all that kind of stuff. It would effectively be me saying, right, I'm going to use my, my popularity to take this work, this work, this work, this work, and this work, and react to all of them. And I c if... I mean, consider this. I could spend a week making a worst MMO ever episode, or I could spend all week on Twitch reacting to literally hundreds of videos. We could upload all of those as full videos to YouTube or clips, and I could make a hundred times more money than if I did that. The reason I don't do that is because I don't believe that is adding as much value to YouTube as me making a single episode of worst MMO ever. I think that's what I value doing. Now, people always go and they, they argue back and they say, well, that's awful because you gained a huge boost in popularity from React content from various people. 
Absolutely. You cannot deny that. Two things can be equally true. And this is the kind of like the paradox of the reaction content. You can absolutely gain a huge amount of exposure as a smaller YouTuber or a small Twitch streamer from someone who has a much bigger audience reacting to your stuff. Absolutely true. Happened to me through Asmongold. But there will reach almost a glass ceiling, if you will, where the exposure that you're being given is now no longer an advantage and instead it is derivative of the work that you create it what starts off as a almost symbiotic relationship ends up being quite parasitic because you're no longer creating work to be seen i think we've uh, nearly nearly finished by the way let me double check yeah there we go we have completed Gertrude's cat. Congratulations, people. So, yeah, one of those things is, um, Josh, didn't they streamed? I do indeed. You're okay with an actual history professor reacting to people making historical meme videos? Yeah, that'd be great. Really cool. Uh, and more than just someone nodding along going, yeah, 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 that's correct. I mean, think about it right now. Uh, I love Wicked Wiz. I love his videos. I think they're absolutely fantastic. They're really funny. If I were to go and watch every single one of Wicked Wiz's videos and just react to them, I would be able to upload those to YouTube, make more money than Wicked Wiz did making them, and have put in basically no effort to actually create them. This is one of those things, which is why, if I was going to react to videos, I would react to my own old streams, or my own old videos. Oh, Wicked Wiz is great. I'm, I've met him a couple of times. He's a really lovely lad. I'm really happy he's been able to, uh, to find success in the way he has. So this is why I want to talk to you guys about this kind of stuff, because people go, oh, you, you must hate reaction content. I think it has value, but what puts me off is watching someone, and Asmon's a very funny guy. He's a very funny guy, he's a very nice guy, I spoke to him a free time before. He did me a massive favor being involved in one of my videos. But when I see that he's uploaded three or four videos a week of reacting to other people's work, there's no way that he would have been able to make those videos in a week. He wouldn't have been able to research, script, edit, and upload them. So he's taken no risks in doing that. That's, I think, what irritates me about it. When you are a smaller content creator, there is a huge amount of risk to be taken in creating work. When you're a bigger content creator, there's no risk in simply reacting to someone else's work because you're pretty much guaranteed to make more money than that. Yeah, it's... Um, how do I feel about reactions to reactions? Again, that's... And that's one of those questions, is it adding value? Because I made a 20 minute video, Aswan made a 30 minute reaction, so I made a three hour reaction to that. That's when you start to get meta, that's when you start to make jokes about it. I think the next quest we should do is Dwarf Cannon. Gives access to the Dwarven Cannon and takes us up to 11 crafting. So, Dwarf Cannon, let's do it. That is the next plan. We need stamina potions. No item requirements whatsoever for Dwarf Cannon, but Kitaria wishes to trade, I will accept that trade. What are we on about? What about reactions to reactions? We've got a Cabbage Round Shield, an Iron Dagger Poison Plus Plus, a Falador Teleport, Necklace of Passage, all the Restore Potions, an absolute crap load of Teleports for all around, and a trimmed Amulet of Glory. Spoon Fed. Spoon Fed, boys! <laughs> let's wear the Amulet of Glory. Uh, let's wield the Iron Dagger Poison Plus Plus. It's the best thing I can... Uh... Someone just said, how do I make money with my skills? It's very easy, mate. Uh, spend five years making YouTube videos, then have people give you stuff. Remarkably simple. Super. Wield the Cabbage Round Shield. Done. Turn on Accept Aid. Can do. I'll do that in a second. Am I the ultimate twink? Pretty much. Pretty much. Am I going to make a Was It Good for Tomb Raider 2? Yes, I absolutely am. I absolutely am. So yeah, talking about reaction content, we need to go to... Where are we going to? Um, oh, hang on. You want me to turn Accept Aid on? Accept Aid is currently on. That's fine. I've just turned it on. We need to uh, teleport you to Camelot. Sweet, we can do that. Lazy streamers all talk, no play. Yeah, of course. That's the, that's the lazy part of it. I miss your old vlogs. We consider making more. I would love to make more vlogs. Unfortunately, it's just time con it's time constraints, honestly. Temptation, I'm trusting you to get me to wherever Dwarf Cannon starts. And if I die, I lose all the stuff in my, uh, in my thing. In fact, should we go and bank a few things? Let's go and bank a few things. I think we should probably bank. So let, when we run by a bank in Sears Village, I will chuck some of this stuff into the bank. Thank you, by the way, for giving me all of this stuff. It's it's going to make my my life like a heck of a lot easier, without a doubt. Don't need you. Cake's fine. We'll put the bucket away. We'll put like a like a hundred Varrock teleports away. We probably don't need a hundred of those. Everything else can be stored. Um, yeah, just chuck all these things away. If we need to get to a bank, we'll just walk to the bank. It's not a problem. 
Yeah, that seems good to me. Haven't played RuneScape in five years. If I were to get back into it, would you recommend old school or new school versions? That is a good question. You know what? I am going to ask the... Ask... Let's just wield the Cabbage Round Shield. You need a defense level of 30. Ah, my defense level is currently 1. So we're going to have to wait for that for a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll chuck that in the bank. We'll grab that as and when we can. And I'm going to follow Temptation again. Right, following you again. Sweet, we got this. RuneScape 3 or RuneScape Old School? Let's do a poll in the chat. Let's find out. What do you guys think? Uh, best RuneScape. Best version of RS. We've, I mean, you're going to get obviously a little bit of a biased result right now, but you've got Old School RuneScape, RuneScape 3. There's a poll in the chat running right now. Install the Optimal Quest Guide RuneLite plugin. I could do that, Noah, but I've got the Wikipedia page open behind me, so I'm just going through that right now. But we start in... Where does this start? Dwarf Cannon. Talk to Captain Lorgoff near the coal truck mining site north of the fishing guild west of Magruber's Wood. Yeah, I think I know where that is. I think that's over there? I don't... Is it this way? It's west of Magruber's Wood. Is this Magruber's Wood? Oh, we have to go all the way around, don't we? I think we go all the way around. Yeah, cool. Never played any, so I don't know. If it's 50-50, do you restart RuneScape? I might need to. The best positive reaction channels is that most of these people who would... Uh, yeah... Reaction someone so reaction is it's RuneScape Chronicles, obviously. Obviously, RuneScape Chronicles is the best version of RuneScape. We know that. Never forget what they took from you. But it's very difficult to talk about reaction content having both positives and negatives without people immediately assuming that I'm being incredibly ungrateful for the boost in popularity that I was clearly given through Asmongold reacting to my stuff. It's difficult to have that conversation without people understanding there are nuances with this. There are there are levels of nuance within it. There are positives and there are negatives. But it's it's a conversation that I try to have often with people who understand the nuances of it, who understand that there are positives and negatives to all of this. It is a I mean unfortunately the the saying is it is fifty shades of grey, which means that there are various right and wrongs within a situation that may sometimes contradict each other. But I think you guys as a chat are generally intelligent enough to understand that. If you take the middle ground, you tend to make every side angry. But a lot of the middle path is something that needs to be focused on and discussed more. Yeah, you can be appreciative. That's a really good sentence, actually. Prime, that's spot on, GL. You can be both appreciative and critical. I can understand that I have benefited from many things that may have negative uh, consequences for many other people. I can understand that I have benefited from many things that may have negative consequences for me in the future when their benefit to me becomes minimal. It's one of those things where, you know, you can... If someone says to you... Imagine you're completely unemployed and someone offers you a job paying slightly above minimum wage. You're incredibly appreciative of that. You're, thank you. That's fantastic. I'm going to be able to pay my bills, feed myself. This is great. And then you work at the job for a couple of years. Your skills improve. You get way better. And you start to realize, hang on, uh, I am now providing value that is greater than minimum wage. Therefore, I should probably be able to ask for more than minimum wage. And then people come to you and go, oh, are you not appreciative of what you were given? Yeah, absolutely. But over time, you do improve and you can ask for more for the skills that you have. That's absolutely fine. You're allowed to do that. Yeah, someone says, like, bartering without money. Andy, good to see you, man. Hopefully you're doing well. Okay, we're doing Dwarven Cannon. Uh, what are we doing? We are inspecting six damaged railings around the camp and trying to fix them. Uh, one of them is over there. That is too far. Noah, I'm going to need you to run over there and I'm going to follow you. It depends on who you're working for. Reactors should wait at least a week from the video. Yes. Gan, I'm absolutely completely in agreement with you with that. So the vast majority of a video's views come within maybe one or two weeks to it. And if you if you can wait for one or two weeks after someone has created a video to react to it, that would be perfect. Curious about the benefits. One react video as Mon Gold made on a YouTuber I liked that not not as many subscribers. Notable increase, and I couldn't see any. Oh no, you don't. So the kind of people that are going to watch for a reaction are not going to watch the original video anyway. And whenever people react to my videos, whether it's Asmongold or somebody else, because there have been other people in you know, specific areas, I actually see a slight downturn in, use, in views for that video. And I'll tell you why. It's because YouTube has a uh, temptation. I'm going to follow you now. 
YouTube has a very limited amount of space to advertise videos to you on the main page. And let's say that I create a video and then someone else creates a reaction video. YouTube will often prioritize that reaction video because it's both longer and will contain me and whoever is reacting to me, which is going to be a larger audience draw. So YouTube has a limited amount of space to advertise. It will always prioritize. Do I see an increase of subs? I see a very minor increase of subs. I see the most, I mean, put it this way. The vast majority of my subscribers come from the worst MMO ever series. And none of those videos have ever been reacted to. Apart from the Warframe one by Bros. And there was very, very little subscriber increase from that. That the way. I mean, Dark Viper's breakdown was fantastic. Dark Viper's breakdown was fantastic. I mean, people say, people say to me all the time, oh, but I came from Asmongold. Yes. And what I think people forget is, if you're watching this stream right now, you are one of the deeply focused gamers. You are one of the, uh, the, the we live in a society gamers, because we all do. Right now, there are 1,500 people watching this stream. That's fantastic. Uh, normally, a Twitch channel will pull about 1% of its total subs as viewers, or total followers as viewers. And seeing as my total followers, I think, are over 100k, this is about right. This is about mathematically correct. You look at YouTube, and they've got hundreds of thousands of views. Uh, in some cases, a couple of million of views. Very few of those views then translate to people joining Twitch streams. It's... Uh, the the. The numbers of it are fascinating. This this fence is close enough for me to walk there. The numbers are absolutely fascinating. Yeah, the the more specific you get, the more niche you get, the fewer people you end up bringing with you. And if you're watching me on Twitch, chances are you probably did discover me from somebody else. It's it's an interesting kind of flow chart, if you will, of people and of movement and of views and of places. And I think that in order to discuss this, you have to discuss it very... You have to remove the emotion. You really do have to remove the emotion. It's the opposite of YouTube in a way, kind of, yeah. You have to completely remove the emotion from it and say, right, this is practically what's happening. These are the numbers. This is where it's going from and coming to. A lot of this stuff doesn't have an understood rule set, or if it does, it was complicated. Yeah, pretty much. No one understands the YouTube algorithm. Least of all YouTube. They don't. They genuinely don't. I mean, sometimes my videos will get recommended, sometimes they won't. Sometimes the reaction of the video will get recommended instead of anything else. And that... That's one of the irritating parts. If the reaction to a video gets recommended over the original video itself, because not only is a view going to the reaction, which is fine, but then they will not come and watch the original, which is irritating. I'm absolutely fine if people want to watch my videos and then a reaction to them. If anything, that should be the best way to do it. I mean, I've tried to do reaction stuff to other people, but instead of reacting to their video, I've just made another video adding on to it. Uh, so you kind of need the first video for context. People say, why don't you quit Twitch then? Uh, I've actually considered that because Twitch, as far as when you consider the income and the outgoing, Twitch is much, much lower than YouTube. But the reason I do Twitch is because it makes me happy and I value it. And I, I think that what I am doing on Twitch and what we are sharing together has value. I think it's fun. It, it, it fulfills me because if I was just sat in a room the entire time doing nothing except, um, you know, playing videos in order to make video, make videos about them, playing games to make videos, I would be remarkably bored. And that has happened for a long time. You know, I've sat there for absolutely bloody ages, and it's just been boring to me. Uh, Noah, I'm not close enough to the fence. Could you please walk me a little bit closer? That's perfect. Thank you very much. So yes, I have spent, you know, hours and hours and hours trying to just sit in my room and make videos. And that was very lucrative as far as YouTube goes. It was great as far as the YouTube... Um, kind of popularity and gain and algorithm goes but I also felt remarkably lonely and yeah you succeed but what you and this is again is another one of those conversations where whenever I complain it's not necessarily complaint it's more a, an observation because I've, I've got a, a lot of great things in my life that I'm very proud of and very happy to have but whenever I make an observation about the negatives of the lifestyle people always go oh my god I can't believe you're complaining you play video games for a living yeah of course I do I, I play little video games for a living it's great I'm super happy with the vast majority of what I do I think it's fantastic but there are issues that you'll face issues in any job when someone says to you it's not like that old saying, have you ever been sad or upset and someone said, oh, you can't be sad, other people have it worse. Okay, that's absolutely true. But if you say that to someone, 
does the opposite also apply? Can you say to someone, oh, you can't be happy, other people have it better? It's uh, a bit of a false equivalence and a bit silly and doesn't work too well like that. So what I tend to do is say, yeah, I've got a vast majority of positive stuff in my life, but you must also acknowledge that there are negatives that come with it as well. And the negative that comes with trying to make your living making videos is you have to pretty much stop your social life entirely. That's what it is. Completely stop your social life. So I stream Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, fantastic. I can't complain about that. It's a choice I've made personally. What it does mean is if any of my friends say, hey, Josh, are you free Friday, Saturday, Sunday night? The answer is no. No, I'm not. I'm working. Uh, so my free day is in the middle of the week. The vast majority of the week time, p places close early, people don't have time off. Uh, and if I want to edit and get a video out, you know, once every week or once every two weeks, I've got to prioritize editing over that. Going to conventions and stuff is one of the only times that I get to really see people. And one thing that I don't do at conventions, and you'll notice this, I very, very rarely take pictures or videos or even document my process of being at conventions. And the reason I don't document it and take pictures is not because I don't want to remember my time. Hang on, Alex. No, I'm busy. Go away, maze man. I've got no, no time for you. My friends are here. One of the reasons I don't document my stuff at um, all of the all the conventions is as soon as I do that, it becomes work. People have said to me straight away, um, hey, you should make content out of your Warhammer. You should make content out of your Magic the Gathering. You should make content out of Dungeons & Dragons, which I have done on the Session Zero Dungeons & Dragons channel, the D&D the group that we run now. And that's fine. I love doing all that, but I don't want to turn every single thing I enjoy into content, if that makes sense. Sometimes I want to be able to turn my brain off and just do what I like. And it's very difficult to do that if every single thing... I sat down to play Elden Ring when it released a couple of months ago. And it's going to be really weird. I felt guilty the entire time I was playing Elden Ring that I wasn't making content out of Elden Ring. Like, I, I completed a 200-hour RPG. And I killed every single boss, did the entire thing. And all I was thinking the entire time was, this is a waste of my time. This is an absolute waste of my time. Am I enjoying it? Yes. Is it practical and productive? No, this is not right. I should be working. I should be making stuff. I should be using my time more practically. I am being a fool not doing that. Yeah. People say, this is why Asmon streams on Zachroy. This is why people go, oh, Asmon's always on, if you will, as like a character, and Zachroy is much more chilled out. I'm going to grab this crate from over here. It's very, very, very true. You see a dwarf child tied up. Hooray! Talk to Lolk. Hey, Lolk, how's it going, man? Lolk, yeah, you just run off, mate. I'll catch up with you later. Not a problem. And Noah, I will follow you back out of the cave. We're all good. We're all uh, returned to Captain Logoff. I think people want to share your experiences with them. That's very true. We've been programmed to think downtime is wasteful. We have. You haven't got to monetize all your hobbies and passions. Yeah, I mean, people say that. And no, you don't. You can make it much, much more fun and much more silly. But what I appreciate, and <laughs> Rude Love Japan just ran in and went, room clear. Hang on, Love Japan? I don't know, I'm thinking of Big Red Japan, um, the guy that did all of the um, stuff, the agility things on the roof. Right, Temptation, follow me. Yeah, it's it really is one of those things where in order to have a discussion about it, you have to acknowledge that you have benefited from it. And people will immediately discount your opinion if it's negative, if you've benefited in any way. Yeah, that is one of those... It's, it's fun to think about and it's fun to talk about because it's almost like a, a psychological experiment really isn't it like a psychological discussion can you be critical of things that you have seen personal benefit from can you be critical of things that are not entirely negative can you praise things that are not entirely positive that is a badass looking max cape i just want to say big fan of the max cape in general vocon thank you for joining us uh log off uh, i found you kid He's, he's kind of alive. You're more than welcome. Give me a cannon. That'd be great. All right. I'll see what I can do. What am I doing now? Am I fixing the cannon? Oh, I'll take the toolkit. You'll need it. Report back to me if I can fix it. Oh, fine. Noah, walk me to the cannon, mate. That's a long way. That is a long way. Yeah, the whole thing... Thank you, Noah. That's much better. Yeah, the whole thing is, is definitely a social experiment, without a doubt. Okay. Use toolkit on cannon. Ugh. Oh, right. What am I doing? Hang on. So, first things first, I need to pull this bit 
but there's a gear there's a switch and there's a spring let's use that on the gear oh the switch is in the way let's stop doing that let's use this on the switch this is the wrong tool for this part can we use this on the switch so thank you safety switch off then we pull that back with the gear then we use this on the spring oh no hang on ignore me i was i'm trying to find as many ways to go wrong as possible all right cool we fixed it fantastic check me out log off you're right next to me don't go away mate i'm too lazy i want to say you're one of the most intelligent entertaining streamers right not being a big channel okay that personally hurts me i'm a huge channel how dare you say that there are one and a half thousand people watching me be a shit runescape player right now okay no one else is as lazy as i am playing runescape you know you got to work really hard to do this little work it's true uh, but also in general thank you I am not necessarily that intelligent. I would just say that I've hung around with a lot of people who are far more intelligent than me, and I just say what they would say. Uh, we were all lurking. You're all lurking, aren't you? This is a nice convo to talk about. Interesting to see people's stance. You can completely disagree with me, and one of the, the challenges, if you will, is when you say something that people disagree with, a lot of people respond emotionally to something when they... It's hard to respond logically to things. It's very, very hard to respond logically, and if you respond emotionally and you get upset with people or you get angry or you get annoyed, that's when conversation almost breaks down, if you will. I am the second most viewed stream playing Old School RuneScape. Number one is Boaty. I mean, Boaty's a far better RuneScape player than me. I'm just a far lazier RuneScape player. That's the difference. Boaty is he's incredibly good at the game he was actually at the insomnia thing but uh, unfortunately i wasn't quite able to catch him in time all right love japan i'm gonna trust you right now mate to run me all the way to falador this is beautiful i'm trusting you japan we need to get to the dwarven camp uh they're bringing you fally tabs oh that's even better fantastic i'll just hang around here then yeah, remember the last time? Yeah, so we I saw Boaty briefly. Um, I didn't get a chance to say hi to him because he was kind of in his own thing. Uh, the old school RuneScape crew tends to stick to themselves and they, they kind of hang out at the restaurants together and they kind of, you know, enjoy eating dinner together. And I didn't want to be you know, walking over and be like, Hi, I watch your streams. Can I have your signature? That kind of stuff, you know? Oh, no, I'm still being fellow. Sweet, I'll accept that. So someone just gave me two teleport tabs and then a free teleport to Falador. This is great. Temptation, you're in charge. Off we pop. Love your content. Thank you very much. Hopefully you're having a lovely time. But uh, yes, yeah, so what I have discovered, I wish it was a new MMORPG. It's a bit late to start RuneScape. New World was a failure. It is never too late to start RuneScape. Do it. Download RuneScape right now and come play with us. Okay. RuneScape is, it's a lifestyle. It's an addiction. It's a beautiful moment. Come and get involved. Play RuneScape with us. Yeah, why would I work hard when I can just outsource all the work to you? I'm not three-ticking, I am not raiding, I am not, you know, doing anything complicated. I am literally following all of you as you play the game for me. It's super easy. RuneScape is very approachable. Without, it, Am I taking in-game donations? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, you want to give me all the money, you give me all the money. I'm not going to say no to that. Can you move the sub-follow notification a little to the left? It's blocking your mini-map. Oh my, look at you guys being all super smart. I will actually move the sub notification down to the bottom of the screen so it doesn't block anything. Oh, that is that is some clever thinking right there, you geniuses. Absolute geniuses. Love your videos. Your Baldur's Gate on Strife Players is top tier, not nostalgic. Okay, look, I'm going to play Baldur's Gate 2, and at some point, we're going to play Baldur's Gate 3. I got uh, the chance to talk to Neil Newbon in Insomnia, and he's actually a guy who does... Come here, you. I'm close enough to talk to you now. Stop! With, we need to open the door! Okay, hang on. Open the door. I'll open the door. Doors open. In we... Oh, you've got to click on the door once, I see. It's one of those one-click things. Um, but yeah, I spoke to Neil Newbin, who does a voice in Baldur's Gate 3, so when I do a Baldur's Gate 3 review, hopefully I'll try and get Neil on. I think it'll be really cool. Thank you for the lols. You are more than welcome. I hope there was an adequate number of lols. Red is raiding with a party of five. Thank you very much, Red. Welcome to the stream, everyone from Reds. How did your stream go? Were you also playing Old School RuneScape? Let me know what's going on. All right. So if anyone new to the stream, allow me to explain what's happening. I'm a very lazy streamer. Like, remarkably lazy. If I could... You know, if I had the patience to do a real job, wouldn't be a streamer, would I? At all. So what I've done is... I have pretty much outsourced all of the work to you. I am going to do as little as possible. 
in this entire stream. So right now we need to take the ammo mold back to Captain Lorgoff. So I've got to click the door to leave the door, but once I've left the door, I'm going to need someone to run back to Captain Lorgoff, and I'm going to follow them, probably Temptation, because I trust them. Uh, you guys can take me back to where we need to go to. I'm not going to walk back. That's a lot of effort. You run me back, guys. Go on, off we go. Yep, teleport to Camelot. I'll accept that. Basically, what I am trying to do is get a quest cape with as little effort put in as possible. That's it. So I'm not going to be three ticking. I'm not even, I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm probably not even going to be like 10 ticking. I'm going to click once, wait, talk to you guys, make some content, get everyone who's with me slightly annoyed, and then I'll play more. That's what it's going to be. Red Caligula, uh, pretty wholesome for the gamers tonight. Fantastic. Uh, good luck with the stream. Thank you very much. Remarkably, remarkably kind of you. When can we do Monkey Madness? Look, when we do Monkey Madness, I'm going to need a small army of you killing monkeys because I am not going to be putting any effort in to do that. So if I die during any quest where there is a public enemy... I'm not even going to be trying that again until there is, like, an honor guard killing all the enemies for me. When we do the waterfall quest, which we should probably do sooner rather than later... What the hell? I think it's hungry. Has my cat been following me the entire time? Sorry, I didn't even realize. <laughs> my bad. Noah, you're in charge. Sorry, my cat has just been dragged around from pillar to post. I totally forgot about you. Sorry, mittens. Off we pop. Uh, but yeah, so... When we do the waterfall quest, I'm going to need a small army of people uh, distracting and killing all of the fire giants because I am not risking running in and dying. That's what's going to happen. I would be a great leader. Y you say that. Have you seen what I'm doing right now? Noah, you, you've got 99 agility, mate. Okay. Hang on. We can't bring in weapons. Yeah, but like you guys are super tough. Look, if I walk across the log, what do I need? You need 20 agility to balance on the log. I cannot do this. Temptation r leads back to you, all right? Noah failed us. Noah took us to an agile place. Sip Stam. Drink Stamina Potion. That takes my agility to one. See, it's it's not going to... Drink Stamina Potion again. Drink it again. All right, Temptation, now I can follow you. Sweet. We're up to 100. Hey, Josh, how are you having fun? I'm having a, a good bit of time right now. Leadership without representation. Pretty much. Leadership in so far as what this is is glorified babysitting. That's what this is. It's just glorified running me around. You need to take me to Captain Lorgoff, please. Uh, Captain Lorgoff, I believe, is all the way around here, kind of over there. That'd be great. That would be terrific. I uh, Yes, I would definitely make the best leader. Have I ever thought about doing Was It Good for Zelda Ocarina of Time? Of course I have. The problem is if I do Was It Good for, you know, Zelda Ocarina of Time, anything that I say that's negative is going to be met by people going, oh my god, how dare you hate this? And anything I say that's positive is going to be people saying, um, you know, of course you like this, it's one of the best games ever. I've got some uh, chat and game Apocaly Apocalycia. Why aren't you guys doing Tangent to Heaven anymore? Honestly, because both myself and Callum were way too busy to keep up with it, but it is something we want to carry on with. Uh, we've actually built a physical set for the Dungeons & Dragons streams that we do, and the videos that we make, and having Tangent Tavern be there is one thing that will happen, because I very much enjoyed creating the Tangent Tavern. I enjoyed working with Cal. I enjoyed talking to him about the weekly stuff, and you guys being live and involved as well. I very, very, very much liked that. Any chance you'll try Dungeons & Dragons online? In fact, DDO is one of the next games that I want to get to for uh, the the worst MMO series because I very, very, very much... I'm a big D Dungeons & Dragons fan. I saw the D&D film. I thought it was really good. I genuinely enjoyed it. We've still got Star Trek, the online game to go through. We've still got Dungeons & Dragons online. There's a lot of games that we need to play, don't you worry. Ladies and gents, we have now completed Dwarf Cannon. We get a quest point crafting experience and the ability to use a multi-cannon that takes our crafting to 12 and we can now make oil lamps check us out but no, oh thank you for saying i have a great DD play uh, that's on the session zero channel i'll live stream that at some point for you guys all right well, so we've done dwarf cannon oh you know what the next quest it recommends is actually the waterfall quest right i guess we're doing that then if we're going to do the waterfall quest, I think we need to bank some stuff because the chance chance of me dying is e okay. Let's just go with uh, intermediate. 
Where's Waterfall Quest? Where are you? Hang on, are we... Ordering should be A to Z. That's much easier. Cool. Waterfall Quest. We should bank things because you don't actually need... I need rope, air runes, earth runes, water runes. We've got a games necklace. I've not got that on me. So... Oh! Arissa wishes to trade. What are we trading, Arissa? Are we, are we trading things? Are we stuff for the Waterfall Quest? Cabbage, Bronze Med Helm, Iron Chain Body, Camelot Teleports. That is for the the Black Knight's Fortress quest, isn't it? I Yeah, that is the Black Knight's Fortress. Thank you very much. We're getting some stuff. Now, is there a UI mod command? Not yet. New viewer here. Thank you for the Otherland playthrough. Oh, you're more than welcome, man. I'm really glad you enjoyed that. That was a phenomenal adventure. I, uh, I don't think I'll ever forget going on the Otherland adventure. That was just... That was crazy interesting. Okay, Noah, I'm going to rely on you here. I'm going to follow you to the gate, open the gate, because it's quicker. And then I'm going to need somebody to take me to a bank. Noah, I believe you are the man for this. Let's do this. Uh, first found your channel from your Tenchu video. Good game. Um, recently watched your FutureCop videos. Again, seriously good game. It was the first proto MOBA. Completely agree. Any chance Parasite Eve? Parasite Eve is on the list. One of the things with the list of stuff is that RPGs take me a lot longer to do. You know, RPGs take me a hell of a lot longer. What do I have on my main monitor? My main monitor is... Uh, Noah, where are we going? We, we can't go over here yet. No, we've, we've got to go that way. Noah, unless we're going to the bank. Oh, we might be going to the bank, you clever... Oh, you smart chap. Yeah, so... Any hint about what I'm working on at the minute? Sure. How many Red Dead games are there? Cowboy games. Because most people say there are two. But actually, there are three. Right, I'm going to take off some of the important stuff and bank the important things because I absolutely refuse to lose the parrot. Why do I look like a bot? Did I just... <laughs> Did I just not bother changing any of the options when I made my character? Was I that lazy? Oh, that's... <laughs> that is peak lazy man mode right there. Like, I literally just went, yeah, I'm just gonna, uh... Just gonna use the standard stuff that comes with it. Okay, cool. Uh, combat bracelets and skills necklaces. Thank you very much, Remark. It'll be useful. You look like Andrew Tate. I've never been so insulted. Alright, look at it. I've never been so insulted, but it is true. I don't like it. I don't have to like it, but it is real. God damn. Tate is the default guy in RuneScape. Uh, Damon is trading as well. Damon, what are we trading? What's what's being thrown up? Rope, rope. Oh, this is for the, the quest. Thank you. That's really useful. Loyal just says noobs. Yeah, that that that's true. Thank you, Loyal. Right, let me uh, just deposit some stuff in the bank chest. Uh, so I probably don't need 105 Varrock teleports. Or a hammer. In fact, I'm going to throw away most of the stuff that isn't going to be needed for this quest at all. I do, however, need some stuff in general. So what do I need? I need, I need a rope. I need air runes, earth runes, and water runes. So if we just search runes, and we get like 10 air, 10 earth, and 10 water. Um, where are the earth runes? Oh, I've only got four earth runes. I will require two earth runes. Could somebody please trade me two earth runes? Uh, that is a rec oh, 10 Earth Runes, that'll do. Yeah, that's fine. Is Revolver going to be your first PS2 game? Watched every video, so I think... You know what? I, there was one other PS2 game. I'm sure... God of War. That was it. God of War. On the... God of War actually got restricted. So, there is a God of... Uh, was it good? God of War 1 video on the Josh Drive Plays channel. But because it contains so much violence, it got removed from search results. Uh, even though I did censor the boobs... But if you go on the actual channel, you can find the God of War thing from there. Now, someone said, why isn't the parrot equipped? I will get the parrot back out and equip the parrot. That must remain equipped. I just want to check. If I die, do I keep... Yeah, okay, cool. If we die, we keep the parrot. As long as the parrot is kept, the parrot's name is Twitch Chat because it's always with me. Oh, yeah, Eternal Ring was also a PS2 game. That's true. Right, so uh, we've had a stamina thing. We've got some stuff. I'm going to drink another energy potion. And Temptation. You are leading me on this one. Let's go and do the waterfall quest. Yeah, thank you. If there's any, ever a situation where we don't keep the parrot on death, I'm not doing it. You know, there's there's what I call acceptable losses, and I do not believe that is an acceptable loss. I absolutely point blank refuse to put myself into a position where I might risk losing the parrot. Not a thing we can do. 
You know, Eternal Ring was an atmospheric game, that's true. Uh, are we going to get a was it good on the three hour reaction? Yes, yes we are. Another review of Dino Crisis, that I can do. That I can definitely do. I, I liked Dino Crisis a lot. I think it was an underrated game. Should I bring back the, the comedy skits that I did for the Dino Crisis video? Because I quite enjoyed the comedy skits. Are you okay? You do not look as snassy as you normally do. As snassy? God damn. It's, I mean, it's been a, a difficult day. I live that YouTuber lifestyle, yo. I mean, how, what is the YouTuber lifestyle? I wake up. I have a nap, obviously, straight away. Uh, you wake up at about 7 in the morning, nap until about 9 or 10. Then you get out of bed, cry, stare at the wall, scream for a little bit, wonder what you're doing with your life. Even though my mum says she's proud of me, I always doubt it because, I mean, come on, look at what we're doing. Uh, then what do we do? Go downstairs, uh, make some waffles for breakfast. I say make some waffles. I've got some waffle mix. I just put it in a protein shaker, shake it up, pour it into a waffle iron and stare at it while it cooks. Many months ago, the protein shaker would have held, you know, protein, but now it holds waffle mix, which I think is a, uh, a good indicator of where my life has come from and is going to. Then I come upstairs, put on the same shirt that I've worn for the last three days, put on the same waistcoat, and sit and play a 25-year-old medieval children's clicker game. It's about where we are now. Pretty much... Pretty much brings you up to speed on where we're going now. Uh, hey Josh, would you review Star Citizen? Yep, as soon as it comes out in public release, I'll play it. So, you know, no. In, in more accurate terms, pretty much. Seems pretty good. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Hey, people are like, yeah, yeah, about Star Citizen. What's going on with that? Uh, we need worst MMO Tinder part two. Are you proud of me? Waffle Mix is the best things that can be in the shaker. To be, hang on, who am I following? Arissa says follow. Arissa has never said follow before, but you know, Arissa, I believe you implicitly. If you walk out the back there. Also, you're wearing Void, which I think is a good idea. At some point, we need to get Void armor, but I also need to do it where I pretty much follow you guys and attack whatever portal you are attacking. I'm going back to the Red Prison. Good luck on the adventures. Good luck on the... I'm guessing Red Prison, you mean the Gauntlet. So good luck with that, dude. All right, cool. Little kid. Little kid. Just because I'm small doesn't mean I'm dumb. If I told you, you would take it all for yourself. That is true, Hudden. I would immediately steal any treasure that you give me. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put myself there so you guys can see the chat. And I'm going to reduce the size of my camera to prove to you that I'm not, you know, arrogant and cocky. But then what I'm going to do, you'd notice now that the camera right now, the lower level of the camera is sat perfectly on top of the text box. I'm going to move it up by three pixels. Not one pixel. One pixel you could overlook. Two is an even number, therefore wouldn't annoy most people. But three pixels. That's going to get under someone's skin. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. Maybe I can help. Fix those three pixels. You can't make me. It was so clean. It was so clean. This is why I'm the best unfollowed. The duality of man. Half of you were like, oh, fantastic. What a, what a pro gamer move. The other half of you were like, that is literally worse than, than hell. That is the worst thing. And to thought, to think I followed you because of your content. Three pixels is a good number. Make it 4.5. You are so evil like a real life Lalafell. I am not a potato. How dare. All right, cool. So now I'm going to walk over there. Oh. Temptation, can you walk me to the other side of this rock, please? It's too far. Thank you. Now I'm going to use the rope on the rock. And then I'm going to swim across. Off we go. The community RS misses you. I miss you too, guys, but unfortunately, I've been super busy with stuff. Use rope on the tree, climb down, do the thing. All right, cool. Get in the barrel. This is when... This is from a time when quests made very little sense. You know, and it was very, very much a trial and error thing going on. The mission brings back memories. When was the last time you ironed your shirt? Uh, when was That's a good question. When was the last time that I went to a convention? So it would have been a couple of days ago. All right, so we've been pushed off down the river. That's fine. Ah, yes, we've met Gerald. Good old Gerald. Me and Gerald have the same hair. And then Temptation, who is there? Uh, you can lead me to uh, up the stairs south of Almra's house. And then I will read the the book in the house uh, hang on why they never made a clicker mmo oh they did they made genfenard 
Would you play Dark Souls? What happened to the last two Session Zero campaign episodes? Uh, we will find those out, sir. They are somewhere. We just haven't managed to get them uploaded yet, but they do exist somewhere. Please, those three pixels, you're messing with my OCD. That's the point. You know what? That's true. Hang on. Hang on. Some people do have OCD, and I will help. So let me... We'll count the pixels as we go down. You ready? One, two, three, four, five. Right, let's uh, read the book over here. Temptation, please lead me to the book. Yeah, Gem Fanal was fun. Now we search this bookcase once I'm close to it. Now I'm close to it. There we go. You find a book named Book on Backstorian on the bookcase. Let's read it. Are you guys ready for some ASMR? Goddamn best be. <laughs> Look, I understand that Boaty is a better RuneScape player than me. I understand he's further along in the game than me. I understand more people enjoy watching the high-quality, high-skilled Boaty gameplay. But you know what they don't have? Many artifacts of elven history were lost after the Fourth Age, following the departure of the elves from these lands. The greatest loss to our collection of elf history were the hidden treasures of Baxtorian. Some believe these treasures are still unclaimed, but it is more commonly believed that dwarf miners recovered them early in the Fifth Age. Another great loss was Glariel's Pebble, a key which allowed her family to visit her tomb. The pebble was taken by a gnome family over a century ago. It is hoped that descendants of the gnome may still have the pebble hidden in their cave under the tree gnome village. You all enjoying this? You having a good time? Good. The Sonnet of Baxtorian. For those of you sat there going, is he going to read the entire book? Yes, shut up. The love between Baxtorian and Glariel was said to have lasted over a century. They lived a peaceful life, learning and teaching the laws of nature. When trouble hit their home in the west, Baxtorian left on a great campaign. He returned to find his people slaughtered and his wife taken by the enemy. Talking quietly doesn't equal ASMR. All right, Ozzy, fine. We'll do it your way, mate. After years of searching for his love, he returned. You happy now, Ozzy? Is that what you want? Is that the ASMR that just does it for you? Are you like, oh, fuck yeah. That's what we want more of. Beautiful. Yeah, deep throat that mic. Yeah, lick the foam cover. Scrape everything. I'll get on Amazon right now and buy one of those stupid ear shape things. All right, don't you worry, I'll do it. Aussie accent, no. Get to the bag. <laughs> People are like, can you please stop? Yes, <laughs> eat it. You'll get what you're given and you'll be happy about it. Doing that lost me a hundred viewers. But I stand by that it was the right thing to do. I decided to just suddenly start deep-throating the mic and a hundred people went, this is too silly for me, I'm leaving. You know what they are? Cowards. After years of searching for his love, he finally gave up and returned to the home he had made for Glariel under Backstorian Falls. Do we go deeper? Do we? I think we need to go deeper. Once he entered, he never returned. Only he and Glariel had the power to enter the waterfall. Since Backstorian entered, no one else has been able to go in. It is as if the power of nature still works to protect him. Glariel and Backstorian were masters of nature. Trees would grow, hills form, and rivers flood on their command. Backstorian in particular had perfected rune law. It was said he could use the stones to control water, earth, and air. Ode to Eternity, a short piece written by Backstorian himself. Okay, I'm going to read Backstorian. Why is this making me so happy? I'm confused. I'm trying it. This is how Backstorian sounds. What care I for this mortal coil, where treasures are yet so frail? For it is you that is my life blood, the wine to my holy grail. And if I see the judgment day when God fills the air with dust, I'll happily choke on your memory 
has my ca There was a pause there when I said memory, and I was reading. But you do not fill in your own word. You do not change the context. It's beautiful. It's- we're going back, we're gonna read it again. What care I for this mortal coil, where treasures are yet so frail? For it is you that is my lifeblood, the wine to my holy grail. And if I see the judgment day when God fills the air with dust, I'll happily choke on your- You're doing it again. I said, I'll happily choke on your- and your minds just- You don't deserve the rest of this quest. You don't deserve it. Choke on your memory. As my yeah, you, I'm not. You're not. I'm not doing the last line. Okay, cool. We're not doing the last line. Right. Where else are we going? <laughs> I love that we've got a message from Daddy Santon. J.R.R. Tolkien. Sound and ass. Okay. Look. You are, must all understand that you do know J.R.R. Tolkien's full name is Jolkin Rolkin Rolkin Tolkien. That was an actual thing. Genuinely. People think that I'm taking the piss, but no, his entire full name is Jolkin, Rolkin, Rolkin, Tolkin. You can look this up. Google it. Time for herb spirits. I still don't believe you. Google it. See what happens. Jolkin, Rolkin, Rolkin, Tolkin. All right, so uh, I'm following Arissa. Cool. Arissa, I'm following you now. I Follow Temptation. I don't know where I'm going from here. <laughs> Honestly, I appreciate that. That is extreme honesty. Good stuff. I hate myself for looking that up. I'm glad someone did. I'm glad. Oh, the view count's gone back up by a hundred. Fantastic. Once I stopped deep-throating the mic, 100 people came back. If you're one of those people that left before the ASMR thing started and you've come back, just leave again. All right? You've, you've shown that you're not tough enough to deal with the kind of depths of depravity that we're going to go to in this stream. How dare? How dare? Uh, bro, you sound like a bad porn actress. Okay, Fish, first of all, fuck you. I'm a great porn actress. How dare. Alright? I'm a lifeguard. And this isn't a bath, this is the ocean. Understand that. You do not deserve him if you can't handle me at my bad ASMR. I'm here to let you lemon stick it. Why do you as a chat have encyclopedic knowledge of porn memes. You know what? Don't answer that. I think I already know the answer. Don't just... It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't answer it. It's absolutely fine. John Ronald Rule Tolkien. No, Jolkin, Rolkin, Rolkin, Tolkin. That's what it was. Ah. Uh, we learnt it from the best you. Gonna wake up the flatmates with laughing too much. Do it. Wake them up. Get them on the phone. Tell them to start watching this stream. Why are they not doing that already? I'm kind of offended they aren't. Uh, you ask the question and immediately realize you should not have asked the question. Yeah, the problem is that sometimes I ask questions about you, all of you, not like you specific, not one person, you. Every single per you specifically are who I ask questions about, and I don't want to know any of the answers. Okay, so if I remember correctly, we've got to go to Glarial's tomb, I've got, yeah, you guys should be able to handle this. We've got like a little, we've got a small excursion squad with us here, like a little army going on. Uh, I thought you wanted to know more about me. I do. All of you. Tell me your- I'm, I'm gonna need- I do want to know more about you. Uh, mother's maiden names, street you grew up on, the numbers on the back of that- No, I'm not gonna finish that. Wrong way! Where are you going? This is entirely the wrong way. Follow the- I know that you can't see the blue line temptation, but- Oh, goodness me. How are you not using the quest helper that I'm using? I can't believe that you made a human mistake. This is unacceptable. Wait, I'm out of energy. Start walking, shouts Coco. I'm sorry, Coco, but, you know, it's... Unfortunately, we've got to leave you behind. Temptation, I'm going to zoom out and just let you watch the stream. We have Blue Line at home. Uh, joke's on you, I'm broke. My three special numbers. Yes, obviously, uh, 42 is one of them. Uh, Temptation, I've been left back here. I'm now going to follow Damon. Oof, oof indeed. You know what, Black Dog, it's you and me. Hang on, are we trading? It's you and me, mate. What can we do? How are we working together? What's... Th oh, you're asking to trade? Was there... Jar of dirt. Cat mask. Thank you. Thank you for the jar of dirt. And... The cat mask. This is complete. Beautiful. Temptation, are we trading for more stuff? 
What are we accepting the trade for? Oh, it's super energy potions. Okay, that's that's understandable. Yeah, that's fair. Guess what's inside it? The jar of dirt. Tell me what's inside the jar of dirt. I'm intrigued. I must know. Allow me to drink some more super energies and then temptation. I will follow you. Thank you for the jar of dirt. It, yeah, it is more of a hat, isn't it? It's like a cat, a cat hat, if you will. See? It's very much like, run. I'm running. Okay, cool. I'm running. We've got the the blue line lined up. Is it the heart of Davy Jones? I hope it's the heart of Davy Jones. You're welcome for the dirt jar and the hat. Thank you. Genuinely. Someone just said I'm a furry confirmed. Look, I'm not Saber Spark, okay? I'm not that far gone yet. The pro This is another problem. This is another conversation that you start having and then people are straight away... It's difficult to have this as a nuanced conversation because... Just let me let me speak first. I'm not a furry. But now the fact that I had to add a but there at all is bad because it means that there's going to be extra information that gets added in which may contradict the first. But just just let me speak. Okay? Just let me let me talk. First of all, there are really high level zombies that I don't want to be attacked by and I'm going to need someone to attack the zombies and take me to those boxes over there. I'm going to need to follow somebody to the boxes. I can't be going myself. Where are we? I mean, you guys are pretty much dealing with the zombies right now. Um, Coco, I'm trusting you. Run. Let's get over there. Let's go. F super energy. Follow. Run to the boxes. Get to the boxes. Run. Search crate. Run. I'm running. I'm searching the crate myself. I can do this. We can get the crate. You find a key. Fantastic. Uh, run back. Run back to the main room. It's okay. We've got a, a chocolate cake. Right, now I'm going to need one of you guys to take out all of the hobgoblins while we go this way. So, whoever's with us, hobgoblin, assault squad, going to need some... Nope, the hobgoblin's attacking me. Is it still attacking me? It's... We're fine. You're on a different layer. Oh, you guys have already finished the quest. Is it people that haven't finished the quest that are here? Because we've got two of you guys. We've got two effective bodyguards going on right now. This is nice. Did I witness you not be lazy? Look, I can be lazy to a degree, okay? There's like a degree of laziness. So I will go back up, I will eat the chocolate cake, and then I will go back down. There is a degree of laziness. I will be lazy to an extent. We'll go back down. Okay, guys, we need to go this way, but I need you to take out the hobgoblins as we go, because I cannot fight them. So, kill all hobgoblins. Yes, once you've got the hobgoblins engaged in combat, I can run past you absolutely fine, but I'm not engaging any hobgoblins in combat, and I'm following you as much as we possibly can. We need to go through that door over there now. So, running through the door, following. Get me to the door. Run to the door, we've got this. Oh god, you guys aren't going to have the key, are you? We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. Hang on. I forgot that I stopped... I didn't elaborate on the I'm not a furry story. I feel that needs a little bit of extra context I feel there needs to be uh, more information added I'm going to add some more now we're safe we're okay oh for anyone who is wondering what the whole lazy man mode thing is I'm going to do as little work as possible but if it turns out that I have to click then I will click like if I absolutely have to click I will click but I would rather not that's what it's going to be right let me finish the story I'm not a furry but there are moments in a man's life when he is watching a film, a TV show, a cosplay competition, when he's meeting people, when he experiences moments, and you think to your, you know, you realize this is going to shape who I am as a person. This is going to be remembered. This is important. There are moments like that. For example, in the cinema, when I was a child, I was taken to see the film Treasure Planet. Now, if you've seen the film Treasure Planet, you know. And if you haven't seen the film Treasure Planet, you can Google. You understand, okay? Because not only bank everything beside the pebble and some food. Ah, oh, okay, cool. That's a lot of effort. I'm just going to tell about Falador. You guys can come and get me. Captain Amelia in Treasure Planet. 
So for anyone who's helping me out with this quest, uh, I couldn't be bothered to run back to the Hobgoblins, so I have teleported to Falador. Uh, I'm going to wait until you come and pick me up. This is fine. The Captain Woman. The Captain Woman was not only an awakening to a moment of the slight anthropomorphic nature, but also strong, capable, in-power women. Because she was in charge, you know? She was capable, she was strong, she was literally the captain. And as soon as that happens, I was like, you know what? Apparently I've got a thing for people who are capable. People who are confident, people who know what they're doing. People who are in charge, people who are the captain. That was a moment. I'm going to withdraw five swordfish. That was absolutely, without a doubt, a moment in my life. When I understood that it wasn't about being, you know, weak and feeble. It was about being strong and capable. Bank everything beside the pebble and some food. Okay, everything means what you're wearing as well. So, unfortunately, the parrot could not come with us for this. Pebble, uh, let's take ten swordfish. I don't think you guys can come with me for this. Um, who is following me? Uh, Coco says, tell me I'm pretty. Coco, you are pretty. And there's someone in the game called just called Drink, which I think is fantastic. Right, where are we going now? I am ready. Uh, Falk, you are leading us to, uh, I believe, Glarial's tomb east of Backstorian Falls. This advent wishes to trade with you. I'll accept a trade. Josh is a sub. Jo I'm not. This is true. I am not. <gasps> monkey nuts. Thanks for the monkey nuts. I am not a sub. However, I can appreciate a strong, capable person. That's the truth. Right, now I'm following you again. There is another moment in my life when I... There's another moment of awakening. I've shared this with you before, but I'm going to share it with you again because I think it's important. A moment when you watch a piece of media or you watch a piece of film or cinema and you straight away, it almost defines you as a person. Your style, okay? Who has seen Scooby-Doo and The Witch's Ghost? Remember the Hex Girls? Just saying, soon as the Hex Girls came out on stage, I was like, guess I'm into goth rocker girls now as well. I guess I'm into capable, powerful, confident goth rocker girls. And I was, uh, was pretty much just like, you know, upset from then on. Also, Tim Curry was in that film. And I think Tim Curry is, again, an awakening for everyone in every way. Bank some beside the food. You can't take the... Do you need the runes? Beside the pebbles and some food. Go use Glarial's pebble to Glarial's tombstone. Search the chest. Search the tomb in the south room. Right, we don't need the things yet. By the way, Black, your uh, black armor is super badass and cool. Apocalypse here is trading with us. What are we trading? I'll have to get some tracing. Oopsie daisy. Here are the goth girls, I guess. I know, you guys... Are you all going to start coming out dressed in goth stuff right now? Because, I mean, I wouldn't be entirely against that. Right, we're going to bank the skills necklace because you've got to bank literally everything. Hang on, I can't... You know, I'm just give it to you. That's fine. I'll take this. Teleport to the fishing guild. Can do. Rub skills necklace. Fishing guild. Right, we're off to the fishing guild. I'll just give you this back. There we go. Um, trade. Falk, can you just hold this necklace for me, please, mate? As the fishing guild dude. Yep, yeah, just just hold that for me. Because I can't take anything else into the, the tomb. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't take anything else in. Have I eaten a banana yet? Oh, we're not going to get into the banana story. Although, I do love the banana story. I don't know if you guys... I mean, people are saying Josh wants goth mummy. Okay. The mummy thing I can take or leave. The goth thing is very sexy, don't get me wrong. It's not... It's... What it is, is I am attracted to confident, capable people. That's what it is. That's all it is. People come up to me and go, hey, Josh, what's the sexiest thing in the world? Honestly, confidence and being capable. That's what it is. Yeah, intelligence, man. Intelligence is a remarkably sexy thing. Use Glarial's Pebble on Glarial's Tombstone, pop into the tomb. Now, I don't believe... Oh, Bill Skates. Thanks, Bill Skates. I will protect you, Mr. Hayes. Go on, Bill. Oh, all right, Bill. So what we need to do, first of all, mate, is get pretty much all the way across there to that chest. So I'm going to follow Bill. And Bill's just going to punch all these zombies for me. He's going to try and take the aggro from everyone and everything. Once Bill's got it, Bill, I'm going to need to distract the big, the big guardian just there. That's it, Bill. Bill's got most of it. 
That's all right. We can do this. I can eat the swordfish, run past, grab the chest. It's okay. Open the chest. Bill, it's not going great. Not going to lie to you there. We're eating the swordfish. We've got the amulet. We've got... I'm running past you. Bill, you're doing a good job, mate. We're just going to hang here for a second because the zombies, they're a little bit... They're a little bit aggressive. We're okay. Uh, Bill has got the... He's got the big dude. Uh, the big dude is the problem. So, Bill, you keep the big dude distracted. I'm going to grab the pebble from the tomb. We've got the urn. Let's get out of here, Bill. We did it together. Bill nearly died. I'm... Oh, no, I'm out of run energy. This is legit a problem. Uh, it's okay, Bill. I've got enough swordfish to survive. I've got a... It's okay. I can survive this. We'll just immediately run past. Up we go. Oh, ladies and gents, let's have a hand for Bill. Bill, you absolute babe, hanging out there in the tomb just to make sure I was safe. That is, that's Chad behavior right there. That really is. GG, Bill. GG. Bill, we love you, mate. Right, we need to go back to the bank. Uh, I'm going to follow Apocalyssa. Right, nearest bank, Apocalyssa, wherever you want to take me to. That was more medium effort. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But like I said, if I'd have waited for more people to come down, then it would have ironically been a lot more effort than just doing it myself. I'm going to do the least effort. Playing this by myself, effort. Collecting all the items myself, effort. Walking to the bank myself, effort. Oh, but you know, everyone has a... Everyone needs a bill. Bill helped. Bill was good. Am I interested in trying the hardcore World of Warcraft leveling challenge? Tell me more about this. How do I do that? How do I hardcore World of Warcraft level? Also, do you guys want some dogs? Hang on. Give me a second. Hello, dogs. Oh, yeah, fine. Ignore me. There's food in the corner. All right, hang on. There's food in the corner. Follow. Come here. Come here, you big fluff. That's it. Come play RuneScape with us. Okay. There you go. Say hello to everyone. That's, that's all you get. Apollo is a cloud. He's a big ball of fluff. He likes licking me. Thanks, Apollo. Good stuff. Here's the thing about cleaning me. I think he thinks I am a big, terrible dog. Right, he looks at me and he's like, you just, you can't do this, okay? You just, uh, you can't dog well enough. Allow me to help. And then he will occasionally just lie on my shoulder and fall asleep like this. Oh, are we sleepy now? Is it sleepy times? Can I have a massage? There we go. Okay. Okay, Apollo's gonna have sleepy times. I am just a salty, human-shaped snack. That's pretty much all we do now. Okay, so we need to go to the bank. What do I need? I need rope. Oh, this is the one where I'm gonna need stuff, isn't it? Air runes, so... Six air runes. Where are the air runes? If I were an air rune, where would I be? Uh, I'll be there, wouldn't I? Let's just withdraw X. So, six air runes. We also need six earth runes and six water runes. I should just search rune, shouldn't I, in the bank? That'd be easier. Six earth runes and six water runes. Okay, that seems to be everything. Do I need armor? I probably should put some armor on. So let's let's grab some basic armor and just armor ourselves. I'm not going to fight, obviously. That would be foolish as heck. But and can you take stuff? You can. Can you take things to the to this room, or do you have to just punch them? I can't remember if you can take things down. Bring the following items. Is this lazy man mode or lazy dog mode? It's both, kind of. Pull out the wiener, too. Hang on. You, oh, I forgot the parrot. Dude, we almost forgot the parrot, the most important thing. And the purple party app, obviously. Uh, but I care about losing the parrots, so... Let me just double check to make sure I'm not going to lose the parrot. Oh, thank God. Okay, we keep all the important things, but we... We would lose the quest items, which would be a problem because we'd have to get them again. So... Maybe we should not take too much armor, and I should just run past things, and then hope to just not get hit. Okay, cool. If I check this now... I don't know. We, we lose things anyway. So if we die, items go to the gravestone, we get stuff there. I think I'm ready. I think I'm good. I think we're okay here. Apollo, are you... are you happy? He nodded his head. Where is Piper? 
Where is the other dog? The cat's under the desk. Hang on. Piper! Piper! Piper? Piper, come here! There's more than one dog, it's okay. Multi-dog action for you guys. Apollo would normally say no moving, I have to stay perfectly still the entire time. I am pretty much just his, uh, his chair, that's true. Oh, I see, people wish to trade with me. Apocalypse, what are we trading? I'll take a trade. You give me some more stuff? What is the worst MMO you think we should play? All of them. Literally all of them forever. Oh, the skills necklace, thank you. That is good. Where am I, uh, trading to? Yeah, come here, you. Come on, people wish to see you. Oh, you are famous now. So this is a sausage dog. She has, Apollo does, has a thing about cleaning me. Whenever I am in range, I must be cleaned. Or I am you. <laughs> is there more cleaning going on? She is so smart. She is so small. I love her. She's great. She is fantastic. Piper, you doing good? You had a good day? Good day doing dog things. Running around. Sleeping. Pooping. Eating. General dog things. All right, I'm glad that you had a good time. Black Dog Kush wished to trade. You know what, you can curl up on my lap, it's absolutely fine. You can sit down there, I'll hold my hand up still, and you can just... No, that's the desk. It's full of wrappers from uh, peanut butter eggs. Black Dog Kush, what are, we, uh, what are we trading for? I'll take some trading now. Do you think if Asmon gave OSRS a chance, he would love it? I think Asmon is intelligent enough to love anything he tries. Gold Satchel. What is... what is that? I don't know what that is. Gold Satchel? It's, uh, I can keep my grub in here. Interesting. I don't know what that is. I've... That's new to me. Inspect gold satchel. The gold satchel, empty. What goes in the gold satchel? Uh, have you ever tried Ragnarok Online? I'm not... No, I haven't, actually. I'll have a look into it. What, do, what does the gold satchel do? Black Dog Kush wished to trade with me again. Why is everyone trading with me? I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Hi. Oh, are we... Is it climbing time? Okay. It's climbing time. It's climbing and licking time. Thanks. Yep. These go in there. Oh, sweet. Okay. Um, cake, banana, and triangle sandwich. Are you trying to make me... So do I use gold satchel on cake? Use banana on gold satchel. Use triangle sandwich on satchel. Inspect satchel. Contains one sandwich, one cake, and one banana. That's pretty much all you need. That is all you need. What motivated me to do this challenge? I'm very lazy. I'm very, very lazy. That's pretty much what it is. Free lunch. Thank you very much. Okay, Piper, you need to go and have dinner because it is your dinner time. And you pop off and have yourself some noms. And I will not play Old School RuneScape while people play it for me. Oh, now I've got to tell the banana story again. I've really got to... Oh, I've got to tell the banana story now. Okay, someone said teleport to the fishing guild. Okay, rub skills necklace. Fishing guild. On my way. Let's do this. Would the lazy choice not be giving up? It would be. But I'm trying to get as little, I'm, I'm as most done with as little possible. Little effort possible. Oh, good. Uh, stupid is fully purple. I like this. All right, Falk, let's do this, mate. Off we go. Where are we going to? I believe we're going to the northwest. Uh, Apocalypse is there. Apocalypse, you have got this very goth kind of vampire dom thing going on right there. I don't hate it. I'm just putting that out there, all right? Not totally against that. So, yeah, fantastic. Keep going. Uh, oh, she's gone. Falk says run. I'm running. Here we go. What is the banana story? Okay, allow me to explain. When I was about 20 years old, I realized I had never eaten a banana. Eh? The story gets better. Stay with me. And I thought, one day, I... No, listen, it gets better. Shut up. Not for... I haven't been, like, avoiding them, you know. Bananas didn't, like, hurt my family or anything. It was just a, uh... I just never ended up eating a banana. No, we need to go all the way to the northwest to that place over there. And then I thought, wow, you know what? Maybe one day I will be famous and I will be able to write my memoirs. I'll be able to write an autobiography myself, which I suppose would just be a biography, but I would be able to write it. And what I would be able to do is I would be able to put a little footnote in that book on one of the pages, and it would say, Josh, 
has never eaten a banana. And I think that is going to be an excellent footnote in this book. Probably one of the best footnotes. 100 people have left the stream. I don't care. Once again, cowards. If you don't want the real Josh Strife lore, you're not going to get it, get it are you? Okay? This is what... This is true. This is real life. Okay? Stick with me. Only the people that can handle it deserve the, the deep lore. And I realized that I want to be able to put that footnote there. Josh has never eaten a banana. But what happens if I eat a banana? What would happen? I'll tell you what would happen. Uh, equip Glarial's amulet, then enter the falls. Can do. I would not be... You could just lie. No. No. Okay? I do not lie. Since I met Nicolas Cage and, you know, Henry Cavill at the same time, I decided no more lying. Right, uh, I'm going to need you guys to kill some serious spiders because I'm going to need to go this way. So, serious amount of spider killing. I'm just going to follow you guys. And I'm going to run this way. Yep, ignore the skeleton mages. Grab the crate. Yep, sweet, we got the key. Cool, let's go backwards. Eat the thing. Run back. I'm out of run energy. That's a problem. That is definitely a problem. Let's close this door. Hopefully no one's trapped in. Oh, somebody is. Sorry. My bad. Uh, but now we need to go this way. Run past the spiders. Okay, I'm going to need someone to kill that spider. Otherwise, I'm going to get poisoned and die. I am not going to run through here until all of those are engaged in combat. I'm going to need, like, all four to be attacked in combat. Someone needs to be on at least three out of four of them. As soon as I will, I will. Is it? It's Bill again. Bill is back. Bill's got them. One, two, three, four. Every single fire giant is distracted. This is beautiful. We made it. We've basically done it. There's no way you can die now once you're in the falls. That was absolutely fantastic. Bill coming in clutch with the fire giants. Oh, Bill. Bill, you good lad. Love you, Bill. I want to follow Bart. Is Bart, Bart, are you part of this? Or are you just happen to be here doing the thing at the same time? Like, what's what's happening with this one right now? Okay. Use one earth, water, and air rune on each of the six pillars. Okay, do not left-click the chalice. Cool. Did I miss the end of the banana story? No, no, it carries on. There's, there's a lot more stuff to it. Don't worry. Let me just uh, use one of each of these. You know what? I think, I think Bar is just actually doing the quest, and we just happen to be doing it at the same time. So we use the... One air, we use one earth, and we use one water. Now, I've got to pay attention to this so I don't do it wrong. So nobody nobody distract me. Don't ask me to regale you with the banana tail. I mean, I will do. Don't get me wrong, the story gets way better. Oh, I've eaten those soft banana-flavored sweets. They're fine. They're not banana, though. They're just soft banana-flavored sweets. By banana, I mean the fruit, the banana. I'm being very pedantic with this. But, yes, Apollo, I agree. The problem was, once I realized that I'd never eaten a banana and I could put the Josh has never eaten a banana anecdote in my, my biography, uh, that that suddenly started to mean quite a lot to me. And I realized that I could never, for the rest of my life, eat a banana. So while... And bear with me on this sentence. While many people have tried to put bananas in my face, I have managed to resist every single one of them. And I'm glad that you all understand and appreciate what I've done there. Right, use that and then use Glarial's amulet on the statue of Glarial. Can we remove Glarial's amulet? Use Glarial's amulet on statue of Glarial. There we go. That must have been hard. Yes. Yes, it very, very much must have been hard. Uh, can you not get bananas since Brexit? No, that's what it was. They were banned immediately. It's now uh, use Glarial's urn on the chalice. And then I think we are done with the Waterfall quest. Ladies and gents, Waterfall quest is down. It's beautiful. I can only eat a banana after I've eaten the autobiography. Maybe that will be my prize. Maybe that will be like my personal prize. Finish the autobiography, eat a banana. That's what will happen. You're not missing out on much. Bananas are good, make other things better, but it's no mind-altering. Thank you. Thank you. See, I don't, I don't think I'm missing out on that much. Right, so we've just advanced strength to 30. We can wield adamant warhammers and attack to 30. Adamant weaponry. Combat level is 24. Sweet. Can you remember when you were a kid grinding for ages to get 30 attack and now you're an adult, you can just get a load of people to do the quest for you? So much easier. Oh my god, that will be the name. Kira, 
That would be the name of the book. Josh has never eaten a banana until today. Wow. Okay. Eating a banana after the footnote in print two. Oh, yeah. So the footnote in one page, Josh has never eaten a banana. On the next page, ate one while writing this. It was okay. Beautiful. I like this. Okay, so let's just bring up the quest list. We've done the waterfall quest. It seems the next quest that it recommends I do is Tree Gnome Village. So let's just find uh, Tree Gnome Village, wherever that would be. It's just there. What does Tree Gnome Village need? Six logs. Ah, someone can give me one of those. Oh, this is the one where you kill the Khazard Warlord. Can you save spot the Khazard Warlord? You can, can't you? Excellent. Yeah, we'll just save spot the Khazard Warlord. That's absolutely fine. Um, no one's given me any teleport tablets to get out of here, so I'm just going to teleport back to Lumbridge. That seems easier. I'm going to tell you to Lumbridge. And uh, did that dude grab the chalice and get washed out? He may have done. Yeah, we're uh, we're teleported all the way back to Lumbridge. This is fine. <laughs> can you imagine if I end up being allergic to bananas? You can sort the quest help into the optimal at the top of the list. I've actually got the optimal from the wiki. Um, so if we if we go back from there, filters quest uh difficulty ordering optimal i think that'll take it back to the tree gnome yeah tree gnome village there we go tree gnome village um yo arissa could you walk me to uh the bank please rune light extend render distance shows there are three copies of the room i never knew that i never knew that where was bill was that bill did bill choose the wrong thing i've heard you are a furry and your living privilege your living privileges have been revoked. Your subscription to life has ended. Now I, I understand that, Daddy. It's okay. I never thought I'd say that, but uh, look, Alyssa, I need to follow you from here. That can can I just not follow you through the door or something? Okay, now I can follow you. Th forever stuck. Come on, pathfinding. Come on, Arissa. We can do this. All right, cool. We got it. We absolutely got it. This is fine. If I mess. So I was hanging out at Insomnia and a friend of mine walked up to me and she was like, hey, I've got this really cool cosplay. It's a massive fursuit. And I'm like, oh, so you're a furry. And she's like, no, 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 no. Just got a big fursuit. Uh, me think the lady doth protest too much, as they say. Okay, let me bang some stuff. What do we need for the tree gnome village? We need nothing that we've got here. In fact, I'm, I'm going to, I could right click and click deposit all, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click 39 times. This is the quality content that you get when you get here. See? This is the quality content that you get. Right, what do I want? What am I wearing currently? I'm wearing a parrot and a party hat, as it should be. Do I need stuff to range this dude? Can you mage him? I think you can mage this guy, can't you? So if I take out a staff, let's say a staff of air... I can then take out Mind Runes. Let's go Bank. Let's go Mind Runes. I've only got 83,000. So I'll take out 10,000. I think 10,000 shots should be enough to take this dude down. So we equip the Staff of Air. My magic level is 14, which means I actually have access to Fire Strike. I'm going to get me some Fire Runes. Do a bit of Fire Striking going on here. Let's withdraw like 10,000 fire runes as well. That'll be for the, the fire stuff. Oh, I'm being... Daddy Stanton is trading me. Always accept a trade from the daddy. Daddy, what are you giving me? Don't clip that out of context, please. Oh, it's already happened, doesn't it? Do you ever say a sentence and then immediately think... Fuck. That's a lot of my life. That's, uh, that's a lot of what I do. Okay, Arissa is trading me as well. We've been given lots of things, probably stuff to do with the quest. I was just about to say, can somebody get me six logs, please? Because uh, I ain't doing that myself. That, uh, that seems like effort. I don't fancy doing that. Okay, so all we need is six logs. I can get myself some stamina potions. That's fine. Let me grab some stam stuff. Grab another stamina potion. Is it worth putting, like, robes on? It might be worth putting robes on, because I need the magic accuracy. So, I suppose an Amulet of Glory would work for this. Glory is generally pretty good for accuracy. And then we've got some Black Wizard robes. That'll work. Uh, the party hat's still there. 
Okay, this is what I need for magic accuracy. Alright, so boots and gloves. I don't know if we have any boots and gloves. I'll see what there is. Oh, yeah, we've got the rainbow boots. That's fine. We'll take those. And it seems that Hypothesis wishes to trade as well. I'll accept the trade. What are you throwing at me? Did Josh ever finish the KFC dating simulator? Yes, I did, Snick. I did one coin. You absolute babe. Thank you very much. For luck. You know what? It will be lucky. Thank you. Uh, food if I get hurt. We'll take, like, a load of swordfish. I'll just... I shouldn't have to eat that many swordfish for this quest. But just in case. Speak to King Bolron is the center of the tree gnome maze. I'm going to take a couple of teleport tablets as well. Uh, so let's grab a couple of rocks, a couple of falodors, a couple of camis. Not going to need some lumbridges, so that's fine. Right, fastest place to tree gnome maze. I would say Camelot and then walk. Is that the easiest way? What are we doing today? Jane, allow me to explain what we're doing today. I'm going to teleport to Camelot. You guys come and meet me. I am trying to get a quest cape in Old School RuneScape. However, this is very important, I'm trying to do as little as possible to get it. Which means I am basically... I refuse to walk anywhere. Uh, you guys must either teleport me around or taxi me there. I right-click and follow you. Uh, I don't want to gather any items. I don't want to gather any objects. I don't want to grind for anything. So uh, I'm going to get a quest cape, but you're going to taxi me around everywhere. You're going to give me all the objects to complete the quests. Uh, you're going to kill the enemies that are in my way if I need to complete the quests. Basically, I'm playing what I refer to as lazy man mode. Uh, it's also streamer mode. I realized that with my you know, large YouTube and large Twitch following, uh, a lot of people would just do everything for me. So instead of uh, you know, fighting back against that and being like, oh no, basically a lot of old school RuneScape players play Iron Man mode, which proves their mastery of the game by the amount of restrictions they put on themselves. They can't do this, they can't do that, they can't accept help, they can't let people do things for them. I'm going the other way. Okay? I'm going the exact opposite way. The restriction I'm putting on myself is don't do any work. That's what I'm doing. So if you want me to drink some stamina potions, that's fine, but you've got to tell me to do it. I don't want to think. That's pretty much what it is. So how do I do this if I'm not popular? Ah, right. Uh, that's where the challenge comes in. It's a lot harder to do if you are not popular. Like, uh, popularity is kind of somewhat required for this mode, if you will. 90% is taken up by Josh explaining over and over what the stream is about. Look, look, Ginger, okay? Don't, don't go giving the secrets away to content. Do you want the secret to content? I'll take the secret to content right now. I have roughly one hour of prepared material as far as stand-up comedy goes. The banana story is 20 minutes of that. All right, there's uh, the, the, the Hex Girls story. The awakening from Captain Amelia in Treasure Planet, that's part of that as well. I have about one hour of prepared material that I can joke about. Once that one hour is up, I will fill about two hours with just explaining literally what's going on on the screen, and then I will recycle that one hour. So if you ever watch one of my six-hour streams, you may feel that you've watched one three-hour stream twice, and that is because you have. That's how this works. Can I explain the banana joke? I just tuned in. Yes, I can. How much prepared material do we have left? Look, yesterday I literally ended up just reading the instructions from a Belkin surge protector adapter. So don't... Right now, this is actually quite high quality content. Seriously, most people tuned in yesterday and all they got was... Belkin Limited reserves the right to review the damaged Belkin surge protector the damaged equipment, and the site where the damage occurred. For like 20 minutes. That's all they got. That was absolutely 100% most of the stream. That's what it was. There go the viewers uh, if they leave. Cowards. Straight up cowards. Don't forget the second camera. Look, I'm not arrogant enough to have a second camera. Am I? Okay? That's the first camera. Hang on, that's the... F There's the second one. Yep, same position of yesterday. We're in the chest cam still. So I have two webcams currently, uh, currently set up. One of them is much lower quality. So you've got... Peak twitch. Absolute peak twitch. But what I end up doing with this is this. I end up just... Uh, just reducing this to about here, and then...
This is how we stream from now on. I will be keeping a close eye on my health as I run past these giants. Are you all ready for some runescape? I know I am. Imagine... <laughs> Oh boy, I can't wait to check out some really popular old-school RuneScape streams. And <laughs> they log on, the adverts play, and the first thing goes, Let me tell you about the time I didn't eat a banana. When I was young, but a small lass, I did nary eat a banana. And as my life progressed, I thought, This is a thing. And now I realize, The moment I eat a banana... The thing ends. That is unacceptable to me. Potion seller. I'm going into battle. Oh, Damon's already here. Fantastic. Um, hang on, I'm going to follow. Ar Arissa's already over there. I'm going to just hop from person to person, follow to follow. I see. Truly a narrative of life itself. The problem is that what will happen is I will forget that I've done this with the camera set up, and then I'll start to try and offer you some like genuine life advice, and I'll be talking to you about really deep, passionate, important things. And you'll just, you'll look at the, you'll see this on the screen. It's very hard to take important, genuine, deep, well-meant life advice from this face. This is the problem. This guy knows what's up. I do. All this talk of you not eating a banana really wants me to hear the story about how you never ate a banana. How can I evade my taxes? Oh, fantastic. Finally, something I know all about. Uh, unless you work for the uh, Inland Revenue, in which case I know nothing about what you're about. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Become a Twitch streamer. It's okay. Don't worry. We'll talk it about. Buy monkey JPEGs. And that way, when they come to take your taxes, you won't have any money left because you spent them all like a fucking idiot on a JPEG of a monkey. All right? There we go. Advice. Life advice from Josh, from me to you. There we go. Cool. Thoughts on potassium. Overrated. Massively overrated. All of the potassium delivery systems need to be uh, improved. What if your monkey JPEG gets kidnapped? Oh, they're funging all the monkeys. Oh. Born. Born too late to explore the Earth. Born too early to explore the universe. Born just at the right time to funge the monkey. What a sentence. What an actual brilliant sentence. You know, every now and again, this uh, second camera scares me a bit, so I'm going to change it. There we go. Okay, this is... This. This is pod racing right now. You guys ready? Here we go. All right, King Bolron. The truth is, my people are in grave danger. We have always been protected by the spirit tree. No creature of dark can harm us while the three orbs are in place. We are not a violent race, but we fight when we must. Many gnomes have fallen, battling the dark forces of Khazard to the north. We became desperate, so we took one orb of protection to the battlefield. It was a foolish move. Khazard troops seized the orb. Now we are completely defenseless. Well, how can I help? You would be a huge benefit on the battlefield. If you would go down there and try to retrieve the orb, my people and I will be forever grateful. Before starting this quest, be aware that your combat level is lower than the recommended level of 45. Start the quest. Yes. The battlefield is to the north of the maze. Commander Montai will inform you of their current situation. That is, if he's still alive. My assistant shall guide you out. Good luck, friend. Try your best to return the orb. Elkoi guides us out of the maze. Imagine joining this stream right now. Literally right now. Okay, cool. We've got to go to the north. Uh, that seems like effort. I need someone to taxi me there, please. Mint says, Josh! Mincy! Mint, hey, Jim. Do I have a favorite Primark in 40k? Obviously, Robert Gurleyman. Reboot, hey, Gillyman. I am... Yeah, we need to go to north. For anyone who was here yesterday, that'll make sense. That'll make complete and total sense. Did you just say it's Morbin time? And then he morbed all over the place. All right, so, uh, Commander Montai, what's going on, mate? Chat to me, Commander Montai. Hello, Traveller. Are you here to help or just to watch? 
If I had a pound every time I'd been asked that question, I'd be able to afford the places I tried to go to. <sighs> well, little of column A, little of column B, see how the mood takes us, you know? You know just, let's not put any... Let's not put any expectations on it. Let's just see how the evening goes, shall we? I've been sent by King Bolren to retrieve the Orb of Protection. Excellent. We need all the help we can get. And too many Ultra Smurfs, not enough chaos. Right, you shut your her her heresy? You shut your heretical mouth talking about chaos like that. How dare. Warp says, hello, Mr. Streamer. Hello, Mr. Genju. How are you today? Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Okay, what are we doing now? Commander Monkai, here we go. Hello. Hello, Traveller. Are you here to help? Yeah, I said that. Excellent. It'll help we can get. Commander Montai, the orb is in the Khazard stronghold, but until we weaken their defenses, we cannot get close. You know what? I will... We, I'll gather some wood. Let me get wood, and I'll be right back to you. Hello, Commander. I've got wood. You give six loads of logs. You give six loads to the Commander. Jesus. Okay. Boy's got stamina. Commander, how you doing, Montai? We're hanging in there. For the next... Grow up, all of you. Stop it. Stop. Uh, you know what? For that, you've lost second camera privileges. No more second camera... Ca camera? I'm going to commit. No more second camera privileges for you. All right, cool. We need to do some stuff. Find some gnomes. Let's go find some gnomes. I will try my best to find some gnomes. If you behave, you can get camera privileges back. All right, we found some gnomes. Where are we going now? Uh, I need... Yes, yes, Kamla. Okay, Apocalypsia. I'm going to add you as a friend, first of all. Let me just uh, add friend so I can see where you are. We will keep you safe, Mr. Strife. Thank you, Black Dog. Apoc, I'm trusting you. We've got to go top left for the three trackers. The first tracker to the northwest. Let's do this. Grow up, said the biggest child present. How dare you. I downloaded OSRS. It's really tiny on my monitor. Ah, you need to download RuneLight. Go to the RuneScape homepage, uh, oldschoolruneScape.com, and then download the RuneLight um, launcher specifically. That's the one that you need to do. Yo, the second hand lands guy is a streamer. I'm, I'll take that. Thank you. That's. I'm glad to be... I'm glad that's how you know me. That's my legacy. I'll take that. I'm totally okay with that. It's an important thing to do. Right, I've been streaming for two hours. Here's the plan. I'm going to stream for about six tonight. We're going to get through some frickin' quests. We are going to do some serious questing. But I need to drink and a quick bite to eat. So... Let's take a 10 minute break. I will leave the stream running. When we come back in 10 minutes, we carry on with the quests. I am aware that every single time any streamer takes a break, the viewing figures go down. I also do not care because those of you who are in this for the long run, we're going to get a quest scape together. I'm going to see you in 10 minutes time. I will be back once I've got some food. 10 minutes time. See you guys then. Of three whole minutes left. Do we wait? Dwayne Herbert, I just got here. Has the stream been starting for two hours? Yes. Yes, it has. Absolutely. You're about to witness the start of the stream. Make sure you are here for it. In fact, you know what? I'm going to cut two minutes off your wait. Ladies and gents, welcome back. How are we doing today? See? We're back. Didn't even change the mug. Just made another cup of tea in the same mug. That's why you can't see... You see through the mug. See, that's how you see the chat. You see the chat by looking through the mug. That's what happens. Stream starts. Everyone in the stream right now has been waiting for two hours. And, Dwayne, I've got to be real with you, mate. You just show up. 
two minutes before the stream actually starts, and you're like, oh, I'm here now. You weren't there two hours ago. You haven't been waiting for... <laughs> Hang on. Kokomi has just said, wait two more minutes in the game. Not, hey, Josh, can we please wait two more minutes? It was a demand. Wait two more minutes. Okay. All right. I've been told what to do. All right. I'm fine. You're in charge now. I guess that's what we do. That's what happens. I'm just going to wait then. Dwayne. You know what, Dwayne? Just because of you, we're going to have another two-hour intro. Let me let me get this back on. Hang on. Pause. Two hours. Two hours and ten minutes. Go. Wait. Stop. Go. Content right here, guys. Why two hours and ten minutes and not two hours? Look, I'm getting a little bit fed up of all of you questioning my methods. All right? I know what I'm doing. I've played RuneScape before. Some of you may not have seen the clip channel, but I once shot an arrow that didn't hit a sheep. Now, that may not sound impressive in context, but a lot of people have watched me do that. A lot of people have watched my... F Look, I've even got an alarm to remind me to actually get back to work. And trust me, you guys, you are work. I'm a professional, all right? When I don't penetrate a sheep, people see it. And the arrow was the shot that... Let's just go back to RuneScape. Okay, so this gnome has given us the height coordinate of the trebuchet that we need to attack and throw through. It may be worth it. Is, is Josh actually Welsh? <laughs> yeah, this is just a really, really good, really good English accent. That's what it is. Okay. Right, okay, let's, uh, we've, hang <laughs> on, Apocalypse is like, put the starting screen back. I could put that back and just carry on playing. Like, I'm still playing, you just can't see it. The game is still happening. Yeah, it's alright, we're here. I'm being proper now. I'm being proper. Okay, so, Apocalypse, I require you to lead me all the way to the east, please. I'm hoping you know where this quest goes to. I'm assuming the people that are getting involved in this have got the, the quest guide up and open. The gnome is in there, so once the door is open, I can pop inside and uh, chat to the gnome. Here we go. Are you okay? They caught me spying. They beat and tortured me, but I didn't crack. I told them nothing. They can't break me. I'm sorry, dude. Okay, cool. He gives me the Y coordinate. Fantastic. Now we've got the last uh, last bit of information from him. He's going to find the last tracker, which is down to the southwest. Southwest. Did the English give you permission to speak with the English accent? Yes. Fish, don't... Don't you... First of all, don't use the banana emote. And secondly, don't... Don't redeem channel points to highlight the banana emote. The most English-sounding Welshman. Is this a Minecraft mod? No, this is actually a Roblox mod. Very, very... Very complicated Roblox mod. Okay, so this gnome is a little bit crazy. They're dancing, all of them. He's lost the plot. Coordinates. Who holds the stronghold? Right. My legs and your legs. That's four. Dance with me and Kazard's men are beat. My legs and your legs are four. So, Apocalypse, now we have got the stuff. Let's go back and do the thing. Why are you all redeeming channel points to highlight bananas? I hate it here. Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. I just wanted to stream RuneScape where I didn't have to do anything and you did all the work for me. Is it that much to ask? Like, is this... Is it that difficult? All I wanted was for you to do all of the work for me. Okay, cool. So we've got the ballista in the right place. The thing flies all the way through and smashes down the wall. Lovely bit of graphics in the distance. Okay, cool. Now, I'm pretty sure that you guys can't follow me for this. So, I'm going to have to follow Apocalypse here again. Um, just got into my recommended. Uh, why did YouTube... You got into my recommended. Good. Good. Clearly, my bribes are getting to the right people at YouTube. Am I wrong or are we missing a camera? I hate it here. Hang on. Hang on. Let me climb over the crumble. I don't know if you guys can climb over it with me. But uh, let's find out. So that dude's there. Can you guys climb over this with me or not? Nope. Oh, sweet. Hang on. You guys can. 
Uh, can somebody uh, kill that dude, please? Somebody kill the Khazard commander. That'd be sweet, because I can't see the Khazard commander. If I open this door, could you... Uh... Oh, riggedy wrecked, son! <laughs> this is how we assault the Khazard camp. You guys just deal with it all for me. Fantastic. Uh, there's another Khazard commander. I'd really rather not. So, thank you very much. Super lazy mode. Search the chest. We find the stolen orb of protection. Good stuff. I'm going to follow you to get back over there and then go down here. All right, cool. Easier said than done. Nice. Uh, get, just take this back to the gnome now. Fantastic. Yeah, this is streamer privilege mode. This is absolutely 100%. You can't get over from this side. All right, back out the door. This is streamer privilege mode. I am only... Basically, I'm calling it lazy man mode. For anyone who's new to the stream, I'm basically doing as little work as possible. Yeah, I don't want to walk. I don't want to... I don't want to kill things. I don't want to pick, bother picking stuff up. I don't want to level. If I need something, then you are going to give it to me. That was not a... Uh, that was a threat right there. Uh, follow this guy. Yo, Elkoy! Follow me back in. The true e-girl experience. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just going to let you guys do all the work for me. But don't say I never do anything for you. Right? Chest cam. Activated. There you go. There you go, see? Don't worry. Daddy made you some content. Got the chest cam going on right there. Follow through here. Follow Arissa. Do you know what I aspire to be in my life? Have you guys watched The Boys? You know The Boys with, um... What's the actor's name? The, the the main guy that plays Billy Butcher. What's the dude's name? Carl Urban. That's the one. Carl Urban. Phenomenally talented actor. I am going to... I understand right now that I'm not quite old enough to have the grey hair and the white beard. But I'm going to get there. Because I'm basing my entire kind of outlook, my entire character, my entire persona on... You know that bit in The Boys where Carl Urban leans forward and just goes, But don't worry. Daddy's back. That is... That got me. As soon as you said that, I'm like, that's a mood right there. Okay? That is entirely the thing that I'm building it all around. 100%. So, yes, I'm... Uh, I, I understand that I'm not quite at the daddy levels of of, of Twitch sexiness yet. But we're, we're, we're aiming. You know, we're aiming. We're getting there. We're getting there. Carl Urban from Poundland. Yeah, I feel that if you ordered the, like, the Poundland or the Wish special of Carl Urban, uh, Henry Cavill, and Richard Hammond, I would just turn up three times in various levels of clothing. That's what it would be, you know? If you want Carl Urban in your film, but you can't quite afford him, I'll turn up. It's okay. I'll sort that out for you. Yeah. No, Carl Urban is a phenomenally talented actor. I do like him. I didn't even realize who he was when I was watching one of my favorite films, which is The Chronicles of Riddick. I understand it's a terrible film, but I very much like The Chronicles of Riddick. Uh, you can ridicule me for it, but I think it's a good film. And, uh... Okay, cool. Elkoy's guide is out the maze. This is where we have to go and kill that dude now. Yeah, I like The Chronicles of Riddick. It is a great film. You need to crash... <laughs> That's a bad joke. <laughs> No, I like it. I very, very much like it. Um, talent impersonator. It has less of a carbon footprint than having talent. Yeah, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. I love the Riddick movie because it's just Vin Diesel wanting to be cool. Pretty much. I'm 90% sure. Bjorn, thank you very much for the sub. I'm 90% sure it's just Vin Diesel having a good time. Okay, Apocalypsia. Can I just ask you a question? Apocalypsia, did you, like, did you change your outfit after my story about the Hex Girls? Was that an active choice you made? Is this done for my benefit, or is this just how your character looks? Is this just the way you want it to look? Because, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with both. You know, both. That don't look at me like that. Don't give me the side eye. All right? No. We both know. We both... And I appreciate. This is good. If I was going to have an honor guard, they would 100% be dressed as kind of vampiric goth girls. I'd be good with that. That would be my entire thing. Right. Uh, we need to go top left. All the way over there. Top left still. Keep going. Keep going northwest. That's the one. Don't look at me like this. All right? Don't look at me 
Like, stop it, all of you. Also, is that a player actually called Gilanor? That's really impressive. That's actually super impressive. I was focused on the chess cam. Lupus, I will accept your trade after we've got past all these wolves. Uh, Damon, I appreciate you ice barraging everything. This feels very awesome. I feel very much like I'm just being walked through by an actual honor guard. We've got an ancient mage ice barraging everything. We've got Arissa just ripping things apart. We are going to war with the Khazards. We apparently we are. So I need to... Do I talk to the warlord? I can't remember. Is this a talk to Khazard warlord? Hang on, I should probably set up my actual attack. So spell, fire spell, sweet. Talk to Khazard warlord. Where's the safe spot? Uh, I cannot... Can, can the safe spot actually... Can I just attack him? I think I can use one of you guys as a safe spot. If I run back... God damn, okay, he just smacked me. Let's just eat some swordfish. Yeah, whatever you do, just don't move, guys. Don't move. This is peak runescape right here. This is one... What? He teleported? That shouldn't be allowed. The heck is the safe spot? Okay, there's going to be a safe spot somewhere. Maybe there? It's here. Okay, let's just... God damn. All right, so he is wrecking me right now. I need to attack the dude. Oh, yes, Gilnor, I will end up walking at some point. I do... I need to... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, nope. Not, not good. Not good again. I need to find out where the heck the safe spot is. Does he teleport to you when you hit him? if he isn't within melee range of you, specifically to prevent safe spotting like this. Yeah, he does. Oh, god damn. Okay, I I might not be able to, uh, to do this. Because I am trying. Am I, am I going to have to hit and run style? Hang on. We're doing this maximum effort mode. Let's just stand here. And wait for a second. Ha! Huh. Walking under the NPCs makes them stack. Right. Hit and run. So if I walk down to here... He cannot follow. But if I attack... He jumps at me. Oh, and then he runs back. Okay, so if, if he attacks me now... Use Mystic Might Prayer. I don't know if that's going to help much, but I can stick on Mystic Will. This is going to take a serious amount of time, but I'm glad that we're here, okay? Just as long as everyone stays very still, we should... Nope. I did not bring anywhere near enough food for this. And now he's backing off. All right, we've got enough. I might need more food. Could somebody go and grab some food and just bring it over? That'd be terrific. Okay, we're going to keep going, but I might need some food. Yeah, he walks through you guys, even if you stand still. What I need is some food. This is okay. I can just get some food. This is fine. We keep attacking. We keep walking back. Gilanor is unblocking him. How dare. That's no, okay. We got this. We got this. I just need to not die. That's the problem. We got this. Yeah, I've got one more... One more thing left. I didn't bring my food with me, that's the problem. Should have brought my food. There's two Khazard guards left as well. I might need somebody to, uh, to sort one of those out in a second. Turn on, run. Ah, yeah, it runs on. Oh, down to seven life. Attack Khazard Warlord. Is he... Oh, yeah, okay, he's nearly dead. Let's drink some more stamina potions. If I can just get a couple more good hits on him with this attack, we should be okay. I'm thinking of the fight arena, I believe. The one where you can safe spot the, the Khazar general. I don't want to walk too far away in case his health resets. Yeah, I, I can take like one more hit from this dude. And if I take one more hit from this dude, then I'm in trouble. 
Yeah, I will genuinely die if I take like one or two more hits. Okay, attack the Khazard wall. Whoa! Whoa! Come on, this is this is peak RuneScape here. I mean, you guys can go and watch Boaty if you want to, but you ain't gonna see, you know, five tick magic as skilled as this. This is definitely very, very... Uber Eats Delivery, yes! Fuck yeah! Let's trade for an Uber Eats Delivery. I'll take this. You absolute babe, just chucked a load of shark on us. Let's just hope that uh, it doesn't reset the, the counter. Thank you very, very much. All right, we've got a load of food sent to us now. That was beautiful! See? Lazy man mode. We don't need to do anything else. We just wait for people to bring us all the things. This is terrific! I don't see why people struggle with this quest so much, to be honest. People are like, oh, the guy's really hard to kill. Oh, yeah, you need to take a load of food. No, you don't. It's easy. Just have a 11, 11 max HP with sharp. Easy. Okay, 100% easy stuff. I'm going to take your bones. Easy peasy. Right, Apocalypsia. Let's, uh, let's go home. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very, very much. Why would he stop trolling? No, you can keep trolling. That's absolutely fine. You can keep trolling. Trolling is part of this. I understand some people, and this is what I love about streamer mode. Some of you are going to try really hard to help me succeed. Some of you are going to try really hard to make me fail. And it's that, that battle between both. It's that, you know, good and evil, right and wrong, clashing each other. Josh said daddy once and now has an army of simps. Oh no, these guys, none of these are simps. Every single one of these is a chad. Look at them. Every single one of them could stand up by themselves. Some people have got max capes. Some people are dressed in cool black trimmed armor. Some people are big goths. Some people have got dragon harpoons. Every single one of these, but there's no simps here. There's just a team of equally talented people all working together. That's what we're doing. Is it chin or chest cam? Both. Absolutely both. But what I appreciate is that we're doing this together. And when I finally, I've said, if I ever do actually manage to get a quest cape using you guys, using the community effectively as a, a crutch, as a guiding force, as a team of people, I will go to Jagex headquarters and dedicate an actual physical quest cape to them under the name of Twitch chat. That's what I will do. That's a thing that will happen. The duality of man, the twilight of morality. It is. Josh plays with no sound, no earbuds. Uh, I have sound coming from my speakers, but my speakers are so far away, my microphone can't pick it up, and I listen to it really, really, really quietly. That's pretty much it. Thank you for lazy man modding me. Hey, hey, if you want to be involved in lazy man mode, it's totally okay. You put a lot of effort into speaking eloquently when streaming and recording. What's your real accent? This is it. I am this posh, genuinely. I wake up in the morning and I'm like, well, I say, must be time for some breakfast, old chap. And then I go make myself some breakfast. That's what happens. You would need to have someone else drive you to them in the, in the spirit of the account. Just, I'd drive, have someone else drive me to Jagex and then I'd just sit there until one of the mods came out and met me and then I'd follow them. I'd do that. I would absolutely do that. Okay, uh, he can have my balls back. All right, I've given him two, two balls. Sutana, Sulana, and Tania. Mod Ash had better be watching. If he isn't, I'll be personally offended. No, no, I'm, I'm sure Mod Ash is more of a boaty guy. All right, I have uh, returned the gnome's balls, put them on his wood, and now I can travel via his trees. Fantastic. Fantastic. Valve destroyer of second monitors. Hey, I've not destroyed a single second monitor. That's more of a math thing to do. Is Josh sick? Sounds like he's got a cold. Wreck. Only sick with my skills at RuneScape. In my head, that sounded really cool. But then I said it, and I'm like, oh, that doesn't, that, that wasn't as cool. You know what? No, no, I'm going to commit to it. That was cool. I am cool. I'm committing to that being cool. Combat level 25. Gilanor wishes to trade. I'll accept a trade, Gilanor. What are we, uh, what are we trading? It wasn't. Four cups of tea. You absolute babe. I'll take that. I'll even have a sip from an actual mug while I have a sip in the game. Ah, nothing like a nice cup of tea. 
You're so cool. Thanks. My mum said I'm cool. It wasn't cool, but those who don't chance it will never... Yeah, you know? If you can't handle me at my cringe, you don't deserve me at my base. That's what it is. You need to remember this. Uh, Flandre is trading. What are we trading more of? What do we need? Is it more Uber Eats? Manta Rays. Are you guys that scared that I was going to die? Okay, that's pretty much all the stuff that I can hold right now. Yeah, I've, I've got that many spaces exactly. Well, thank you very much. Super combat potions and some prayer potions. 40k of stuff. You do not have enough inventory space. I've only got one, two, three, four, five, seven. I have seven inventory spaces, but I can see that Arissa wants to throw something else our way. This is a community account. How about this? How about this? And I mean this, and this is something you can quote me on. I understand that a lot of people are giving me items and gold and things to help on this crazy journey. If this account gets a quest cape. No, not if. When. It'll take a long time, but when. Not only will I go to Jagex headquarters and gift them an actual quest cape, I'll just go to the party room and do a drop party of everything. Because as far as I care, this is... This is the community's achievement. I'm just playing via proxy. You know, it's the community getting a quest cape. I'm just you're doing it while I'm sat here. So none of the stuff on this account I would consider to be my property. I think... Once we get the quest cape, we do a, a drop party with everything. I think that'd be really cool. That's something, yeah, our account. That's how it works. Okay, let's, uh, he's, am I following the optimal quest guide? The next thing I do is fight arena. Fight arena, recommended five coins, combat equipment and food, magic to range if you want a safe spot. Okay, yeah, we can do a safe spot. Safe spotable, safe spotable, safe spotable. General Khazard saves, everything is safe spotable over here. This is absolutely fine. Uh, next thing we need is the, yeah, the fight arena. Talk to Lady Serville, west, southwest of the monastery, south of Ardoin. So to get to Ardoin, I'm going to teleport to Camelot. Now, how close are we now? Where do I need to get to? Is it that one? Monastery, west, southwest of Ardoin is... Isn't that like here? Oh, that's like really close. Okay, cool. Let's, um... Yeah, it's super close. All right, sweet. I will... Koki, let me just add you as a friend, seeing as you've been helping out a load of stuff with this. Yeah. Look, it's pronounced Ardoin. Just... Shh. Ardoin. Follow Koki. The reason I say Ardoin is... Sit, what's with the second camera? It's the chess camera. Don't worry about it. The reason I say Ardoin is... I once asked a member of Jagex staff, how do you pronounce Ardi? And they were like, Ardoin. I'm pretty sure it's based on an Irish city because obviously a lot of the stuff in runescape is based on um the uk so i'm yeah pretty sure it's from ireland somewhere so what is a quest cape quest cape is what you get when you complete every single quest in the game and there are a lot yeah including the new grand master quests oh god see i've got a quest cape before i have genuinely actually managed to get a quest cape before it's just a very difficult thing to do. Are you going to do the mini quests too to flex? I might do. Don't test me. We'll see how I feel. Hi, never seen you here before. Are you promoting old school RuneScape? That's a good question. Am I? Am, by my very nature of playing old school RuneScape, I considered an advert for this game? I haven't been paid to play the game. I've not got any kind of financial incentive for you to play the game, but obviously if I enjoy the game on a personal level, and I'm enjoying it on a professional level as well, would that be considered an advert? That's a good question. And for those of you who've just joined and gone, why is he just talking bollocks philosophy? Okay, this is 90% of what we do. We talk way too deeply into topics that do not need to be too deep, because that is the great way of padding out the stream. That's what it is. I think it's a subtle OnlyFans ad with the chest cam. Yeah, I could do that. I love how every time somebody asks a question, it becomes this deep philosophical thesis. Yeah, yeah, that's the way it is. It feels more like an opinion. Honest answer or entrapment. Can you explain the lore of RuneScape? Yes. Many years ago, about three or four years ago, a man called Andrew Jagex had a dream. His dream was to make World of Warcraft, but entirely in Flash. Uh, unfortunately, he couldn't program in Flash, so he used Java instead, and he knocked this up in about a week, 
Turns out it was one of the greatest video games ever made. That's all of it. Right, Lady Several, your combat must be level 50. No, it won't. All right, cool. We'll help you out, Lady Several. Or Serville, however it is. Wow, in Flash. Yeah, didn't even exist. Yeah, it, that's good. That's what happened. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Uh, no, in all seriousness, uh, RuneScape was made by um, Andrew and Paul Gower about 23 years ago now. It's an old game. And yeah, it was good. The, the Flash joke was from Adventure Quest. I'm also a big Adventure Quest fan. Right, we need to head over... Oh, Flandra, I like your style, by the way. Your style is pretty badass right there. Oh my god, by the time we finish and go and get a quest cape, are we going to have an honor guard of, like, really cool gothic-looking people in the game? I'd be up for that. I would be very up for that. That would be so cool. His brother Paul had a big hand in it. Yes. Oh, they, there, was, there were three of them. Uh, I got my Andrew and Paul, but I cannot remember the the other one, fortunately. But yeah, there were lots of people. Uh, Curdbot wishes to trade. Curdbot. Ian. That was it. Andrew, Paul, and Ian. Sorry. Yeah, I knew there was somebody else. 69 Guam Leafs, 69 Eye of Newts, 1 Vile. That's the sex number. Thank you for the 69 uh, Guam Leaves and Eye of Newts and Vials. I, I appreciate that. That's good. What world are we on, boys? I can tell you what world we're on. We are... Don't smoke Guam Leaf. I won't. We are on world 342. Okay, cool. I'm going to need somebody to take me over to the right-hand side. Uh, Kokomi, I am trusting you with that task. Kokomi, please taxi me over to the east. Do you think it was a wise financial decision to sell their share of Jagex? See, at some point, you have to question how much is it worth selling right now and how much would it be worth if you wanted to be a full-time job because Jagex is a multi-million pound company, but I'm pretty sure when they sold all of their shares, they made several millions of pounds. Now, that's that's pretty impressive. All right, we're going in here. We're going to grab this chest. That's pretty impressive. If I had something worth several millions of pounds, I would absolutely consider selling it. And then be like, hey, guess I can just hang out for the next however long and not need to work ever again. Fantastic. So what is Lazy Man? Am I trying to do as little as possible? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, for example, right now I need to go south, but that's a lot of work. So I'm going to follow Apocalycia, and Apocalycia can um, just walk me there. This is streamer mode. Um, no, Apocalycia, you've got me trapped in here with Khazard guards. No, they're going to attack me. This is not good. Oh, okay, Oof. save me there. Yeah, so I am pretty much just letting the community do the work for me and not doing any work myself. I need to go in here, do I? Can you guys not go in here? I'm guessing you can't go in here, but I can. All right, in I go. I'm dressed as a Khazard guard, so no one should suspect a thing. Talk to the Khazard guard in the southeast of the prison, that chap over there. Let's go and have a word with him. The head guard. Yeah, I live in the dream. I'm kind of annoyed that right now I've got to actually do work, because look, this is disgusting. Right now, I've got to actually work at the game. This is horrible. Ah, right click, left click. Long live General Khazard. Uh, yeah, yeah, quite right. Do you need something? I'm um, checking. You got any orders for me? You know, seeing what's going on. Not right now. Things are all very boring at the moment. What I'd give to be over the bar having a nice Carly Brew. Oh, Carly Brew? Can't say I've ever had one. Oh, nothing beats them. Mind you, don't make the mistake of having too many. Last time I did, I ended up falling straight to sleep. That sounds fantastic. You're telling me there's a drink that just immediately puts me to sleep. I want ten of them. That sounds amazing. Buy Carly Brew for five coins. I do not have any coins. Could somebody please bring me some coins? Okay. I abs Yeah, I'm freeloading, pretty much. I do not have any coins. Could somebody please bring me some when I go to wherever this is? Buy Carly Blue from the nearby bar to the west. Um, I also need somebody to come and pick me up and taxi me to the bar because I am not walking myself. That would defeat the entire purpose of being a streamer. Did I spend all my pocket money on sweets? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Can I sell monkey JPEGs? No, you can only sell them for imaginary coins. Oh, good. Uh, Kokomi, thank you. Come around here and collect me, please. Fantastic. Thank you. Please take me to the bar. Is it true that Josh is a dad now? Father of three kids? I bloody hope not. You know, I, <laughs> look at this army of people running to check I'm okay. They're like, don't worry. We've got, we've got an ancient mage. We've got some rangers. We've got all the money to us. We're all okay. 
Uh, but no, I, I very much hope not. Am I never doing the fire cape? I might do the fire cape. Might even watch my own guide to work out how to do it. Um, you have walked the wrong way, Koki. It's a fine. I'll follow Flander instead. Then I'll follow Black Dog. Then I'll talk to the Khazar Barman. I want to get. I want you guys to get me as close as I can to these things. Uh, I'm going to need some coins. Does anyone have any coins on them, please? May I please have five coins? Thank you. We'll be getting Tangent Tavern NFTs. If I have anything to say about it, no, absolutely not. Uh, buy Carly Brew for five coins from the merchant. Let's talk to the Khazard Barman. Hello. Yep, give me a Carly Brew, please. Thank you very much. And now we need to talk to the guard back in the Khazard place. That's fine, I'll follow Nova. Nova, you've been... You've been tasked with the difficult job of guiding me back. But I will... I will have faith in you. Lupus, you haven't even done this quest. What's going on, Lupus? Come on, sort it out. That's fine, Nova. I'm with you, mate. Don't you worry, we're here. Are you not waiting for people to tell you to follow anymore? Right, so the Lazy Man rules have changed into what's even easier. I am able to pretty much do whatever I want, but... I... With, I would prefer to not do anything. Oh, turns out Lupus can come in here because Lupus hasn't done the quest. Fantastic. Lupus, I'm following you now. So, Lazy Man mode isn't... Because I was talking to Visa, the editor, about the restrictions we put on the actual thing, and the restrictions weren't making the video fun. They were just making the video tedious. So I want the restrictions to be fun for all of us, but not tedious. That's the kind of balance we're going for. So if it's fun, we'll do it. If I can make it silly and enjoyable, great. If it's going to be tedious and just add time for the sake of adding time, we're not doing that. Hey, I will give this guy a drink. Hey, come on, mate. Come on. One drink. One drink. So yeah, we're trying to find that balance of challenging, fun, and tedious that makes it entertaining when you actually succeed. Because you want to see people succeeding beyond adversity, don't you? And the adversity that I'm placing on myself is pretty much relying on you. One thing that I think is important is I will try as hard as I can to do this mode, this lazy man mode, if you will, on other MMOs. When we've done with RuneScape, imagine trying to finish all of the Lord of the Rings online, the main quest line at least, not the entire, you know, everything, or getting to the end of the Guild Wars 2 storyline, or even getting to the final boss of Guild Wars 1, that kind of stuff. Imagine doing that, but with the community. That's the plan, because I watch so many streamers and so many YouTubers who... I'm going to follow you, Lupus. So many streamers who com effectively complete MMORPGs solo, which is super impressive to see people do, and I do play MMOs solo when I do the worst MMO series. But the biggest complaint I get from people is you don't interact with the community enough, which I completely agree with. It's a good complaint. So, how about we play games together? If MMOs are meant to be, you know, all together, let's do that. Let's play MMOs together. I think that could be a fun, interesting thing that we all do. We get through RuneScape, we get a Questscape, we do as far as we can in RuneScape 3, we get as far as we can in Final Fantasy 14, we do it for Guild Wars 1, Guild Wars 2, Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, that could be cool. I'd enjoy doing that. Quick, help him! Oh, the Khazard Ogre is there. Right, where is the safe spot for the ogre. I'm assuming there is a safe spot. Uh, let me just... Uh, first things first, we find the safe spot. Is this a safe spot? Yes. Now, for those of you who think that I'm being cheeky by safe spotting, tough. Ah, from Apocalypse here, behind bones, you're doing great. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, I guess we got it then. Magic's level 17. Now cast Wind Bolt. Oh, should we just do that then? Oh, no, I haven't got the uh, the Chaos Ruins. Okay, cool. We'll just keep casting Firebolt then. This is fine. Love that almost every quest fight in Old School Runescape has safe spots. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it easier for me. Of course I'm a Runescape fanboy. Absolutely. But... With, uh, with MMOs, I think one thing that I would like to do is I would like to play through as many as I possibly can with you guys. And see, this kind of fight, I can't get involved. You can't get involved with this because this is an instanced area. But I'm pretty sure I can still see most of you outside somewhere. Or at least I should be able to. Uh, 
Right, so we've done that. We talked to Hengrad next. Can we get more zoom in on the chest there, Cam? Yeah, of course you can. Why not? Hang on. There you go. General Kazard. Well, well, well. You seem to be in quite the rush. Do you have somewhere else to be? Oh, no! General Kazard, I presume. You presume correct. I must say I sense a great air of defiance to you. Does my appearance not fill you with fear? Seem worse, mate. You know? I've woke up to some people in the morning and been like, Oh, dear. Oh, goodness me. How much did I drink? How arrogant. No matter, though. You will come to learn. Now, despite your entertaining show, the two individuals you are attempting to leave with are my property. They belong to nobody, my friend. How dare? Well, if their freedom is so valuable to you, how about a trade? Fight in my arena. If you win, I'll let them go. What if I refuse? Well, I wasn't actually giving you a choice. Guards, take him to the cells. Voice actor mode activated. Yep, straight up. Hello there, General Kazard's caught you. Well, if you're lucky, you might last as long as me. How long have you been here? Oh, long as I can remember. I was a child when his men kidnapped me. My whole life has been spent killing and fighting. Hang on, I've, I've given this guy the wrong accent. I've given this guy very much the wrong accent for a life of killing and fighting, but I'm going to go with it. Oh, as long as I can remember. I was a child when his men kidnapped me. My whole life has been killing and fighting, all in the hopes that one day I might escape. Don't give up. Thanks, friend. Wait, sounds like the guard is coming. Looks like you'll be going back into the arena. Good luck, friend. Yeah, I, I realized afterwards that he's like a, a long-time killer, and... He should probably have been given a much more somber voice, but I've stuck to it. Now watch closely, friends. I fear this may be where your protector dies. Ignore him. You can do it. Oh. Hello, Kazard Scorpion. Should have probably brought some kind of... Oh, oh Jesus, run. Oh, hang on, I'm guessing behind the bones again. I'm going to drink a... Drink a shark. You know what I mean. And... for <laughs> Fool. Foolish fool, taken out by a tiny stack of bones. Fantastic. What an idiot. Look at that parrot. That parrot, by the way, if you're just joining, is called Twitch Chat, because he is always with me and guides me. That's how it is. He accepted his fate and has learned to enjoy it. Did you say Kermit the Frog? I will try and do Kermit the Frog at some point. Did you see General Kazard has a new model? He is legit Zamorak's son. He is Zamorak's son. That is true. Yes, there's, there's a lot of, uh, of interesting lore in RuneScape of who is related to who and how they are related to people. I'll see if I can do more voices. Impressive. But now for a proper challenge. Time for my puppy. Bring on Bouncer. Any of you guys play the Bouncer on PS2? Tell me how bad that game was. I might need to... See, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome to the stream. I might need to, at some point, replay the Bouncer for PS2. Did you guys remember that? Yeah. The Bouncer for PS2. It was one of the first PS2 games that came out. It was like a Square Enix Final Fantasy game that was pretty much just punching. Albion Online posted their more detailed player count in the last few days, like you recommended. Good. I'm glad they did. Is that a chest tech cam? Yes, it is. Some people wanted it, and I am not one to deny the people what they want. People came to me and said, hey, Chester Cam. I'm like, you know what? I can do that. Yeah, Squaresoft, that one. After Bouncer is killed, you will be unable to re-enter the arena. So anything you drop in the arena now, uh, you have to make absolutely sure. That unbutton one button with each quest done. I'm going to be naked by the time we finish. That would be a problem. The Bouncer was Zell from FF8 in a spin-off. We could have a look into that. Hey, Josh, how old are you? It's a good question. How old do you think I am? Because you're either going to answer really well and make me happy, or really badly and make me sad. One of those two. Skies of Arcadia is on the list. Don't be worried. There's a lot, a lot on the list. People are saying mid-30s, 35-ish, 32, younger than me, 45. Magma, don't make me ban you. I mean, I will. That's not a threat. I will do that. I will just straight up ban someone for saying I'm 45 years old. How dare. If you are less than 30, I'd be upset. Uh, I'm 33, you look 30. I am early 30s. That's true. I am early 30s. How does that make you all feel? First time catching a stream and I'm not disappointed with the close-up cam. Good. You shouldn't be. 
You know what? Next time, I'll make the high-detailed camera the close-up cam and the low-detailed camera the face cam. There we go. Is there a place where I can watch the vol of those books games? Yeah, you should be able to watch them on Twitch, or I should be able to upload them to YouTube. I'll see what I can do. You mean you're not 16? I'm sorry I lied. I'm sorry I'm not. No, I'm actually an immortal vampire, like that vampire from that vampire book. Can I just ask... I'm just going to point out a bit of a... It's not necessarily a plot hole. It's more of a conversation that I would like to have for anyone who's a fan of the Twilight books. If you are an immortal vampire, why would you go to high school? You can't die. You don't need the education. You are hundreds of years old. You can go wherever you want to. Why? Imagine if you woke up, you're 300 years old. You've got the wisdom of the ancients. And the first thing you do is, ooh, better get back to high school. That is a terrible idea. That's awful. If I woke up and I knew that I wasn't going to die for the next like four or five hundred years, I would watch all of One Piece. That's what I would do. I'd be like, all right, sweet, cool. I'm going to watch literally all of One Piece in one go. That's my plan. I'm going to watch all, I'm going to binge Naruto. But no, he woke up and went, right, I'm going back to... Does he even know about, like, PlayStation or something? Imagine that. You're 300 years old, you've got unlimited time on this earth, and you don't choose to go and play Elden Ring. You, you could choose any other video game. You choose any film, any TV show. You could catch up. You could probably, in like 300 years, you could probably watch at least half of Critical Role. That's... Uh, there is so much more you could have done with that time. It's so weird. And people are like, oh, but they, they go to blend in, you know? They've got to blend in. They're not on any government database. They're not on any government radar. Just don't commit crimes. That's pretty much all you need to do. Oh, I go to blend in. From who? From what? No one's looking for you. As far as any of the governments are concerned, you don't exist. If any of them knew you did, it would be a major problem. The best way that you blend in is by waking up, taking a job that you don't like, or learning a skill, getting a really high-paying job, and then enjoying that. Or, I don't know, just, just buy an N64 and play through all the old N64 catalog games. I don't know. Why would you choose to go back to high school? If you have literally unlimited life, it's the dumbest choice that you could ever make. I hate it so much. Ah, oh. it's. I mean, the the answer is obvious, but also it's disgusting. It's a shame. If the government, you know, good point. The government doesn't know they exist. They wouldn't be able to get a job. That's very, very true. I am on thirteen hit points right now. Safe spotting the son of an evil god. You know? It's horrible. But I'm doing it. Yeah, the GameCube catalogue. You could literally replay almost all of the GameCube games. And yet you decide to go to high school. It's a terrible idea. The more hyped you get, the less chest hair we get. Can we have one button up? Oh, I'm sorry. Is it the more hype? I'll just pull the shirt down. There we go. You happy with that? That's the OnlyFans right there. Do a Zelda marathon. You could catch up on all of a YouTuber or something. Oh. All right, cool. So we've defeated... Uh, a Majar Rat's son. Fantastic. Would I rather fight one Rat Swarm with 24 HP or a group of 24 Rats with 1 HP? Uh, one Rat Swarm, provided I can save spot it. There we go. I killed you. Arrogant fool. You think you can kill me? I am General Khazard. My power is absolute. Now, part of me would very much like to kill you for what you've done today, but let it be known I am not without generosity. You proved yourself in a battle against me. Your ability to stand behind a small pile of bones was unparalleled. That is something few can boast of. For that you may leave. However, if you ever oppose me again, I won't hesitate to wipe you from existence, provided you're not stood behind a tiny pile of bones. Now go. I have business elsewhere. Thank you, Man of Smoke. You could play all the fighting fantasy games on Twitch. Yeah, you could. You could. Act. Right, so uh, we now go back over there. All right, cool. Arissa, I'm going to need you to lead me, because that's a long way and I ain't walking. Can we get an eyebrow cam to the top right? I'm not made of webcams. I've got, like, two or three of them. Thanks, Arissa. I'm now just trapped back here. 
It's so oh, don't worry. No, there we go. Thank you. I understand that manipulating my character around uh, corridors is difficult, but I appreciate it. Ooh, chest hair cam. Hey, I know what the audience want. One and a half thousand people want to watch me uh, play RuneScape with a chest hair cam. That's just what people want. Why are you on skis? Blaked beans. Blaked beans, have you, uh, you come to join us? You're going to hang out with us for a bit? Arissa, why have I not got you added? Hang on. I think it's because you haven't spoke too much. Let me add you as a friend. There we go. The more people that help me out with this, the more people I'm going to add as friends, and the friends list by the end of it will just be a list of people who have helped me complete quests at some point. If we have the chest hair cam, do we even need the normal cam? I mean, it hurts, but... Okay. Lady Serville. You're alive! I feared General Kazard would have killed you! He tried, but I was able to defeat him. You killed General Kazard? I thought I had at first, but it seems he is not that easy to kill. Well, at least you're alive! Now you'll be pleased to know that my son and husband are safe and recovering at home. Without you, they would certainly be dead. Thank you. For everything. It's not a problem. Please take this payment. It's the least you deserve. And we've done another one. We've done another one. Total quest points, 35. We're actually getting... Why the grandma voice? Hey, she's had a hard life, okay? Her husband and son have been captured by General Kazar for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, it's not been easy for her. We have completed the fight arena, and we have attack level is now 40. You can now wield rune, also brine sabers. Thieving is 14. We are really ramping through some levels here. I'd say we're doing pretty damn good. Josh, how many hours a day of gaming is healthy? Any less than 25, and you're a coward. I love your Monty Python female voice. Thank you. I knew that was where I got it from. Didn't know Josh voice acted in Old School RuneScape. It's true, I do. Right, Tribal Totem. Uh, requires 21 thieving, which is boostable, but I can't be bothered to get that yet. What about Witch's House for some hit points? Yes. Let's do Witch's House and get some serious hit points. Big Velvet. What is the trade, Big Velvet? Mole Slippers. 148,000. Are you sure you want to give me some Mole Slippers? I'll accept them. I'll even put them on. Look at those beautiful little nipple slippers right there. They do look like it. Kateria. What is being added? Thank you, Kateria. What are you throwing at me? You're throwing a keg of beer. That's... Now that's good. I'll take that. I did already have mole slippers. They're in the bank. These ones are on my feet. Remember, when the entire thing is done, I will do a drop party of everything. Anything anyone gives me is going back into the community eventually. Now, I would like to do the Witch's House. That starts at the Witch's House in Taverly. Looking more like a grandpa. Hey, I'm going for that gilf vibe, okay? Just let me have this. Uh, what else do I want? Purple party hat. Sweet. The whole, I do very much look like a grandpa wizard. Like I've been annoyed that someone has woke me up from my nap. Now, how are we going to get to Taverly? How are we going to get to Taverly? Yep, there we go. Blaked Beans teleports me to Falador. I'll accept. Thank you very much. <laughs> Instead of wise old man, it's wise middle-aged man. I'll take this. Man who has just had enough of your shenanigans. Uh, Velvet, could you do me a favor? Could you walk over to the bank, please? Because it's a long way and I can't be bothered to walk there. In your bathrobe and slippers, yelling at the kids. That's what it is. I'm just going to yell at the kids. You know? Wise middle-aged man. That's what I'm going for. That's my cosplay for the next thing. Thank you very much, Big Velvet. Thank you for bringing me all the way back here. I appreciate it. Let's put some coins away. Put a couple of these things away. Uh, the keg can go away. I'll, that can go. I'll keep this stuff. Oh, I had a Falador tablet on me. I could have kept that. We'll stick the Eyes of Newts away. Don't need the Khazard armor. Uh, I'll keep the food in case I need the food for anything. I shouldn't, but I'll keep it with me. Now, I think you need leather gloves for this. Thankfully, I've got 126 pairs. So I'm going with that. Do we have any cheese? We don't. I'm pretty sure you can find some cheese, can't you? Required cheese, multiple if you mess up, leather gloves, um, combat gear and food for monsters, witches experiments, yep, I can kill them, no problem at all. Apocalypse is trading with me, I'm willing to bet it's cheese. There it is, beautiful, thank you very much. Papa Josh is back, <laughs> Papa Josh is back with the milk. 
What a great catchphrase. I don't think it'll catch on, but I'm willing to try. I'll, I'll keep it going for a while. Wise middle-aged man realized that answering back to his wife is senseless. Yes, it's not worth the struggle. Someone give Josh like 10,000 chaos runes. It's, RuneScape is so much easier when everyone just does everything for you. I don't know why I didn't do this before. Leather chaps, gold. Leather body, gold. Climbing boots, gold. Short bow, iron arrow, rune darts. Thank you very much. Okay, now that's beautiful. Do we range or do we mage? Uh, the reason I think we should mage this is because I've my range level is one. And unfortunately, if we end up... Can you wear climb boots without doing the quest? Ah, the Sherpa's feet must be very small. I can't get them on. Not yet. Leather body, leather chaps. I think we should mage this and then range afterwards. That is that is the drip. That's true. Big Velvet, what are we trading? Let me just bank some stuff. Remember, anything I take ultimately will be dropped back when this account is sorted. Big Velvet, what's the trade being made? Tell your partner you're wise. Yeah, hey, I am wise. I'm full of wisdom. I'm very wisdomous. 610,000 worth of Chaos Runes. 10,000 Chaos Runes. Thank you very much. Let's just grab these and stick them in. And now what I'll do is I can actually change it so I'm now casting Wind Bolt instead. I can actually bank the Fire Runes and the Mind Runes. I probably don't need 10,000 Chaos Runes. So if I bank 8,000 of them... Yeah, 2,000 Chaos Runes is probably enough. I'll put the leather gloves on and I'll also grab another lobster just in case. Yeah, 20 years from now when this account is done, we'll drop everything and then people will be really happy that we've dropped everything. But until then, where are all the shark? No, one, two, three, four. Four more swordfish. Okay. I believe we should be off to Tavoli. Oh, we've got some badass looking people. Hang on. Wow. Frosted bow. Look at that. We've got a, a maxed out cape. We've got the we've got the judicial armor. That is sex. It's the Inquisitor, isn't it? That is sexy right there. There's even a raccoon. All right, cool. So we're going to Big Velvet. I'm going to follow you. Let's go to Tavoli. Tavoli, please, Big Velvet. Off we pop. I'm going to add you as a friend as well. Uh, add friend Big Velvet. The reason I'm adding people as friends is so I can see their name easier, so I can uh, follow them quicker. 13 HP but eating sharks. That's just the life I live. All right. It's just the life. I need to feed my cats. Can you pause the stream for three minutes? Of course. Go and feed your cats now. When we get to Tavoli, I'll wait three minutes, then we'll carry on. I'll put a timer on my phone. You've got three minutes from now. Nothing will happen. Let me just add a timer on. Timer, three minutes. Go. All right, cool. We've got a, we've got a timer counting down for three minutes. Nothing's going to happen until that's done. I'm going to talk to this boy, but then we're going to wait. Okay. Talk to boy. How many non-members quests are left, if any? I don't know. Um, there are a couple, mostly the harder quests. Dragon Slayer is one thing we haven't done yet, so as soon as I do the Dragon Slayer quest... Yeah, don't say Josh never said anything for... I do. I, I try and work with all of you as much as I possibly can. I try and help. Why is the second camera so small? Good question. Very good question. There we go. Much better. Everyone's happy now. This is the game. This is how we play from now on. You guys ready? Premium. Do you want to go out the room? I'll take that as a yes. Hang on, my cat's yelling at me. Can you hear that as well? She is a very loud, very meowy cat. Let me just uh, let her out the room. You guys are going to get me to stand up, okay? Stand up. Stand up content right here. Don't want you. There's food downstairs. Go and enjoy the food. You know what we haven't done today? I haven't lunged enough. This will only make sense to people who were here yesterday. There's going to be a large subset of you who are like, What? Bear with us, all right? Bear with me. Lunging is... I like how my hand is now on the off-camera. Very important, okay? This is the pointing hand. In fact, if I just lean a bit... No, you don't get the crotch cam. 
So, these jeans that I'm wearing, this is more Josh Law. These jeans that I'm wearing right now are very specifically stretchy jeans. And I bought them because I knew that I was going to be on stage, I was going to be performing, and I might need to lunge on stage because I am lunging a lot. Yeah, you know, most of my day revolves around lunging. And why are there so many people here? Like, there's, there are so many people who are like, yes, you're going to do Witch's House. This is going to happen. I appreciate the, the, the massive support. Whoever wanted to feed their cat has 27 seconds remaining. So these are my lunging pants. These are my... Oh, God, he's got his lunging jeans on. Oh, no. There's going to be a lunge. Yeah. Did you just say perfect loot for gene stealers? I'll forgive you. The Emperor won't. Okay, the, bo the boy sobs. <laughs> what a loser. Alright, time's up. If you haven't fed your cat by now, the cat's gonna go hungry. Here we go. This is the first time you've been on when I'm free. Alright guys, well it's been a good run. Have a good day. See you later. Take care. Can you imagine? Oh, how pissed off would you be? Okay, seriously, uh, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you've managed to uh, enjoy some stuff. Hopefully your day hasn't been too bad. That quest cave right there, that's what we're going for. What's the matter, small child? Allow me to help you. <laughs> I've kicked my ball over the hedge into the garden. And the old lady who lives there is scary. And she's locked the ball in her wooden shed. Can you get my ball back for me, please? Just snot dribbling down this kid's face. Before starting this quest, be aware. Shut up, game. I know what I'm doing. Start the witch's house. All right, cool. Uh, I've got to be over there now. I will trust uh, Kokomi. Kokomi, please take me to the start of the witch's house quest. How many laws into Will do you have so far? You know what? So far, no one. What the boy doesn't say is he's done this many, many times, and the witch is... Like, as a kid, you identify with the boy... As an adult, you very much understand the witch. That's what it is. Like, the adult in me is thinking about saying, well, how many times have you done this? Does she throw it back normally? Is this, like, a thing you do a lot? This quest is based on real events. Look under the potted plant. Uh, we can't go in. Oh, hang on, no. You can go in. Fantastic. A couple of you can. Right, uh, let's go down the ladder. That's far away. So, Falk, I'm going to trust you to take me to the ladder. Thank you, Falk. Beautiful stuff. I'll climb down. Yeah, like how old people see Squidward. Do you ever watching the Goofy movie when you were a kid? When when you're a kid, the, you watch the Goofy movie, you're like, oh, come on, just just let the kid go to the concert. And then you're older and you watch the Goofy movie and you're like, oh, come on, just he's just hanging out with his kid. You know, he just wants to have a good time with his kid. He wants to just, you know, connect together. And I think that's a really a sign of a good movie when you can watch it when you're in different stages of your life and then you understand all of the stages. That's what I appreciate. That is the sign of a really good film. You find a magnet in the cupboard. Of course we find a magnet in the cupboard. Yeah, the two never negotiated agreed. That is true. Those rats are huge. They are experiments, aren't they? It's experiment number two, and it's throwing something up in the air. They are the, the rat experiments. We'll be fighting those at some point. A good fairy tale is, uh, yeah, good for both adults and kids, it's true. Let's pop back up the ladder. Now, because we are fully within this uh, this quest, I don't mind putting some effort in, but I've got to walk all the way over there, that's a long way, so... Uh, yeah, Black Dog Kush can definitely take me there. I'm not walking from here to there, this is a long way. Hey, dog. Oh, are you playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh? Are you looking at the heart of the cards? Is that what you're believing in right now? Frosted Blow, he looks badass, by the way. All right, examine mouse hole. Use the cheese on the mouse hole, then use the magnet on the mouse. Use cheese on mouse hole. A mouse runs out of the hole. Use magnet on mouse. Because this makes total sense. You attach the magnet to the mouse's harness. The mouse finishes the cheese and runs back into the hole. You hear some odd noises from inside the wall. There is a strange whirring noise from above the door frame. What? Who made this quest? You need to lure a mouse out using stuff. And then after luring the mouse out, you've got to wait. Nora T. Hag. Naughty Hag. Not just Nora T. Naughty. 
Okay, naughty hag. You going to uh, expand on that? Or is that just... Is my imagination going to fill in the blanks there? Okay, you want to be a naughty hag? You go for it. Then we run forward. Now we have to go into here, get the ball, and then we have to do some safe spotting. The shed is locked. Not a problem. Door key, shed. Nope, not door key on other player. Door key, shed. Sorry, Falk, I'm not trying to open you. Do we... Hang on, do I have to go that way and get... Oh, I've got to go to the fountain, haven't I? Ignore me. I know what's going on. Let's go this way. The main cam is too small. You're not tricking me again. You keep tricking me with various things about making them bigger and smaller, but I'm just going to... I'm not going to believe you anymore. I'm going to check this fountain. Inside, you find a small key. Fantastic, we have a small key. It's moon logic that adventure games are made from. Oh, God. This, some of the logic in adventure games is very strange. Falk, had you not done this quest before? Also, how bored do you have to be just to walk up and down your garden the entire time? Like, I've got a garden, and I have never just paced up and down it. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I should. Maybe that's what I should do. Use key on door. In we go. Stand here. Attack witch's experiment. Pretty sure there is a way to safe spot this. I just need to work out what it is. Uh, so if I stand like here and run this way. Okay, where's the safe spot, guys? Is it here? Hang on. Got to find the safe spot. Oh, there it is. Is that it? Can you attack over the thing? Uh, nope, that's not it. Where is under the covers? Where is the safe spot? Someone's like, just tank it. But I can't just... That form can't be safe spotted. Oh. Okay, so this form you've pretty much just got to kill. The next form we can safe spot because the next form is physically bigger, which means I see what's going on. You safe spot the third and fourth form. Okay. Can I not safe spot this? Because that seems big. Oh, no, apparently I can't. Right, this might be uh, a bit of a challenge. 13 hit points is plenty. You say that. You say that. I'm pretty sure the safe spot is around here somewhere, though. You use the, the crate. It's not on the other side, is it? It's definitely not the other side. I'm doing things because I have to do things. Other people can't do it for me. You can drag the NPC west of the box. Okay. Let's see what I can do, then. Let me just uh, attack it once or twice more. You can drag it west of the box. So if I attack this form here, can I... Can I stand here and be safe? Oh yeah, this is fine. This is totally okay. Right, I know what I'm doing now. You trap it diagonally, that's not going to attack me from here. We're all good. Lazy man mode, rules, easy stuff. Everyone's outside helping us out with this. Magic level 22, I am basically Gandalf. I've got enough food to survive a couple of hits from the biggest form. I tried to do this in RuneScape 3. You know that you can't save spot in RuneScape 3 anymore. There is no save spot in RuneScape 3. And the final experiment, I should be able... Oh no, we got it. We're fine. We're totally okay. It ain't moving. I ain't moving. It's staying there. I'm staying here. We understand each other. Level 53. This is fine. You can save spot. Well, you can't in the in the third one. In the new RuneScape, RuneScape 3, I'm pretty sure you can't anymore. Because I did this quest recently in RuneScape and in RuneScape 3, and they changed around a lot of the layout to make sure you couldn't. The shadows are detailed. It's true, isn't it? They're so detailed. They actually are, that one is, anyway. RuneScape's got some nice graphics. Pathfinding is massively altered in RuneScape 3. Yes, it is. Yeah, the layout has changed slightly. Oh, we did it, guys. We can take the ball. Take child's ball. We've got that. Return the ball to the boy. Make sure the witch doesn't spot you, or you'll need... Hang on, the frog princess? Never ignore the frog princess. Hey, what's up, princess? Please help me. I will happily, happily kiss you, frog princess. Beautiful stuff. Right, you are now mine. In many kingdoms, we are now married. I demand fealty, I demand royalty and payments. 
I demand an army. Okay, hang on. Where's... Where's the witch? Like... Oh, there she is. Okay, there's the naughty hag. Yeah, I could just throw the ball over the fence, couldn't I? Like, the kid's there. I could just... Just, just yeet the ball over the fence. I could have just thrown the kid in to fight the experiment, to be fair. Like, we've, we've done this in a very inefficient way, this is true. This is very true. Can I petition you to head to the makeover mage and barber to get a new appearance? We will put it to a vote. Telly. No, don't telly, because if you telly with the ball, the ball pretty much gets left behind. I'm pretty sure it's one of the only magical things in the game that's completely... You cannot teleport it for some reason. But I can open the door, go back through this door... Uh, there's a diary on the table. When I get out of this door, I can follow someone back to the kid. I'll follow Big Velvet, because Big Velvet happens to be here. Alright, sweet. Big Velvet, let's do this. Can we 50-50 the vote? You can try. You can try. Big Velvet, take me back. Let's give this child his ball back, get one more quest done, get us some hit points experience. This is what we need. We needed hit points. Talk to boy. Yay. You are awarded four quest points and several thousand hit point experience. Up to 25 hit points. A quarter of the way there. A quarter of the way there. Now, Tribal Totem, you still need some thieving, so I'm not too bothered about it. But Merlin's Crystal. Interesting. Is Merlin's Crystal the one where you have to safe spot the ogre using a halberd? Is that that one I'm thinking of? No, this is the one where you take on the... Yeah, the... The thingy in the... It is, isn't it? No? Yes? No? Merlin's Crystal? Yeah, the Black Knight Titan. Yeah, you must defeat only some Mordred. No, the next... It's the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail is the Black Knight Titan, but we can take on some Mordred, who is level 39. Can we tank some Mordred? You think we can do that one? I think we can tank some Mordred. Are we cheesing all the quests? Is that the late? Yeah, pretty much. Nine, Frosted Bow wishes to trade. I'll accept a trade, Frosted Bow. Are we uh, cheesing... A jar of dirt. I've already got a jar of dirt. Do we need... Do I need two jars of dirt? That's a question. Tr Dragon Spear, Poison++. Plus plus. Ah! And a jar of dirt. Yes, we need more. Yes, always, of course. Okay, so the Dragon Spear Poison Plus Plus, I can't wield that yet. I mean, I'll take it, but I don't... I can't use it yet, but thank you. I cannot wield the Dragon Dagger yet, the Dragon uh, Thingy yet. You know what I do is a Halberd. Don't you need to have completed a quest to use Halberds, though? You do, don't you? You do. Sell the Dragon Spear to the general store. Oh, I could do it. Uh, I need a jar for my collection. I'll, I'll get something for you, don't worry. Uh, Kataria wishes to trade. What are we trading? Yes, Regicide is the one where you get the Halberd thing. Toy Cat, 2,000 cups of tea, Ring of Wealth, and a Rune Halberd. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Now, in order to use the Halberds, we need to complete Regicide. I think it's Regicide anyway. How far away is Regicide from the kind of optimal quest list. Do we get to guess what's inside the Jar of Dirt? Um, I haven't opened any of them yet, so yes. Pinky Sant... Pinky Satana. Okay. What do we throw? A cake. Thank you. That actually makes me happy. I'll take a cake. We can have a cake. Thank you very much. That's gonna be a, a little party, a little celebration once we get this quest cape. I don't know anything about the quest, but I am guessing it involves the death of a king. Potentially. Potentially. Regicide is a long way away. Okay, cool. So, if I try and wield this, um, it will... Oh. Apparently it's the dragon halberd that you can't do without anything else. The rune halberd is fine. Right. So if we go to this, we go down 60... 60, third age weapons, where's thingy? Maybe halberds are just like a special thing, maybe it's just the dragon and crystal. Oh, that's fine, in that case we can do this, we can uh, safe spot the, the titan. Brainlet, what are we trading? 
Can you skip Mordred? I don't believe so. That's two stamina potions. I've got two spaces left. I will take those. Thank you very much. Hero's Quest for Axes and Battle Axes. Lost City for the Longsword and Dagger. Oh, so it's the just the dragon stuff, isn't it? Right. Halberds are under strength. They are, but I think I can use this one already, so we're okay. Once I've got these potions, here's the plan. We go to the bank, we bank some stuff, and we go and do Merlin's Crystal. Um, I will say that Kokomi... To the bank, please, Kokomi. One taxi to the bank would be terrific. Thank you very much. Here we go. Yep, there we go. Off to the bank. We'll bank some stuff. This is like a little army. The last quest is going to be so easy. I thought you were good at this game. Ah, you thought wrong. Okay? You thought very, very wrong with that one. Autobots roll out. Lazy Man in RuneScape 3 when? Once we've done Lazy Man in Old School. Once we've done Lazy Man in Old School, we get Lazy Man in RuneScape 3. But for now, I believe that we bank and we go and do Merlin's Crystal. What do we need? We need combat gear and food for some Mordred. He's level 39, we're level 30. Yeah, I should be okay to take that on. Should I mage Mordred? Is that a good plan? I think maybe I should actually get out some proper armor this time and maybe... Maybe actually fight this dude instead. So we'll get out some armor. We will bank a load of stuff that we can't use for the time being. We'll get a load of food out. Oh, he's very weak to magic. Lord Lasagna says you missed the whole stream. Oh, no, you didn't. Don't you worry. We've got some more stuff left to do. Okay, oh, I'm taking this seriously. He says very weak to magic. Do you think people should drink their tea black or with milk and sugar? I think people should do whatever they find fun and enjoyable, provided it's not harmful to anyone else. Uh, having said that, you should drink it with milk and sugar, and anyone else who drinks it black should be arrested. Okay? There we go. That's the duality of man. That's my two opinions on that. Let's uh, put the jar of dirt away. Let's put the toy cat away, and the ring of wealth away. Uh, I'm going to keep the staff of air for the time being. So what we need to do is build up our magic set. So magic, 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 magic... We've got the Staff of Air. Can you equip a, a shield with a staff? You can, can't you? But as of yet, there's no real kind of magic shield. We have a Cabbage Round Shield. That would take my magic down, but it would increase basically everything else. Uh, defense level of 30 for that. Oh, my defense level is 1. That's quite bad. I should probably improve that somehow. Ah, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um... Okay, so we're going to use magic against some Mordred. I need... What do I need? A ring? Can I get a ring of anything? I've got a ring... I mean, of glory on. Don't think I have a ring of anything. Flander wants to trade. I'll accept the trade in a second, Fland. Just going to stick some stamina stuff here and then withdraw an absolute ton of sharks or whatever food we've got. In, there, we've got like 4,000 swordfish. There's, this'll do. Stick a swordfish away. Okay, that should be enough food to take on Mordred. If I can't kill Mordred with that much food, I am in trouble. But I should probably get some Chaos Runes out, because I'm going to need to cast Airstrike. Like, a lot. Assmazing wishes to trade with me. If someone called Assmazing trades with you, you trade back. This might have more menus than Lost Ark. There's... Two, why are you giving me 2,000 cups of tea? I mean, thanks. I'll take them. I'll bank them. But I want you all to understand that right now, that does mean that we are up to 4,003 cups of... Th hang on. That's just... Yeah. 4,003 cups of tea. Flander, trade, thank you. This is not becoming a thing. I'm not making... Click 2,000 times. <laughs> I've got no space on my inventory right now, so I've got to decline. But you know what? You know what? Oh, got to withdraw them noted. Note, 2,000. Don't test me. He's not going to do it, is he? Shut, shut up. You're not in charge of this stream. I'm in charge of this stream, all right? You want to come onto this stream, trade me 2,000 cups of tea and joke, oh, you've got to deposit them all, you know, one at a time. 
Okay. Not a problem. I'm glad you're doing it, Josh, because I get to see someone's pet raccoon. Good. I'm glad I'm helping. We're down to 1,700. I can feel it in my wrist already. That's what she said. No time for jokes. There is no time for fun jokes. Nain, thank you for the Prime sub. I'm glad this is the content that you really wanted. You can go and watch Boaty if you want, but what you've got right here is a man one-clicking cups of tea. All right? I'm one-ticking the bank. That's what I'm doing right now. Should probably get the... Uh, Get the metronome going and everything. Is this Gen Fanard 2.0? Yes, it is. 15% of the way there. If you do have Amazon Prime and you happen to have a free Prime sub and you you can respect the fact that I am clicking a noted cup of tea 2,000 times and the fact that this might take six full minutes provided I am tick perfect, this, this is the content you come for. Hang on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the thing where it needs to be and then just pick the mouse up. Here we go. ASMR. You ready? Enjoying this? You having fun? Does what you wanted? <sighs> A quarter of the way there. What's the world's most popular RuneScape stream doing? Ah, oh, it's one of the greatest players uh, using some incredible skills and mastery of the in-game mechanics to take on some of the hardest bosses the game designers can make. Oh, really? What's the uh, second most popular stream doing? Uh, he's banking 2,000 cups of tea. That's the duality of man right there. All right, this is what you wanted. This is... You can go and have quality if you want to have quality. I don't give you quality. I give you quantity. That's what I'm giving you, the duality of RuneScape. There are better streamers out there. You want to go and do that? How pissed off would you all be if I got to two and then banked the last two with using bank all? Shank, I appreciate your very first chat is just a an emote of beer while I bank 2,000 cups of tea. Yeah, quantity. Oh, beautiful. This is cups of tea over quantity and quality. wonder if he'll quit the game if somebody says so. You could try. Have you used the five million I gave you to pay your helpers yet? Nope, it's still in the bank. It's still up there. Here's the plan. Here's a plan that I had, okay? Assuming as Maisie wanted to trade him another 2k. Here's the plan. See, because a lot of the... We're halfway there with the tea, by the way, guys. Because a lot of the achievements on this account are pretty much a group effort, because you're all helping me, when I get that quest cape, I will... Go to the party room, and we will have a huge drop party of everything. How about that? Okay. He is with T. Call an exorcist. Spiff has possessed me. This is happening. Victor, thank you very much for gifting a tier 3 sub. That's remarkably kind of you. Thank you very much, man. Whoever traded me these teas, I hope you feel bad about yourself now. Drop the tea. No, no. This does not feel very lazy. Look, I would put a lot of effort into doing no work. As uh, as Ron once famously said, I would work all night if it meant nothing got done. Now, we've lost 100 viewers since I started banking 2,000 cups of tea, but they are cowards, and you are strong, capable people. You are the brave ones. You are the vanguard who will remain while we do stupid stuff. So we're still going. How's the parrot doing? The parrot's fine. Don't worry about it. The parrot's totally okay. I've played Diablo 2. I can click a lot. It's not a problem. We're getting down. See? I have another 2,000 when you're done. No. No, I'm, I'm banking 2,000 cups of tea once, and that's enough. The weak have been culled. How would Spiffing Brit feel? I think he'd be very happy that I'm giving personal attention to each and every cup of tea. I'm not just right-click banking 2,000. I am manually clicking every single one and banking it. Josh out here fighting the good fight, taking serious inventory of the tea one at a time. Yeah. See, we're, down, we're three quarters of the way done, guys. How am I getting all the requirements for the uh, quests? So, if you do the quest in the correct order, you actually get the experience from one quest, buffs you up to the level required to do the next. If you follow the optimal quest list, there is actually very little grinding you need to do. And when we get to quests that do need grinding, such as, you know, grinding for some agility levels, for some runecrafting levels, for some mining levels, or whatever like that, I will not do that off stream i will do it on stream and force you to watch me there may be streams where we do nothing but agility for like four hours 
That will happen. Song of the Elves. Is there a reason to do the tea like that? Uh, yeah, someone said that I wouldn't. It's pretty much what it is. Somebody traded me 2,000 cups of tea and then said, bank them all individually. So I thought, you know what? Fuck you. I will. You're not the, the boss of me. I mean, I suppose they did tell me what to do and I did it, but they said it in like a jokey way, implying that I wouldn't. And now I'm going to. And now we're down to the last hundred. And you guys have been here. You were here. And now we know. Josh, I bet you are physically incapable to bank it all at once. You can't get to me. You can't get... You're not the boss of T. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Two thousand cups of tea manually banked. Let's go do some quests. All right, cool. We need bread, tinderbox, bucket of wax, and some bat bones. Let's go we can. Why does everyone immediately trade me? Anjin, what are you doing here? <sighs> ham robes, ham gloves, ham shirt, ham logo, ham cloak. I've got no space in my inventory. I've got nothing here. Although, Anjin, I appreciate you giving me all the ham stuff because that's going to be super useful. Let me bank some things so I can grab some ham stuff off you. That would actually work. Anjin, I will accept that trade. Ham stuff will be super useful when we come around to doing the Humans Against Monsters quests. That will be useful. Should have left the last one in your inventory. Probably a moment in gaming right there. That was a moment. Anjin, thank you very, very much for all of the stuff. That is remarkably kind of you. Brainlet wishes to trade with you. If you give me 2,000 cups of tea, I am going to bank them all in one go. We're not doing this again. Honorable blessing. That is very kind of you. Thank you very much. Took me 10 minutes to find out what world you're on. Anjin, it's in the Twitch title. It's in the title of the stream at the end. Thank you for the honorable blessing. Let me add you as a friend, Anjin. There we go. Like, it's... Anjin, I don't read the title. It's on my third monitor. Okay, there's a line. Third? Mate, I just banged 2,000 cups of tea. What do you want? Wizard boots, jar of chemicals, 2,000 cups of tea. What is my bank? I mean, thank you, but it's going straight in the bank. I don't know what to do with them. Jar of chemicals. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. There's a poll in the Twitch chat. You're in charge of the next six minutes of this game. There's a poll in the chat. Feel free to vote. I'm giving you the power. Those of you who want to see me carry on with quests need to vote quickly. Those of you who want me to do it all over again. Honorable blessing increases prayer. I'll put that there. Thank you very much. Wizard boots are a good idea. The wizard boots do, however, mean removing the mole slippers, but this will be good if only for the boss. Hang on. You why are you 50-50ing this vote? What do I do if it's 50-50? What, what, what? If it's 50-50, do I have to drink all of them? If you 50-50 this, I will drink 2,000 cups of tea. Bank all one by like 1%. Oh my god. I'm so happy that won. Okay, cool. Right, bank all. I'm so happy that that won by 51%. Can you imagine? This bank is weird. Okay, right. What are we doing now? So, uh, 10 swordfish. And we need some stuff. One, two. We need actual things for this quest. We need bread, tinderbox, bucket of wax, bat bones. Tinderbox, I'm pretty sure I've got. Uh, bread, I don't think I have. I definitely don't have bat bones, but I know for a fact you can get those from outside of the castle. And bucket of wax. 
pretty sure you just trade with someone. Yeah, do you just trade with someone for that? Let's just see if I can do I have a bucket. Take a single bucket with me. I'm pretty sure you can just trade with someone. Anjin says forgot to give you one item. Bullseye lantern. Buck bread. Okay, the bread is useful. Thank you. That is kind of you. Thank you, Anjin. That's going to go there, and the bread's staying because we need the bread. I do, however, need a bucket of wax and some bat bones. I've got one thing for you. Kittens, I will wait. I am more than happy to accept whatever you are trading. Veb, what are you trading? Do not make it cups of tea. A thousand potatoes. I'm not... I'm not banking them all one at a time. I will bank all the potatoes. I don't understand you lot. Arissa wishes to trade. Pinky wishes to trade. No. One sapphire. Thanks. This is very, very, very kind of you. I'll take one sapphire. Oh, it's for the bullseye lantern, isn't it? Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. Willy Wonka down there, wearing not only the Max Cape, but also the Third Age robes. I have a real thing for Third Age robes, by the way. I think they look really good. Like, I genuinely think they're some of the best-looking things in the game. Pinky Banana, what are we trading? Why is the bananas everywhere? Look, just because I haven't eaten a banana doesn't mean that you can force your bananas on me. You're not going to make me walk over a banana floor. This is the thing that happens when you try and take RuneScape seriously. You try and take it seriously, and then uh, some maxed player turns up and just throws bananas at you. Why are you doing this? Why are you giving me Zamorak Monk Top and Monk Bottom? I mean, I'll take them, I'll stick them in the bank, thank you very much. I don't know what you want from me. Prayer up. Oh, Zamorak Monk Bottom, that's actually better for magic. That's actually better at magic. Yeah, that's not better at magic. But upgrades. You're giving me upgrades. Hang on, let me just bank some more stuff then. Kateria, what's this trade? This is the exact opposite of Iron Man. You're literally teacher wand. 1.5 million. I mean, I'll take it. I was a teacher. I can definitely handle that. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Can I wield that now? Nope. Magic level 55. But you know what? It's going in the bank. Okay. Now I need to go. Nymph is trading me something, and then Willy Wonka is trading me something. W what do you need, Willy Wonka? <laughs> what a random... <laughs> Black elegant shirt, bucket of wax, bat bones, 100,000 chocolate bars. <laughs> You've got to admit, that's quite thematic. For a man called Willy Wonka to trade you 100,000 <laughs> chocolate bars. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Willy Wonka. I will... Should I wear the black elegant shirt? Is this the fashion scape that we're doing it in? Okay, fine. Cheers, Willy Wonka. Deposit one at a time. There is no way that I am depositing 100,000 chocolate bars. One at a time. They are all going in the bank. I am, however, taking all the items I've currently got with me and we are going to do this now. We are going to quest. Everyone, stop being silly. We're not silly people. We are going to quest, and I am withdrawing more of my food. I will take out some lobster. May as well use the lobster. There's nothing else to use. Right, let's go. Big Velvet, please. Please take me to the start point of Merlin's Crystal, which is King Arthur in Camelot. New plan. I'm just going to break a Camelot teleport tablet. You guys can come and grab me. Hey, Josh, you've tried a game called Cloner. Oh, I've played um, Cloner 1, Daughter Phantom Isle, but I've not played Cloner 2. I've heard number 1 was pretty good. You cannot quest. I'm going to quest. He knows how that... Yeah, I do. I know exactly how... Look, if I say to you, do you want me to... It took us six minutes to bank... 2,000 cups of tea. It would take 60 minutes to bank 20,000 cups of tea. Times that by five. It would take 
five hours to manually bank 100,000 chocolate bars. I am not spending five hours manually banking 100,000 chocolate bars. Arissa, why are you giving me two things of dynamite? I don't know if I need two things of dynamite. Do I need two things of dynamite? What's happening? Willy Wonka, I can make it a million if you want. I'll take the dynamite, but I don't know what it does. Thank you. Is this going to kill me? Is this like... examine? Right. The dynamite is for robbing Draenor Bank. Look, that's a plan for the future. We can do that in the future. Right now, we need to do the quest. However, I am not close enough to the gate. Anjin, will you please walk me closer to the gate? Thank you, Anjin. That was literally all I wanted. <laughs> Beautiful. Now we're inside. What world? Uh, we're on world 342. 342. I'm waiting for all of you to be... Hang on. It's a... We're playing the game of who can click the gate. I hate... I hate it here. Am I just... Am I going to have to spam click the gate? Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna... We're gonna... Yes! Screw you, Big Velvet. Please take me to the, um... The quest start. Maybe change the stream title to World 342 instead of World 342. Because, yeah, people are not getting it. People are not... Why are this... Why is there a clown? What, Parkling, what are you doing here? <laughs> why? You guys are like the elite of runescape i'm seeing some of the best items the best weapons the best fashion scape the highest levels i'm seeing player moderators and you're all like yeah we better lead this this fucking noob around the place as we try and do all the quests for him all right so i want to be a knight of the round table let's do it mate come on is is this the most interesting thing happening to most of these people right now i appreciate that it is okay cool the world is for members and i can't join unfortunately we are doing the uh the members quest at the minute start merlin's crystal yes let's do it talk to my brother where's the brother there you are sir gawain talk to me sir gawain good day to you how did merlin get trapped mate you ready for some questing asmr have i got my tiny sword ready to be a knight okay look i am literally never without my tiny sword it looks like quite a big sword when you hold it on the uh, the tiny camera. Yeah, look at that. A tiny sword. It's a letter opener. All right, you guys ready for uh, for some ASMR questing? I would guess this is the work of the evil Morgan Le Fay. And where could I find her? She lives in her stronghold to the south of here guarded by some renegade knights led by Sir Mordred. Any idea how we get into the stronghold? No. You've got me stumped there. Oh, alright, cool. So none of us know how to do this. Next thing, go upstairs and talk to Lancelot. Uh, we need to go upstairs and talk to Lancelot. Somebody, uh... I need, like, an escort to take me upstairs. I right-clicked on Parkling. I didn't realize you were the clown. I don't think the knights will take me as seriously, but, um, Parkling, if you could do me a favor, if you could herald my arrival upstairs, that would be terrific. Yes, we can all see you waving. Thank you very much. You look utterly terrifying. Could you please walk me to the stairs just west of where we currently are? That would be great. Peak content. This is RuneScape on Twitch. Fantastic. That's all I wanted. Right, where's Lancelot? He's over there. Uh, Velvet, you're always reliable. Subathon, deposit 1 million coins at a time. At an average of 6 clicks per second, it would take about 46 hours. Increase the... Okay, that would be ridiculous. 
That would be utterly, utterly ridiculous. But it is an idea. Thank you for uh, walking me to the, the stairs. I appreciate that. Greetings. I am Sir Lancelot, the greatest knight in the land. What do you want? Any idea how do we get into Morgan Le Fay's castle? That stronghold is built in a strong, defensive position. It's on a big rock, sticking out to the sea. There are two ways in that I know of. The large, heavy front doors and the sea entrance, only penetrable by boat. They get all their deliveries by boat from Catherby. Oh, Sam, we've got a plan forming. You sound exactly like David Attenborough. Oh, no, we can make... I can sound more like David Attenborough. I can sound way more like David Attenborough. Right, Big Velvet, could you please take us to Catherby? That's the stairs, and then pretty much walking to Catherby. Journeying as a team, the group of old-school RuneScape players leave Camelot Castle on their way to Catherby, the sea entrance to Morgan Le Fay's keep. Led by many players who know what they're doing, Josh is also here. Kurtzka's art plays RuneScape. Love it. Lazy Strife follows Big Velvet out into the courtyard. A veritable army of people following him. An honor guard made up of an eclectic mix. All of them with a single goal. Can they take one noob through to a quest cape? I legit don't know. You're an evil pioneer who's forever changed how Twitch gaming is done. Hope you're proud of yourself. Right, hey, look. Some people are like, Twitch plays this, Twitch plays that. This is basically Twitch plays with me. But not in, not in that way. Twitch plays runes... I'm going to restart this sentence. Twitch plays old school RuneScape via... <laughs> via proxy of me being the character that plays it. And, oh no, I've missed the ASMR. Negative Ophidian, you've never missed the ASMR. It's always here. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, oh yeah, hang on, uh, Anjin in chat just said David Attenborough is overrated. I will report you. All right, just straight up. I will report you. <laughs> Two people can play this game, Josh. Hang on, Anjan. <laughs> I think you mean the English saying, Two can play at that, which means you will combat me with the methods that I'm using. But what you actually said was, Two people can play this game. Mate, it's RuneScape. It's an MMORPG. Thousands of people play the game all the time. Um, but yes, two can play at that game. Very true. Anjin, I'm going to need your help in the future at some stuff, with because uh, you're going to be available, and I'm going to be like, hey, I need this quest, and hey, I need this quest, so I will message you on Discord. Right, at least two people can play this game. That's very true. Right, hiding crate. Don't we need to get something first? Hide in the crate behind the candlemaker's shop. Go upstairs, go upstairs, go through Morgan Le Fay's. Hang on, I've got the bucket of wax. Do I need the candle? Do I need the black candle first? No, I'm thinking of a different quest. Hide in crate. Here we go. Let's do this. He was probably talking about PvP appearance. Slayer, thank you very much for gifting out some subs. That is remarkably kind of you. Let's hide inside this crate. You climb inside the crate and wait. And wait and wait. You hear voices outside the crate. Is this your crate, Arnhein? Yeah, I think so. Pack it on board as soon as you can. I'm on tight schedule for deliveries. You feel the crate being lifted. Oh, wow, this is pretty heavy. They have new candles weighed so much. All right, guys, look, yeah, I've missed a couple of gym sessions, but just shut up, all right? Missed a couple of gym sessions, but not that bad. You feel the crate being put down inside the ship. You wait, and wait. Casting off! 
You feel the ship start to move. It feels like you're now out at sea. Just me and the parrot in the box, boys. Just me and the parrot in the box. The crate is lifted out of, and we get out of the crate, and suddenly we are here. How are you all here already? Okay, cool. You climb out of the crate. Sweet. Let's just select the spell of Wind Bolt. That's important. Oh, you... <laughs> Anjin. I said, how'd you all get here? Anjin went, space bar. Yeah. Nobody nobody reads the quests, do they? Okay, Flander, I'm trusting you. Could you please walk me to the steps? They are too far away. Cop Como says, hello, Josh. How's it going? It's going pretty good. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Climb up the staircase once again, and uh, you guys will absolutely wreck these knights for me. I will choose to follow Ket over there. Run past Ket to climb up this staircase. Oh my god, Morgan Le Fay is just being absolutely assaulted. Uh, somebody else is fighting Mordred right now, so I can't. I'm guessing you guys want me to kind of wait until Mordred's weakened and then try and kill Mordred. I don't even know if I can wall up. Are you guys safe spotting for me? This is beautiful. We'll wait until Mordred res wait until this dude respawns. Then we'll just save spot. Sorry, Sir Mordred. Attack Sir Mordred. And then I just hang here. And he can't get me. You guys are beautiful. Oh, look at that. Sir Mordred is just staring down a black knight of his own. And then I walk over here to make sure nothing else can happen. Continue to attack. Oh, no. Don't worry, guys. I can tank it. I'm good at this. I've got 17 health. Don't you worry about me. I know what I'm doing. Attack Sir Mordred. Okay, now I'm being hurt too much. Run away. Attack Sir Mordred. None of you are helping. It's all right. Can't believe you're letting me do this by myself. What is the point in being a Twitch streamer? Kill him, Mordred. Wow, all right. Know whose side you're on? Goodness me. Attack Sir Mordred down to 0 HP to cause Morgan Le Fay to spawn. Oh. She, um... She didn't spawn. Morgan Le Fay did not spawn. But I'm going to keep attacking some Mordred and see what happens and see if Morgan Le Fay spawns now. Maybe there's too many people here. Someone killed him as you were running. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I'll just keep going. Gained a level. Grats me. Thank you very much. Eat a shark. Attack some Mordred. That was a, a tick eat. That's a, a highly advanced skill. Just let you guys want to know that. Uh, one more hit, and I'm definitely going to eat. Hey, there we go. Stop! Spare my son! Tell me how to untrap Merlin, and I might. You have guessed correctly that I'm responsible for that. I suppose I can live with that fool Merlin being loose for the sake of my son. Setting him free won't be easy, though. You'll need to find a magic symbol close to the crystal. You'll then need to drop some bat's bones on the crystal while holding a black-lit candle. That will summon a... thing. You'll then need to say the word Excalibur. Uh, okay, cool. Where's Excalibur? Uh, lady in a puddle has it. Cool. And um, what are the magic words? The magic words are at the base of one of the Chaos Altars. Which one you can't remember? All right, cool. Sweet. We're going to do all that. So, return to Catherby. If you still need bat bones, kill one of the bats. Not a problem. You still need wax? Nope, we've got wax. Uh, go to the bucket in the bee field. Use the insect repellent. Talk to the candle maker in Catherby. Um... Right, I'm going to teleport to Camelot, and you guys can come and meet me here. Why is Brainlet a box? <laughs> oh, good. Apocalypse is here. Someone we can rely on. Okay, Apocalypse, let's head off to Catherby. We need the black candle, please. The magic word isn't please. No, the magic word is abracadabra. We all know this. The magic word is abracadabra. Brainlet is just... Sneaking around the place, just having fun, being a being a sneaky little sneaker. Hey, candle maker, how's it going, dude? Need a black candle. Sort me out, mate. You got any black candles? I'm feeling a bit occult. Very bad luck. I'll pay good money for one. Still don't know. Tell you what, I'll supply you with a black candle if you can bring me a bucket full of wax. Well, conveniently, have you got any wax yet? I'll have some now. You exchange the wax with the candle maker for a black candle. Lovely stuff. Right, talk to the Lady of the Lake in Taverly. Uh, big Velvet, you're a reliable taxi. <laughs> candle seller. 
I'm in need of a candle. My candles are too strong for you, traveler. Falador, thank you for the Falador teleport. I will accept it. Go play Ultima online. Damn, I've been told. I have been told. Yeah, the uh, the magic word is either please or Nova Foxtrot. You've been with us for a while. And uh, you know what, Black Dog? I'll trust you. Black Dog, it's all on you, mate. Please take me to Taverly. Let's do this. Candle seller. I'm going into battle. And I require your your brightest candles. Hang on. What? No. Black Dog, where are you going? This is the wrong way. I don't know where you're taking me, Black Dog. But we need to go to Taverly. This is not Taverly. Taverly is that way. Wait, this is Remington. You just... You can't drag a man off to Rivington whenever you want to. Don't read too deeply into that. We're going to Taverly. Confusing Taverly with Rivington. Look, it's 5,000 hours in this game. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Look, someone once said to me, you must have played RuneScape for a long time. And I'm like, years. You know, got a quest gate, made quest guides for it, made monster guides for it, got a load of rare items. And then they said to me, you must be really good at it then. Eh, eh, no. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that no matter how long you play RuneScape for, no one's actually good at RuneScape? That's what it is. Uh, it's that moment where you've you've spent like a third of your life playing this game. Surely you must be really skilled. <sighs> You'd think. Yeah, I mean, Boaty's good at it. Boaty's very good at it. You know, he's like one of the most talented RuneScape players in the world. And then there's me. I've only got as far as I have because a small army of people is so far helping me do it. Yeah. Played 3,000 hours, still haven't attempted Jad. Oh, yeah. No, Jad's... It, Jad is still scary. People always assume that just because the fire cape has been taken over by the inferno cape, that, you know, the, the fire cape is easy. It's not. Can I prayer flick? Yes, I can. Yes, I can actually prayer flick using tick stuff. I can tick eat. I know how the mechanics work. I just prefer not to because I find it very, 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 honestly, boring to play that way. Got your first fire cape yesterday, thanks to the guide. You are more than welcome. Shartacus. I'm glad I could help, Shartacus. Thanks for giving me the chance to say that on Twitch. Jad was scary because you can't practice him. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Hello, Lady of the Lake. Good day to you, sir. I seek the sword Excalibur. I... I have that artifact in my possession. It is very valuable, and not an artifact to be given away lightly. I would want to give it away only to one who is worthy and good. And how am I meant to prove that? I shall set a test for you. First, I need you to travel to Port Sarim. Then go to the upstairs room of the jeweler's shop there. Okay, seems easy enough. All right, cool. That seems easy enough. Not a problem. We can do that. Upstairs of Port Sarim, not a problem. Flan, I'm going to follow you because you look badass and capable. Okay? And find a shrubbery. Uh, Apocalypse, you're already a friend. Black Dog Kush, you've been added as a friend. Lupus, you're already a friend. Krez, you can be added as a friend. All right, cool. We've got the friends list going on. I just want to make sure if you guys are helping out that I've added you so you can be involved in some kind of you know, big... Uh... Well, when we finish this series and when we get a quest cape, I want like a big list of everyone that's helped and that'll be the friends list. Although Lord Powder, I do agree with you. Women lying in ponds distributing swords is no basis for a system of government, all right? Divine authoritative power derives from the approval of the masses, not from some, you know, watery bin throwing a scimitar at you. It's very true. Okay, where are we going? You seem stuck, Josh. I am stuck. Follow Flan? Okay, cool. There we go. Beautiful. Now we're back on top. I thought I recognized the voice. He was... Is the It Any Good guy? Yes, I am. I was the Is It Any Good from the channel Josh Strife Plays, which is the second channel from the main channel Josh Strife Hayes, which is not the clip channel, which is Josh Strife Says, which is not going to be the daily update vlog channel that I haven't done yet, which will be Josh Strife Days. 
See? There's a lot of Josh Strife lore that's gonna... You safe-spotted yourself. Yeah, I did. I did indeed. Hang on, let me drink some stamina potions. Alright, cool. We've drank stamina pots, we're good. Don't forget the boss, boss channel, Josh Drive Slays. That would be a good, a good boss channel. Now that is branding, thank you. Now you can watch Josh Drive Haze in many Josh Drive ways. When it's time to go to sleep, it's Josh Drive Lays. Josh Drive Gains is the exercise channel. Hey, I'm hitting the gym. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, slowly but surely. Getting the gains, getting the guns, you know? It's difficult because obviously in England I don't have a license for these, so I can't get too hench. That's the problem. People are always like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym. Don't want to get too big. Like it happens easily. Like you just walk into the gym and then just immediately, just boom, just immediately buff up. I've got friends who have said, oh, yeah, I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to get too big. I don't want to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm like, mate, that takes years of dedication with a specific diet and a specific lifting regime. No one just walks into the gym and accidentally walks out looking like an Abercrombie and Fitch model. That's if if that was if it was that easy, everyone would do it. I swear to God, people are, yeah, you know, I don't want to get too buff. It, don't then. Just go in and lift a couple of weights. It's fun. Get the endorphins going on. Please, kind sir, my family and I are starving. Could you find it in your heart? To spare a simple loaf of bread? No, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do more than that, okay? Listen to me. I'm going to do more than that for you. You know what I'm going to do, Mr. Beggar? I'm going to post about this on LinkedIn. And I'm going to say, I was late for a job interview this morning. Because on my way to that job interview, a homeless man asked if I had any food. And I didn't. But I walked into the nearby shop, and I bought him some food. And I walked out, and I gave him that food. And this meant that I missed my train, so I was late for my job interview. But I went anyway, because I'm a man of conviction. And you know when I turned up to that job interview? You know who walked in to interview me? That's right. The food. And it remembered what I did for that homeless man and it gave me the job and I am now the general manager of everything agree question mark what the why does every LinkedIn post end with agree no you're on LinkedIn your opinion is not worth listening to yeah have some bread mate Thank you very much. The beggar turns into the Lady of the Lake. Well done. You have passed my test. Here is Excalibur. Guard it well. Don't forget the boss channel. Glad to be doing my part. Fland, you are lovely. Ascender, good evening. You're added as a friend immediately. Right. We are wielding Excalibur. I now have a sword. Uh, check the altar in the Zamorak Temple in southeast Varrock. Off to Varrock! I broke a, a tablet, so we're off to Varrock. I will wait for you all there. Maybe she was hungry. Is this a copy pasta? Look, right. LinkedIn is like Facebook for people who take business way too seriously. Like, way too seriously. And everything is a lesson to them, a business lesson. Literally everything. Have you ever actually just browsed LinkedIn and tried to you know, follow people? Okay, Black Dog, could you please take me to the Southeastern Chaos Altar in Varrock? Josh doing his part to keep stray animals from breeding. Josh drives sprays. I am trying. Uh, yeah, seriously, LinkedIn is... Um, it's... Oh, it's a moment. Apocalypse is saying, I miss Coco. I miss Coco as well. Coco was a good, uh, good chap. He enjoyed Coco. If everyone's following, I want to make sure everyone's been added as a friend. So if you've not been added as a friend, if you could just say, like, hi in the chat, that'd be great. Heresy Church here. Thank you. You've been playing for a while. Consider taking a break from your screen. Yeah, good idea.
Okay, cool. Health. <sighs> Health. <laughs> that was like, quick, take him to the wilderness. <laughs> Alright, cool. Health was, uh, was good. Responsible streamer. Check the Chaos Altar. You find a small inscription. It reads, Snarf on canned trick to Manto. All right. Snarf on canned trick to Manto. Flander says, hi. I've already added you. Katarina says, hi. Coglock, we've got you. Pretty sure everyone else. Gravik says, ahoy, we'll add you as well. Right. Bring the following items to Camelot. Why are there bananas in the church? This is not God's will. Right, we're going back to Camelot. Have a good stream, gotta go. Dive to a cave yourself, see you later. Lazy man, follow instructions. Did I touch grass? No, it's dark outside. I'm not bothering to do that. Oh, hello. I offer you... Brainlet. Brainlet wishes to trade. I am intrigued. Brainlet. Shorts. Fashion. Now, I like shorts because they are comfy and easy to wear. Also, my defense bonus is terrible, but I'm committing to it. This is how we're playing. We're finishing RuneScape wearing the shorts. In we go. Right, we're here now. I'm going to finish this quest. I'm going to click the gate before any of you can click the gate. And then I'm going to follow Ket. Ket. Please lead me to the northeast. I need to go to the garden bit. Stupid, sexy Flanders. Cat, uh, I believe we need to go back out to the main hall and then around the side to over there. That's the place. Oh, good, the clown's back. Parkling's here again. <sighs> what a great sentence. Oh, look, the clown's back. Right. Please lead me over there. I do not wish to do anything. Ket, thank you very much. Right, now we're here. Use black candle with tinderbox. Lovely. And then what do we do? Right click, drop the bat bones. Drop bat bones. Lovely stuff. Suddenly a mighty spirit appears. What were those magic words again? Snarth on Kandrick Tamanto. Snarth on Kandrick Tamanto. Tomanto. Thrantax the Mighty. Thou hast to be in thine control. Why are you fighting the ghost? I wish to free Merlin from the crystal. The deed is done. Did one of you guys attack the ghost? Like, are you meant to be able to kill the ghost? Cool, I quit your stream. Uh, you probably get this a lot, but will you ever feature Ragnarok Online? It's on the list. Believe me, it's a long list of games to get through. Am I just using the HD117 plugin? I'm also using the um, graphics thing. I've also got... What else have I got on? I've got the GPU. Oh, I'm actually not using that. Yeah, 117 HD, but also Skybox and Stretch Mode. And I've got Snailman Mode installed because obviously it's great, but I've not actually used it. Now let's go back to the quest buyer. Free Merlin, got the ladder in the southeast of Camelot Castle. Right, uh, Gracamas, could you please run us into the castle? Thank you very much for a kind of you. Another RO player. Oh, Ragnarok Online. Taught me 10 sex notes as the chest appreciation camera. Hey, we put it there. HD are mutually exclusive, but they both put the load on your GPU. I'm okay with that. GPU is good. OMG, you're on OSRS. I love your YouTube bits. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome to the uh, the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. I don't know where we're going, Greg. We need to be inside. I Don't get me wrong. I appreciate that we've taken the scenic route, but I don't know why we've gone this way. I think we need to go back around. How dare. What an absolute chad. Led us all the way to the back of the garden. <laughs> teleported away. Refused. <laughs> just refuses to elaborate. Leads us to the garden and just teleports off. I know I've, I've got a lot of respect for that. It's been a good day so far. People have been easy to work with. And so far, it's been difficult. Nova, could you just say something in the chat so I can uh, see your name and add you as a friend, please? That, well, there you are. Hang on, I've got you. I've got you. Yes, asshole. I appreciate your name, by the way. 
Um, audio on your last video was a bit odd, different than past videos. Did I change anything? I've got a better microphone, which means I sound better than I normally sound. So people are like, you sound different. Yes, different, but in like a good way. He completes the quest. Oh, Greg, yeah, what am I doing? So for anyone who's just new, um, lazy man mode is the opposite of Iron Man mode. You know how people who play Iron Man mode do everything by themselves and don't accept any help? I'm doing the exact opposite. I am only accepting help. So if I need to travel from location to location... Oh, good, the clown's here. Parkling is here again as well, just to, to herald my return. So what this is, is if I need to travel from place A to place B, I must follow someone or someone must give me a teleport tablet. If there are enemies around that could kill me, I will make sure that the honor guard that is with me effectively go and kill all those enemies first. Uh, if I need an item for a quest, someone's just got to give it to me. Yeah, it's not Iron Man mode, it's, yeah, packing foam man mode. Like, I need to go north, but that's a long way, so I'm going to follow Big Velvet, because that way I can just play the game without playing the game. The objective of lazy man mode is how far can we get into the game doing as little as possible? Yeah, some of them may die, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Thank you, King Arthur. How's it going? Yes. Councilman mode. Yeah, pretty much. It's councilman mode. Ah, good job. Well done. I dub thee a knight of the round table. You are now an honorary knight. We have finished Merlin's crystal. You are awarded six quest points and Excalibur total quest points 45. We're actually doing some, uh, we're doing some good, good progress here. The next quest is the Holy Grail. We could do that. Uh, recommended items, Camelot teleports, we can get one of them. Ardoin teleports, Falador teleports, we can't use the Ardoin teleports until we've done a quest. Uh, Anti-poison could be useful. Black Knight Titan, but we can save spot it because we have a halberd this time. Should we just do... Someone's like, you should make YouTube videos on this, could do really well. Visa is already on it. Visa, the editor extraordinaire, is already on it. We could do Plague City for the RD teleport, that's true. See what else we've got. Plague City's not too far away, actually, is it? It's, uh, well, you say that. It's apparently quite far down the list of things. So why is the difficulty on intermediate? Difficulty should be everything, just all, optimal. Oh, yeah, Plague City is actually the next thing that we should do. What do we need for Plague City? Dwellberries, spade rope, milk, chocolate dust, snake grass, buckets of water... Start the quest in East Ardoon. All right, teleport to Camelot. I'll accept that. Thank you very much. Uh, Kateria, I will accept the trade from you if you want to teleport to Camelot with us. How about this? We bank, get the items we need for Plague City, go and do Plague City. That sounds good. I'll do that. Oh, yeah. Sheep Herder is going to be a bit of a challenge. That's the one where I have to prod the sheep with the things, because I think you guys can mess that up. That's going to be a challenge. Alright, accept trade from Ket. Double eye patch. But that will take over from my... from my party hat. We have to really discuss and discover the fashionscape. I suppose we've got the parrot, haven't we? Are we in double eye patch season? Have we taken over from the purple party hat? Black Dog, what do you wish to trade with? Do you need to sit in a lazy boy? Uh, I would like that. You've given me an Ardoon teleport and a Saradome in Mjolnir. Interesting. Well, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. However, I'm pretty sure I can't use the Ardoon teleport yet. Like, if I try and break it... Coglock wants to teleport you to Port Kazard. Yeah, that'd be easier, actually. Finally catching a stream, been watching so many videos the past month. Well, Job, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. What I think we should go and do is bank, and then we should do Plague City, uh, which means somebody needs to run to the bank. Coglock, I nominate you. Coglock, could you please run us to the nearest bank, wherever that would be? Not sure where it is, but off we pop. And then I will use the Ardune teleport to get back to wherever we need to get to. Coglock, do you, do you know of a nearer bank? Have you... Oh, you clever little cookie. There is a bank chest. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay, so, Black Candle, no. Don't need you. I 
I'll keep the runes on me in case I've got to do stuff with them, but everything else can pretty much be moved kind of up here. The dynamite will be useful when we rob a bank. The Mjolnir I don't think we need yet. Not... Is it Mjolnir? I think it's pronounced like that. Uh, what we do need is spade and rope. I have some of those on me. Let's grab some spade and rope. I've been scammed. Got the second strawberry email. Look. Oh, strawberries are something we can get back to. We can definitely get back to strawberries. Uh, catch the shepherd quest over on George Drive Grays. Withdraw a rope. That is everything we need. Right. Black Dog wishes to trade again. Is that a, a thing you want to do again? Is it something I've missed? Right. I require dwell berries, a bucket of milk, some chocolate dust, and some snape grass. And I'm not going anywhere until someone brings those to me. That is how cocky and arrogant I am getting. I am getting too big for my boots. But look at that. Look at that. Accept. Red Sky, when am I going to get my VIP? I bought it last year for 50... You know what, that's true. Done. Done and done. Okay, cool, that's everything. Uh, recommended four buckets of water. I don't think we'll need that too much. Let's do the thing. Right, uh, Apocalyssa, could you please run northwest to Edmund in East Ardoon. That would be great. Jorbin says, this is the best RuneScape playthrough. This is the laziest RuneScape playthrough. In fact, I've actually run out of tea. I don't like this. We've been streaming for four hours, 20 minutes. That's the drug number. So how about this? When we get to where we start Plague City, do you need 2,000 more tea? No, I do not. But when we get to the start of this quest, what I think we should do is... I tend to take a break every two hours. I think that's healthy. Take a break, grab a glass of water, pop to the bathroom, get some fresh air. Sip a stamina, please. You know what? I haven't got to tell me twice. We have sipped a stamina. We have put that on, and I am following. Someone trade this man a cup of tea. IRL. Lazy man mode should have a kettle next to me. I agree. What is W342? World 342. It is the roleplay world on Old School RuneScape, and I thought that was appropriate, seeing as I am role-playing as a man with some talent. And in reality, I am just a man following you around. There is a box. There is Brainlet hanging out again. Hmm. Kettle and a microwave. Microwave, make your own snacks and treats. Kettle to just make your own little stuff whenever you need to. Hey, Demon Rain's back with us. Fantastic. Demon Rain, can you do me a favor? Can you type something in the chat and say hi? Because then I can right-click your name and click add friend. That would be super useful. 42069 just happened in Timing World. Let me wait for Demon Rain to say something. There we go, ad friend. Okay, Edmund's right there. Edmund is the start of the Plague City quest, which is, I'm pretty sure this is the elf storyline, isn't it? This is the massive, epic elf storyline. So, ladies and gents, let's take another 10 minute break, pop to the bathroom, grab a bite to eat, grab a cup of tea, stretch your legs, grab some fresh air if it's daytime where you are. And when we come back, I'm thinking another one or two hours of RuneScape quests. You think you can last another one or two hours of RuneScape quests? I can last another one or two hours of RuneScape quests. I will see you beautiful people in 10 minutes time. Let me just reset the timer for you to make it all nice and lovely. All right. Stop. Reset. 10 minute break. I'll see you then. Two minutes remain and the tension is unbearable. No one heard anything. <laughs> Shartacus. JFC legit scared the fuck out of me. I'm in your phone, Shartacus.
50 seconds left. I don't care. I'm a rebel. I'm a renegade. I'm gonna play the game now. I'm not waiting for for anyone. I don't, well, apart from my, my phone. I wait for my phone. No, dismiss, dismiss. <laughs> there we go. Okay, cool, here we go. Like, you guys ready? Got myself a drink. It's just an energy drink. Sugar free, obviously. Not a monster. Also, it's not a monster. Um, but I put it in a glass so I feel and look posh. And if Visa clips any of the things that I say, when people watch on YouTube, they think, oh man, that guy's really posh. He's really put together in life. He's obviously got things, you know, going good for him. No. No, it's just a can of something in here. Not sponsored by anyone. Just, I just like it. Sugar free. It's easy. It's the fanciest energy drink. Yeah, straight away. Pinky out. you got to have the pinky out. Come on. Don't make me put this in my in my mug. And by that I mean like pour it, not the not the whole thing. That was a lot of effort for a very small joke. But I did it. Oh no, there was tea left in the mug. Oh no no. Now the bottom of the thing has got tea on it. Oh, I messed up. I did not think this through. Hang on. Right, no, we've got to solve this problem first. There are issues. It's okay. None of you can see my jeans. Just going to pretend that I'm, like, really classy. And I'm not just, uh... I'm just wiping the base of a glass off on my jeans. Wash these later. No one needs to know. Fuck. I just missed my face with the drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. No more energy drink for me. Let's get back to playing the game. <laughs> Nobody saw it. Shut up. I will I will turn this stream around. Guys, it's been four and a half hours of just following you around playing RuneScape. It's not going well. Just go home. I am drunk. Oh, one of my legs has got like a perfect ring of energy drink on it because I twisted the thing. The other one has just got drips of energy drink on it. I'm going to see if I can drink this without missing my face. Hang on. Apparently I've got a drinking problem, as in I just, I can't find my face with it. There we go. So much better. Kateria wishes to trade me. What are we trading, Cat? Finally caught up with you guys just in time. Welcome. Woven Top, Ring of Life, Katana. I... what? Hang on, no, what? What unholy fashion abomination? Oh no. Is this what you want? It's this, I mean, this katana has been folded over a thousand times, made of glorious nippon steel. It could cut straight through the metal armor of a European knight, without a doubt. It could, right? At the minute, I only use it to protect my lady, my body pillow. But you see, the problem is, I mean, look, 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 Black Dog. While you were grinding, I did study the blade. Edmund. I've heard that someone, your daughter, is in trouble. Look at me. I look like a man you can trust. I'm wearing two eye patches, a katana, the tiniest top, and what barely qualifies as shorts. Yeah, look, Flan, I, you look cool. You know, there's no, I'm not doubting that. You look cool. I love that I've got both eye patches. I'm like, hello, old man. You have no idea what he looks like. Could be a young girl for all you know. Sorry. I can't stop to talk. Why? What's wrong? I've got to find my daughter. I pray she's still alive. What happened to her? Elena's a healer. Three weeks ago, she managed to cross the wall into West Ardoon. Now no one's allowed to cross the wall in case they spread the plague. The plague? Not that long ago, West Ardoon was hit by a deadly plague. They had the wall built to try and keep it contained. No one is allowed to enter the city now apart from the mourners. They say the plague... It's a horrible way to go. That's why Elena felt she had to go help. 
She said she'd be gone for a few days, but we've heard nothing since. Oh, maybe I could help him find her. Really? Would you? I've been working on a plan to get into West Ardoon, but I'm too old and tired to carry it through. But you, on the other hand, look at you. With your sprightly, nimble body, your toned legs, your tight buttocks, your, your firm back, strong upper arms, your gentle yet powerful grip on the katana. I will start the Plague City quest. Where should I start? If you're going into West Ardoon, you'll need protection from the plague. My wife made a special gas mask for Elena with dwellberries rubbed into it. They help repel the plague, apparently. We need some more, though. Where can I find dwellberries? The only place you know is Magruba's Wood. I thought this was a role-playing stream. This is getting too real. Okay, look, if you want to dress in these kind of clothes, that's entirely up to you. That's okay. You do that, Josh or the goth vampire lady. Look, um, when you say who's the sexy lady, pretty sure you mean this uh, next mate, Flan, with the the fantastic armadillo god sword. And I actually don't know what armor you're wearing, but it looks really cool. Or the, are we talking about the sexy Vire Watch style vampire lady? Or are we talking about the sexy old man over there in the corner? Look, everyone that plays RuneScape is sexy. It's just a fact of life. All right, I'll go get some dwellberries. Um, hey, I've got some dwellberries. <laughs> hey, Alrena, I've got some stuff. Hey, Edmund Monsman, hope you find your daughter. Here's some dwellberries. She gives me the mask. Thanks for the gas mask. OP Casey wishes to trade with me. Casey, what are we trading? I'm excited to trade, Casey. You are giving me an ale of the gods. It's a quarter of a million. You sure you want to do that? Jazz, thank you for gifting the sub. Remarkably kind of you. Oh, generic. You subscribed. Thank you. And uh, Caspi, thank you for the, the prime sub. Here we go. Let's take the uh, the ale. That's very, very kind of you. I will wield it. If you wield it, don't you get drunk all the time? Josh, I got your dinner. Says, says Balmore. Balmore, what are we, what are we trading for dinner? Lobster. Jug of wine. Thanks. That's great. I'll, I'll take that. Okay. We are drunk. We've got a katana. There's a parrot on my shoulder. We are wearing a tiny strip of fabric. Balmore, you're being added as a friend. Uh, we need to put on the gas mask. Right, we're doing it. Let's go. Let's so right. Let's um, solve the thing. Worry not. I'm gonna drink this stamina potion and then drop it, and then grab the picture. Right. Okay. What now? Um, talk to Edmund. Edmund found your daughter. She's on the table. He's like, no, no, Josh. That's a picture of her. No. Oh, I see. I see the issue here. I watch your YouTube videos to fall asleep to. My first time catching a stream seems pretty dope. Thanks for helping me fall asleep. You're more than welcome. It's my, my role in this world I've come to accept is to help people fall asleep quicker. Why is there a mouth cam? Because I'm sitting badly. It's a chest cam. Some people are into that. And I thought, you know what? I can facilitate. I can facilitate. Hi, Evan. I've got the gas mask now. Good stuff. Now for the digging. You guys ready for some ASMR? Beneath us are the Ardoon sewers. I've done some research, and I reckon you can use them to access West Ardoin. I've already tried digging down to them, but the soil is rock hard. You need to pour on several buckets of water to soften it up. I reckon... Four buckets should do it. Okay, I can do that. Bucket of milk. Don't know if I need that. Uh, mud patch. All right, I need some buckets. Okay, where are we going to get some buckets from? Uh, I can't wield the katana. I've got the thing, the, the, the drink. Double eye patch. I need that on it instead. The parrot's there. I can eat a swordfish. I require a bucket. Uh, grab that bucket there. Right, I require some water. Let me get this floor wet. Right, where are you? Use the bucket on the sink. And not you, alright? Don't take that. I'm not talking about you. 
I'm talking about grabbing the bucket of water and throwing it onto the floor. You pour the water onto the soil. The soil softens slightly. It's starting to get wet. Let's grab another bucket of water. Thank you very much for the thousand bits. That's remarkably, remarkably kind of you. Hope you're enjoying the show. Let's do it again, shall we? You pour the water onto the soil. The soil softens slightly. All right, so we've got two buckets of water on it. Let's do it. Flood this garden. Oh, this garden is being flooded. Worry not. May, uh... You pour the water onto the soil. The soil softens slightly. You call this entertainment? Oh, Chandler, I can get way worse. Don't you worry about that. Okay, what's the rules for that kind of stuff? What the rules? What's the rules for the lazy man? Okay, cool. So it's very simple. Um... I want to get a quest cape in Old School RuneScape, but I want to do as little work as possible. And if at any point I think, you know what, this is just too much effort, I don't want to do this, you've got to do it for me. For example, uh, I need to be over there in the garden to pour the bucket of water onto it, but I also don't want to walk there, so I'm going to follow Big Velvet. Uh, Velvet, could you walk over to that place on the garden, please, for me? Basically, Lazy Man Mode is how much progress can I make in RuneScape doing as little yeah thank you that's close enough how much progress can i make in runescape doing as little as possible it's the opposite of iron man mode i am doing nothing independently you can trade me whatever you want i don't want to grind at all if i need items to complete a quest you've got to give them to me if i need to get somewhere i need to follow someone getting there if you want me to teleport somewhere you got to give me a teleport tablet i am going to get a quest cape and i'm going to do as little as physically possible now, there will be parts of the game where I have to take over, you know? I have to. Like, you know, you've got to at some point. You've, I've got to take over in instances. I've got to do bosses, that kind of stuff. Lazy man mode seems depressing, to be honest. Mate, we're playing a 22-year-old children's medieval point-and-click game. Let's not bring up depression. We're all trying to beat that. This is what's meant to distract us from that. You dig deep into the soft soil. Suddenly, it crumbles away. Fall through into the sewers. Edmund follows you. People are like, <laughs> oh, 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 fake laughter hiding real pain. Yeah, I'm glad I wasn't drinking during that monologue. Oh, <laughs> give it enough time, I'm sure you will be. Right, let's open this grill over here. Attempt to pull the grill in the south of the sewer. Here we go. Yeah, so Lazy Man is basically me doing as little as possible. I mean, I'm, I'm actually very upset that I've got to bother doing this bit by myself. Right, you tie the rope to the grill, you ask Edmund. Oi, Edmund, your daughter's probably dead. Come and help me pull this grill off with a rope. All right, let's get to it. Come on, Edmund. So yes, lazy man mode is very much I'm doing as little as possible. All right, come on, Edmund. Yeah, there we go. Good one. Once you're in the city, look for a man called Jethink. All right, okay, that... Oh, that wasn't... That was timed. Normally, you have to click through for it to fit. Oh, good. You guys are all here now. Fantastic. Ah, fantastic. Flam, thank you for coming to join us. Just let me climb up this pipe. Sorry, guys. You guys came to help me, but uh, I'm just... Can't wait for Lazy Man Underground Pass. Uh, um, okay, Jethink, you're over there. Jethnik. Jeth Jethnik? Oh. Jethik. Yo, Jethik. Hello. I don't recognize you. We don't get many newcomers around here. I'm wearing a mask. Oh, cool. The plague, of course. Not many people want to come to a place like this, and the few that do normally get stopped by the mourners. All you'll find here now are the dead and the dying. Even our own king has abandoned us. Oh, cool. Yes, King Tyrus of West Ardun. He was the brother of King Lathus, the ruler of East Ardun. So where is the crew? Well, he's been always been a bit of an explorer. He's led multiple expeditions into the uncharted lands to the west. The plague first started when he came back from one of these expeditions. More than a few suspect that some of his men caught it out there and brought it back with them. The king didn't care, though. He just left on another expedition to the west. Hasn't been seen since. He left the city warder Bravek in charge, but he's no better. 
Anyway, you clearly didn't come here to talk about the kings. So tell me, what brings you to West Ardoon? <laughs> East Ardunian women are easier to find in East Ardoon. Not many would come to West Ardoon to find one, although the name is familiar. What does she look like? You showed you thick, the picture. Ah, yes. She came over here to help the plague victims. I think she's staying over with the, the Rhinison family. They live in the small timbered building at the far north side of town. I've not seen her around in a while, mind. I don't suppose you could run me a little errand while you're over there. I borrowed this book from them. Can you return it? <laughs> Jethic gives you a book. Right, sweet. Uh, we need to go over there. That is far too far. Big Velvet, please walk me over there. Please, Josh. It's Ardoni. I'm going to start pronouncing it R Duggle DD because no one can agree on how it is said. So we're just going with Ardy Duggle. Ardy Dardy from now on. We're saying Ardy Dardy. That's what's happening. Right. Thank you for bringing me all the way over here. This is good. Open the door. Go away. We don't want any. <laughs> ah. Why didn't you say then? Come in. You hand the book to Ted as you enter. Thanks. I've been missing that. Fantastic. There you are. Martha, talk to you. <laughs> yes, she was staying here. But slightly over a week ago, she was getting ready to go back. However, she never managed to leave. My daughter Millie was playing near the west wall when she saw some shadowy figures jump out and grab her. Millie is upstairs if you wish to speak to her. Shadowy figures, you say? Ardy Dardy. <laughs> Millie, be not afraid. <laughs> yes, I was near the southeast corner when I saw Elena walking by. I was about to run to greet her when some men jumped her. They shoved a sack over her head and dragged her into a building. It was the boarded up building with no windows in the southeast corner of West Ardy Duggledy Dardy. Well, guys, I guess we're going off to the west then. Let's open this door again and get out. Right, uh, Nova Foxtrot, please walk directly south of Ardy Duggledy Dardy, and we shall find the next part of the quest. She's been invited to an escape room. That's pretty much what it is. Stream is 400% value. Don't you dare. Don't you dare oversell me. All right, I am average at best. Six out of ten and proud of it. If you want actual skill at the game, I'm pretty sure Boaty's streaming. If you want to see a lazy guy drink an energy drink, fail, and then have an entire army of people guide him on what to do, you're welcome to stay. Just don't expect quality. I need to set the bar low. So whenever I do anything, you guys are like, Hey, Balmore, only crack royal nuts. Ah, yes, Balmore, enjoy. <laughs> I'm not reading it on stream, but I'm glad that you're happy. I mean, 6 out of 10 is above average. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. All right, thank you for the, uh... The door won't open. You notice a black cross on the door. The mourners are also in masks. Hang on. Look, we are acting in character. They are wearing masks. This is what they would sound like. Okay, we need to get approval from Bravek. Talk to the clerk in the large building to the north. Right. Uh, Bal Balmore, I'm trusting you. Balmore, please take me to the building to the north. Lazy man mode. Follow Letix playthrough. Pretty much. Yeah, you guys are just following me. If any one of you haven't done these quests, just do them as we do them. You could get a quest cape as well. This is not going to be a difficult thing. Balmore, I'm very much trusting you on this one, mate. I'm very drunk in the game. Just... Hanging out, you know, Black Dog, you've not let me down. Balmore, are you there? Balmore, have you have you gone? Flan, why are you not on my friends list? 
Flan? What's happening with this, Flan? Flan, say something so I can add to the friends list. How dare you not be on it? You... I don't know. There we go. Cool. Sorted and done. All right, Flan. I'm, I'm trusting you this time. Let's do this. Flan, uh, house to the north, please. I love that you changed hands for different masks. Thank you for noticing the detail that I put in. Three years at university. All right? Proper, full-on acting detail. That is the small stuff. That's the that's what elevates this stream from 5 out of 10 to 6 out of 10. It's the attention to detail with the masks. I wasn't going to do that. I didn't think you'd notice, but I thought, no, you deserve quality. Thank you. Vindicated. That's what I feel. Vindicated. Okay, where are we going? Oh, uh, we need to be south. We need to be in this building here, but... If you could please take me... Bal says, sorry, Josh, I was daydreaming. Understandable, mate. Totally understandable. We all get there. Chest cam, 7 out of 10. One button lower, 10 out of 10. That'd be too good. You're not getting that. In we go. Let's talk to you. Hello. Welcome to the civic office of West Ardy Duggledy Dada. How can I help you? <laughs> Rather you than me. The mourners normally deal with that stuff. You should speak to them. Their headquarters are right near the city gates. I'll see what I can do, I suppose. Mr. Bravek, there's a man here who really needs to speak to you. I suppose they can come in then if they keep it short. All right, where are you, Bravek? All right, cool, let's pop in. Bravek, we have to have a serious conversation, mate. My head hurts. I'll speak to you another day. This is really important to you. I can't possibly speak to you with me head spinning like this. I went a bit heavy on the drink again last night. <laughs> Curse my herbal issue. Made the best hangover cures. Darn inconvenient of her catching the plague. Do you know what's in the crew? Uh, let me think. Ouch. Oh, thinking isn't clever. Uh, yeah, she did scribble it down for me. Bravo hands you a tatty piece of paper. Read a scruffy note. Got a nugget of milk, then grind some horselet, rid of pestle and renortar. Ald gourd locklid leather milt, fnails add kme snip cross five. Perfect. Perfect reading of that note. Don't you even dare try to say. That, uh, that, that's not absolutely perfect. Okay, use chocolate dust on bucket of milk. Use snape grass on chocolate milk. You mix the snape grass into the bucket. Talk to Bravak. Oh, my head still hurts too much to think straight. Oh, for one of Trudy's hangover cures. <laughs> you give Bravak the hangover cure. Bravak gulps down the foul-looking liquid. Oh, that's much better. Thanks, that's the clearest me head's felt in a month. Ah, uh, now, what was it you wanted me to do for you? Well, the mourners deal with that sort of thing. Uh, well, I guess they're not taking the issue of a kidnapping seriously enough. They do go a bit far sometimes. I've heard of Elena. She has helped us a lot. Okay, I'll give you this warrant to enter the house. Bravak hands you a warrant. All right, sweet. How do they understand you? They are... Why are half of the RuneScape NPCs hammered? It's a very English game. It's a very British sense of design. Sounds like Sir Daniel Fortescue. It does, doesn't it? Thank you. I've, uh, I've taken a lot of inspiration from that. Right, we've got to go south. Uh, that's a long way. Uh, Foxtrot, your, uh, your lead on this taxi. Could you please take me to the door and open the door? Thanks. Oh, it's one of those doors where you've got to click it and it auto-closes. Oh, uh, hang on, everyone out the door. Everybody out the auto-close door. And then Foxtrot, you are... Uh, where are you? Foxtrot, your lead on this taxi. Please take us south. The older quests are very British, it's true. Now, I'm going to break the immersion of you thinking I'm really posh by just pouring some energy drink into a glass. I'm drinking from a glass because it looks posh, but it's just a can of something. It's fine. 
I need the caffeine from you guys. Lazy man mode is great. I've made so much progress while doing nothing. Don't wet yourself this time. Don't tell me what to do. Wet myself wherever I want. Ugh. This is the reason I have not crossed me as a house and I crossed by the truth. This is the reason for doing this thing to him. This is funny and I'm gonna translate. You wait until the mourner's back is turned and sneak into the building. Right, in the building. What now? Barrel. Flan, please walk me toward that barrel. One over there. I mean, you can't see it because it's not highlighted on your screen, but I assume that you're watching the stream, so... Thank you. Search barrel. You find a small key in the barrel. Uh, I'm right by the steps, so I'll just walk down. That's fine. <gasps> Elena! I will open the door and free you. You unlock the door. Spot on. Spot on. You might not think that was perfect acting, but it absolutely was. That's uh, all right. We can head back up. Everything's close enough now. Uh, oh, Parkling, you've changed from, you've changed from a clown into the Scream Killer from the Murder Mystery Quest. And I'll just follow Foxtrot to get over this part of the door and then go through this door here. I appreciate the, the commitment to the bit. That's what I appreciate. So thank you very much. Five hours of sitting and watching this and doing nothing else. Absolutely perfect. Velvet, you're always reliable. Uh, Velvet, can we go back north, please? We need to return to Edmund to finish the quest, which means we need to go back to the manhole in the kind of northern bit of the city. The one that's in the big open place. That's the one. I'm caught on the brick. So I'm going to uh, switch to Foxtrot instead. Foxtrot, you're in charge now. Just don't get me. I'm caught on the brick again. I'm switching to 10. 10, 21. You're here. Let's do this. Fantastic. You've gone forward a couple of steps. We've managed to... We've beaten the brick boss. Without a doubt, the hardest boss in all of East Ardoon. You've gone too far west now. We just need to go directly north. But I'm going to... The brick raid boss. I'm just going to stubble... Stubble? Stumble. Stumble behind you. Oh my god, we've got to complete one small favor with this. Oh, it's going to be interesting because I'm going to need you guys to help me. As I have said, if I am able to actually get a quest cape through doing this, I will travel to the Jagex headquarters in person and deliver them an actual custom-made physical quest cape dedicated to all of you. I will do that. I won't even tell them. I'll just turn up. Oh, uh, Velvet, could you walk me over to those rocks, please? Am I going to follow us to the HQ? Yes. Yes, I am. I will dedicate it to all of you. You appreciate the sternum cam. Thank you. Some people wanted a chest cam. I made it happen. Edmund's close enough. I can talk to him now. Thank you. Thank you. Elena beat you back by minutes. Now I've said I'll give you a reward. What can I give you as a reward, I wonder? Here, take this magic scroll. I have little use for it, but it may help you. You have completed Plague City. Fantastic. Now, I'd recommend you go and see Elena. She wants to thank you herself. She lives in the house opposite ours. Just make sure you eat your dinner before it gets cold. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate it. Right, so uh, Elena is over in that house. We don't need to do the biohazard quest yet. The next quest we need to do is Monk's Friend. All right, we require one jug of water and some logs. Right, should we do Monk's Friend? I think we should do Monk's Friend. It did sound like he was going to repay me in a different way, but hey, whatever he's got. We have learned the r duggle dee da da teleport spell. Fantastic. Monk's Friend, we start south of where we are. Who wishes to run there? Um, Velvet, you're always a reliable taxi. Velvet, could you please take me to the start of... 
Monk's Friend, which is Brother Omad in the monastery southwest of R. Duggledy -da, da da 18 mining, grats, indeed. Yeah, Elena wants to thank me in different ways. I'm gonna wait until you guys have all gone to go and get that thanks, it's fine. I love that we're being followed by one of the raid pets as well. That's pretty badass. How are we getting the skills for the higher quests? It's very simple. We are... Josh, we're getting bored seeing your chest hair cam. Where is the dock? I mean, that's... That's entirely understandable. The cat, however, is asleep. The cat is both asleep and adorable. And I unfortunately can't get the camera all the way down under the... Uh, under the desk. But I'm going to take a picture of the cat. And I'm going to put the picture on Twitter immediately. So anyone that wants to can just instantly hop onto the Josh Drive Hayes Twitter and see that right now. Hang on. Done. See? See, sorted you out. And while I've been doing that, while I've been working on Twitter, while I've been social mediaing, we've walked all the way to the Monk's Friend quest. Fantastic. Beautiful. Lazy Man Mode is the best thing I've ever invented. Ket wishes to trade. What are we trading? I'll take a trade. Oh, logs, jug of water, royal crown, royal gown top, royal scepter. Thank you very much. I was about to say logs, logs, and jug of water would be required, but apparently... We are now doing this like this. I. This is now the fashion we're going for. Royal top, crown, scepter, parrot, tight hot pants, and wizard boots. All right. This is who we are. Just accept this. This is our way. All right. Uh, yo, Brother Omad. How's it going, dude? Hello there. What's wrong? Oh, hello. I'm sorry. I'm just so tired. I haven't slept in a week. Why can't you sleep? What's wrong? <laughs> it's Brother Andrew's son with his constant... Ah, ah. Andrew said it's natural, but it's so annoying. Well, I suppose that's what uh, kids do. It was fine up until last week. Thieves broke in. Stole his favorite sleeping blanket. Now he won't rest until it's returned. That means neither could I. Do we start the Monk's Friends quest? Yes, we do. Oh, can I help at all? Oh, please do. We won't be able to help you as we are peaceful men, but we're just, we're just normal men. Just innocent men. But we would be grateful for your help. Right, where are they? They hide in a secret cave in the forest. It's hidden under a ring of stones. Please, bring back the blanket. That button's holding on for dear life. This one. This one just here. That's one I can take halfway out. But you know what I could do? I could take it halfway out and then just immediately end the chess camera. That's what we could do. You wouldn't know. Is that what you want? Are you happier like that? You don't get that. You know what? For your, for your terrible voyeurism, I'm doing another one up. Chess cam's back, but look. All you've got now is shirt. 10 out of 10 for 0.2 seconds. Well, that's what you wanted. Why are the frogs everywhere? Are they for me? Well, have fun. I've got a murder to solve. Go on, Crin, enjoy it. Okay, what are we doing now? We are off to go down the ladder in the Circle of Stones west of the monastery. That seems like it's a long way away. Um, Foxtrot. Foxtrot, please take me to the Circle of Stones to the west of the monastery. I don't want to bother walking there. That's a long way. This is lazy man mode. I thought you were all here for the uh, the high quality RuneScape gameplay. Not the open chest cam. But I suppose I should know my audience slightly better, shouldn't I? Just came here, obviously missed all the goodies. Will I make a video about Warhammer Online? Eventually, yes. Eventually, I'll make a video about everything. It does take a while to get there. Yep, join the train... What is, like, the sexiest setup that I could have? Obviously, the hot pants are staying. You know, we're not changing the hot pants. They are staying. 
Is the gas mask required? Is the gas mask needed? Is the woven top needed? Because I think the gas mask adds a, a great deal of kind of bondage to this. I don't know if that's what we should have been going for, but it's definitely what's there. Yeah. The gas mask is a real... Yeah, the gas mask got the whole leather boy feel to it, hasn't it? Uh, we need to be going this way. There we go. Thank you. This is where we need to be. Chest cam is back. I almost started a riot in Fally. Do we go with the... Or do we go with, like, the royal gown top? Or the elegant shirt? I mean, don't get me wrong. The royal gown top looks good. That, to me... That, to me, is very... I feel like I'm going to go to a, a club. I'm thinking maybe we go with the royal top. Scepter, 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 and trousers. All right. This looks good to me. Let's climb down the ladder, see what there is. Is there a bandit down here? Oh, yeah, there's actual fights and stuff down here, isn't there? You guys might need to help me out killing some bandits. So, Flan, I'm following you. I am trusting you to get me to the child's, ban the child's blanket and then kill these bandits while I'm there. Yeah. Beer instead of scepter. Oh, how bad? <laughs> Flan, I'm really sorry, but you just got a one. You used your spec. <laughs> Those bandits were terrified that you just ran in and tried to... Um, it was the it was the ancient god sword spec. I'm sorry, but you hit a one. That was really it was really lackluster. All right, Balmore, could you please could you please get us out of here, Balmore? I've grabbed a child's blanket and now need to be taken away. Uh, yep, back to the thing, back to the place. The army can deal with the bandits, not a problem at all. Uh, Balmore, I'll trust you again. You are redeeming yourself after daydreaming away. Thank you for wearing a chef's outfit. I appreciate it. We need to go back to the monk and give them the thing back. You are helping. Ten, you are helping. You know what? You're even being added as a friend. There we go. RuneScape and RNG. I don't think Lazy Strife. Hey, Josh. Love from Brazil. Hello, Brazil. How are you doing? Literally the entire country of Brazil is watching the stream right now. I'm, uh, I feel very privileged for that. Brother Omad. Hello. Oh, hello again. Please tell me you have the blanket. I have recovered it from the clutches of the evil thieves. You hand the monk the child's blanket. Oh, that's excellent. Well done. Maybe now I'll be able to get some rest. I'm off to bed. Farewell, brave travelers. Like, that That cannot be the entire quest. Hey, Omad, you got some more stuff for me? How are you doing? Much better. Now I'm sleeping well. Now I can organize the party. Oh. Oh, what party? The son of Brother Andro's birthday party. He's going to be one year old. He's a one-year-old. He's not going to remember the party. Um, so look, parties for one-year-olds are for the parents and the people that come to the party, not the kid. They won't remember it. If you want to throw a party for any reason, just do it. Like one of the cool things about being an adult, you can just throw a party. It's absolutely fine. If you want to throw a party, you can throw a party. Also, it's a great excuse for a drink. Omad, now we're on the same page, mate. Now we're, we're singing from the same hymn sheet. I like this now. We just need Brother Cedric to return with the wine. Who's, uh, who's Cedric? Oh, Cedric is a member of the Order, too. We sent him out three days ago to collect wine, but he did not return. He's probably got drunk and lost in the forest. <laughs> oh, oh, classic Cedric. That is, that is peak Cedric right there. That is Cedric all over. We all know what he does. I don't suppose you can go and look for him. Yeah, I'll go and look. Where do I find him? Won't be far. Probably out in the forest. All right, cool. Uh, who's taking lead on this one? Who wishes to taxi? You know what, Flan? You've taken the lead. Go for it. Flan, please take us to Brother Cedric in the the forest, kind of north-ish of where we are. I would never go to a party that has people... Yeah, that's Poopenberg. I... First of all, I appreciate the fact that your name is Captain Stinky von Poopberg. I believe that was a famous saying by... Was it Oscar Wilde? I wouldn't wish to be a part of any club that would gladly have me. Brother Cedric, are you okay? Yes. I'm very drunk. Brother Omad needs the wine for the party. Oh dear. Oh dear. I knew I had to do something. Please, help me find a jug of water. When I am sober... I will help you take the wine back. Okay, you know what? 
Do you guys want to know a little tip, genuinely? Uh, was it Groucho Marx? Let me give you a tip, Jen. This is an acting tip from me to you. Sober, sorry, drunk people try to act sober. They really do. So if you have to act drunk on stage, amateur actors tend to walk out slurring all over the place, spilling everywhere, falling out, you know, being as drunk as they possibly can. Actual drunk people try really hard to convince you they're sober. And what they tend to do is stare at you, their eyes go a bit wider than normal, and they talk a little bit slower, and everything they say is really important to them. So that tends to be how it sounds. So if you need to act drunk on stage, it's just, Oh, my head. I need a jug of water. Cedric, here, drink. I have some water. Good stuff. My head's spinning. If you need to pretend to be drunk... Yeah, hardcore actors just perform drunk. Yeah, we do. That's exactly what we do. There's actually a um, an English troupe called Shitfaced Shakespeare. And what they do is, it's a group of professional actors, but one actor, normally the lead actor from whatever Shakespeare play is happening, will slowly drink more and more and more and more and more throughout the performance. And so by the end of it, the lead actor is incredibly drunk, and they are trying as hard as they can to keep the play going. And all of the other actors who are playing the smaller parts have to sometimes remind the main actor what their lines are, what their role is, where their positions on stage are, what they should be doing. Yeah, that's what they do. Now I need to fix this cart and we can go and party. Thanks, Cedric. Could you help? Yep, I'd be happy to. What do you need, mate? I need some wood. Some of you have bad minds. Some of you really do. <laughs> Delivery's like, <laughs> wood. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's... Uh, I'll get you some wood, mate. Here you go. Did you manage to get wood? You show Cedric your log. Here you go. Well done. Now I'll fix this cart. You head back to Brother Omad and tell him I'll be there soon. All right, cool. See you later, dude. Um, who's... who's around? You know what? Darcy. Darcy, would you please lead us back with your... I mean, you do look like a... you look like a celebration leader. You look like the master of ceremonies. It's very impressive. You look good. This this is... Look at this adventuring troop. How scared would you be if you were a boss, like a raid boss, and this troop ran at you? The master of ceremonies, the king in hot pants, and then like an actual elite group of really, really well-equipped adventurers behind them. You'd be confused, but then terrified. That's what you would be. Talk to Brother Omad. Your brother Cedric's on his way, all done and sorted. I have little to repay you, but here's eight law runes. I did... Did you just... It's party time, guys! Everybody party! There's balloons! Everybody dance now! Do, 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 do. Everybody dance now. It's a demand. Do it. I'll dance. Feel the... I am a slave to the rhythm. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. RuneScape moment. Right there. Congratulations, you've completed Monk's Friend. Woodcutting experience. Woodcutting is now 14. I haven't cut a single tree down since I've played the game. Uh, good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you doing, uh, Irish? Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Careful. Don't get content ID with that rendition. It was very close to the actual song. That's true. Very close. Almost pitch perfect. But uh, that's, that's part of the... It's my curse to live with being able to do pitch-perfect impressions of songs. Okay, the next optimal ordering is the Hazeel Cult. Items required non, items recommended thingy, Almo if taking Serral's side. If you side with Hazeel and are being guided to help Serral, just click the box. All right, to switch to Hazeel. No, this is fine. Talk to Serral Carnelian in the southwest of Ardoon. I'm going to break the Ardoon tablet. You guys are going to meet me there. Oh no, yep, we've... This is the Valve's one. Yes, it is. This is the... I've, I'm using the Quest Helper. There's going to be almost absolutely nothing to do. It's fine. We're just using the Valve's one. Darcy. Yep, let me just uh, add you as a friend. I'm Noah has <laughs> come to dance. Thank you, Noah. It's good to see you again, by the way. I'm glad that you got involved in this. Uh, Flan, could you please lead us to the Carnelian House? which I believe is southwest of East Ardoon. It's that big house over there. No, it's it's over there. Just just go that way. You know where you're going. Sick. First time catching a stream, but I make my first message a good one. Edge, 
That was a good... You know what? Let's do a poll. Edge's first message was sick. First time catching a stream. I better make my first message a good one. Guys, was that a good message? Yes or no? It's up to the viewers now. There is a poll starting. Was that a good message? Yes or no? Now, obviously, these are, you know, regular viewers of the stream, so they are going to 50% this in. It's going to happen. At least part of his message was a good one. Yeah, you know what? 69% of people think that was a good message. That is a good number of people to think, this is my first message. I'm not wearing pants. Same. You know. Mood. I feel you. I feel you. Hello there. Blooming. Now, what, what voice should he have? That's too deep for him. It's just like a regular dude. Blooming, thieving, cultist. No, you know what he should be is AI. That's what he should be. Blooming, thieving, cultists. Why don't they leave me alone? Stirring them up, that's what I say. What's, what's wrong? It's those blooming cultists from the south. They keep breaking into my house. Have they taken much? Well, no. Sorry. Well, dot, 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 no. They stole a suit of armor when they first broke in months ago, but they've been back four more times since then and taken nothing. I, I see, and you are... You don't know me. Why, I am Sir Saral Carnelian. Mine is quite a famous bloodline, you know. We've played a vital role in the politics of our Duggledy Dada for many generations. Well, I'm Lazy Strife. Maybe I can help you with these cultists. Interesting. I suppose the authorities haven't been much help so far. Yes, very well. If you return the stolen armor, I will provide you with a modest cash reward. Do we start the Hazeel cult quest? Yeah, of course, I'd be happy to help. That's very noble of you. Keep that attitude up, and one day you might have the honor of working full-time for someone like me. Now, I caught a glimpse of the thieves leaving, but due to, uh, my cold, I was unable to give chase. What I do know is they belong to some sort of cult. They seem to be based in a cave just south of the city near the clock tower. I always knew Josh was an AI. How do you know that? My old butler, Higson, once followed them there. Unfortunately, the next night he died in his sleep. That's awful. No, it's okay. Jones, a replacement from the Servants Guild, arrived the next day. He's been great. Makes an excellent broth. Right, I'll see if I can uh, find the cave. Why would we pay for text-to-speech when I can just do it? It's fine. Eventually, this kind of AI impression will be phased out in favor of the Uncanny Valley AI voice that actually sounds exactly like this. Watch out, they seem to be based. Look, to do an AI impression, it's very simple. Just read every single word as if it's the only word the person says, because that's all AI does. Uh, Nova, could you please take us to the southeast? Thank you. Doing the voice is going to lead to Josh developing an AI speech impediment. What you need to remember about AI is they don't understand the idea of a cadence or flow or any kind of beats within a sentence. So they read every single word as if it's the only word it's reading and they don't bother emphasizing anything because AI doesn't know where to put emphasis. And even if it did, it doesn't have that word programmed in a way that can emphasize it. So if people want to use my voice to train an AI, I would literally just speak in an AI voice the entire time and confuse them. Right, down into the cave entrance. Let's pop down here. I'm very drunk, my character in. Enter the cave entrance. Here we go. We started the quest. Hazeel Cult. Enter the cave south of the clock tower. And I assume we right-click talk to Clivet. You can choose to decide with him or the Canelians. Talk to Clivet. Hello there. Who are you? You can call me Clivet. What do you want, adventurer? Do you know the Carnelians? Carnelians? Don't think I've ever heard of them. 
Look, I know you're lying. I know all about your cult. Is that so? In that case, I'd say you'd be wise to leave now. Unfortunately, I have a job to do, and I'm not leaving until it's done. Ah, I see. That two-faced snob has made you fall for his propaganda, eh? What's that supposed to mean? The Carnelian home does not belong to them. It was built long ago by the great Lord Hizil, who once ruled over this entire region. Many years ago, the Carnelians led a rebellion against Lord Hazel and all who followed him. Under the cover of darkness, they stormed his home in an angry mob, torturing and butchering everyone they found. The following morning, the Carnelian forefathers moved into the empty household and claimed it as their own. They have grown fat on the hard work of Lord Hazel ever since. Right? And what happened to this Lord Hazel? This is, uh, this is what's happening, guys. This is carrying on. After your video on Albion, I gave the game a try. I played it for four days straight. Got scared. It's a good game. It's got strength to it. Those foolish Carnelians believed him dead. Unluckily for them, being an all-powerful Majarat gave him access to powers and enchantments that some may consider unnatural. Is it possible to learn this power? Not from a Saradumist. As they stormed his home, Lord Hazel made preparations for his eventual return. We, his faithful followers, have been working to bring that about ever since. Have it on Sieg to the North. Not yet. Not yet. What makes you think I care about politics and history of our duggledy da 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 da? I could kill you right now and be done with it. But I don't think you're the fool the Carnelians believe you to be. Instead, I offer you a chance to join us. Help us bring about the return of Lord Hazel, and you will be well rewarded. However, should you continue to try and prevent his return, you will suffer the wrath of Zamorak. Hmm. All right. I've made my decision. And... Who do we help, guys? I'm polling this. Now, you can pretty much complete the quest either way. Do we help the house or join Zamorak? You have got... Don't 50-50 this. I'm looking for actual information. Do we help the house or do we join Zamorak? Kill him for calling you a scrub. Think you might be threatening some kind of harm. I need more time to think on this. Cult time. If you help the house, I'm pretty sure the Carnelian dude ends up apologizing to you. Because, yeah, they did kill a lot of people in their early days, but they killed a lot of cultists, and the cultists were Zamorakians, and we don't really care about that. What would you do if the poll had exactly zero votes? I would stop playing RuneScape and start playing Adventure Quest. That's what I would do. What kind of name is Hazil? Do you, like, do you don't like that? Do you not like the name? You know what to do, guys. It's... Oh, my God. It's going to be a 50-50 vote, isn't it? And here I was, just wanting to gather information. Gain some stuff. Wait, for real? Okay, I actually like Adventure Quest. So, I think... I have a personal kind of history and enjoyment with Adventure Quest. I like it. We missed out on Adventure... Help the house! 51%, 91 to 89, had one person who voted for the house, voted for Zamorak, you would have 50 50 it. Exactly. Right. I won't help you. I am helping the house still. I won't help you. Then you are a fool. Go back to your small minded little life. You will never know the glories that you could have tasted as one of us. You know I'm going to stop you, right? You'll try, but you'll never find us. Clivette jumps onto the nearby raft and pushes off into the sewer system. Interesting. What next? Right. I guess uh, we're going back up the stairs. Turn the valve west of the clock tower to the right. Apocalypse. please take me to the valve west of the clock tower. I could have made it 50-50, but I'd never side with Zamorak. If we get 50% with exact numbers, we're not restarting the entire account, but we'll do something. Is this a new account? Yeah, it's called Lazy Strife. 
It's my lazy man mode. It is lazy man mode. RuneScape is new to me. Is your character okay? Yes, it's because I've got the Ale of the Gods equipped, which makes you do the drunk animation the entire time. Instead, I can equip my katana, which has been folded over a thousand times, made from glorious nippon steel. All right, turn the sewer valve. Uh, turn it to the right. Done. All right, uh, Balmore. Can you please take me to the valve north? Just over there, the one that's to the north. The north place. I didn't say nipple steel, I said nippon. Nippon steel. Nipple steel is way out of my budget. Uh, Balmore, all you're doing is following me, and that means I'm following you, but we need to get over there. Right now, between you and me is this bridge. Um, no, we. I've committed now. I've committed. Why would you take that guy's nipples? Look, Jack, why do my free time is up to you? Yeah, you've got this, Balmore. I believe in you. Balmore, when you come back, mate, you're going to feel very foolish. I could follow somebody else. We have a lot of other people here willing to help, but I've pretty much committed to... Come on, Balmore. I don't know how long you're going to be away from the keyboard, but I, I just need you to walk over there. I just need you to go north. That's all we need you to do. It's just one thing. Cons we believe in Balmore the Daydreamer. Balmore. Balmore 7. What happened to Balmore's 1 through 6? Who knows? How long do we give him? Like, l legit, how long do we wait until Balmore doesn't come back? You know what? Noah, we don't see you often. Noah, I'm believing in you instead. Noah, it's okay. Balmore reminds me of Balmora as well. Yeah, Balmora. The, um... I actually, you know when I was deciding what game to play today, I was very close to playing Morrowind. Uh, we turn this valve to the right. Turn sewer valve to the right. Okay, that's all done and sorted. We turn the valve east of the clock tower to the left. Noah, I am relying on you again. Can you please take me to the valve east of the clock tower? He's not AFK, we're just performing together. Love you, YouTube content. Glad I finally caught your streams. Welcome. Thank you very much for enjoying the videos. Hopefully you're having a good time. This is RuneScape Lazy Man Mode, where I do as little work as possible. Are the other RuneScape games worth trying? Would you ever do a worst MMO for it? So I like RuneScape 3. I think there's a lot of charm to it. It's got a lot of character. There are good systems. There are bad systems. It can definitely do with some improvements, but as a game, I think it is a decent game. I think RuneScape 3 is much better played Iron Man than it is played regular, um, but that's just me because it makes you explore all of the content. The problem with RuneScape 3, and this is going to sound silly, is there is so much content that when you want to play RuneScape 3, you want to play efficiently. You want to have, you know, everything ready to, to maximize the experience you're going to gain over a period of time. But there are so many systems in RuneScape 3 that you need to have active at the same time that it's overwhelming to do and you will never achieve all of them. And so you tend to not want to train anything because you're not being efficient because you have so many systems you need to activate at the same time. It's... You have to kind of accept that RuneScape 3 will never be played efficiently. It's it's impossible to play it efficiently. There is too much stuff. Turn the valve next to the zoo to the right. Darcy, you are next to us. The valve next to the zoo. That one over there, please. So yeah, there's just too many things. Yeah, there is so much to do in RuneScape 3 that you log in, you see it, and you log out because it's overwhelming. And that's a... Uh, you never want the player to feel overwhelmed. You want them to know they have a lot to do, but you don't want them to feel like they have to do a lot. Turn this to the right. That has been turned to the right. Turn the valve north of the monastery to the right. Darcy, I'm relying on you again. Valve to the north of the monastery. Is that one over there, please? Kind of got the issue with ESO. Yeah. You want the player to be whelmed. You don't want them to be underwhelmed or overwhelmed. You want them to log into a game and think, yes, this is exactly what I expected and exactly what I wanted. This is whelming. That's good. Re-enter the cave. Okay, Darcy, please take me back to the cave. Same thing as Retail WoW. Yeah, it's, it's very overwhelming. RuneScape 3 is an interesting game. The only way to win is not to play. Good, good reference there to war games. People often say to me, oh, it's, 
if you are very deeply enfranchised in an MMORPG and I say, oh, your game is overwhelming, and you often say to me, no, it's not. You just need to do this, 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 and this, and it's easy. This is what I ask people to do. Go and play an MMORPG that you have never played and see how long it takes until you get overwhelmed or feel that the opening experience is not very good. And then please understand that is what new players feel about your game. That's exactly what it is. I mean, I like Adventure Quest, but when I log into Adventure Quest, the opening screen does not feel new player friendly at all. It's almost like the opening screen assumes that you are returning to the game after several years, or you've been playing it for absolutely ages and know exactly what to do. Yeah. I don't even know where to go in Adventure Quest Classic. It's not very well laid out at all. Although I like the game, it's just, oh, it's very awkward to play. As soon as the game tries to install spyware anti-cheat, just, uh, yeah, don't. I know you talked about Lost Ark a year ago when it got released, but did your opinion change? Not even played it. Didn't even want to. Had no desire to whatsoever. Uh, Flan, I'm trusting you. Please take me to that person over there. Yeah, that's the one. Alamone. Alomone. That's who I want to talk to. Uh, I'm using my glorious katana. I've got it on chop. No, I'll stick it on slash. That's fine. Talk to Alamone. What time is bedtime? Probably after this quest, to be fair. Is Path of Exile overwhelming to new players? Depends. Have a look at player retention. That's the only way to do it. This reminds you of Genfanad. It should. Genfanad copied RuneScape in a good way. What accent does Alamon have? How did you get in here? I've come for the Carnelian family armor. Hand it over or face the consequences. I thought I made it clear to Jones that you could not be allowed to interfere with our mission. The incompetent fool must be going soft. So the butler's part of your little cult. Why is it always the butler? I should have known. Well, you won't live long enough to tell anyone. Die. Attack Alamone. Bop. Bop. Dead. All right, cool. Alamone is... is dead. Kill Alamone and pick up the Carnelian armor. There is no armor. Search the chest. You find some armor in the chest. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Talk to Cyril upstairs in his house. Oh, God, we've got to get back to the house. <sighs> Fine. Noah, please take me to the raft. It's too far away to walk. Now the cool voice is gone. Yes, it is. The katana was actually sharper than the godsword spec. That's very true. Very, very true. MMORPG designer. Thank you for the bow there, Noah. That was... I appreciated that. You walked all the way there. A little bow at the end. It's its the small details that I appreciate. I noticed these things. It's the small details. Oh, I've got to walk over there. That's too far. Flan, please take me there. I felt overwhelmed when my friend was telling me how great Final Fantasy XIV is. Yeah, it's, it's very, very much. It was a pleasurable experience and people are weirdly friendly. Yes, they are. Hope you're well, Josh. Been going through your worst MMO ever videos. I'm really glad you've enjoyed them. Why are we going this way? We need to go... Oh, I see. We've got to go around this way. Noah, there's a drunken dwarf. Do not. Do not ignore them. Am I ever going to do a worst MMO for Pirate 101? Eventually, yes. It's on the list. Justin, thank you for the cheers. But no, I will. There's, there's a lot of games I want to do stuff for. A lot of games. Without a doubt. But we're going to get around there eventually. You can run, by the way. I've turned on run energy because I'm I'm full of stamina right now. I am a stamina man. Which MMO gives the best getting better or accomplishing something feeling? I would probably say Guild Wars 1. And people can argue about whether it is or isn't an MMORPG, but when you get stronger in Guild Wars 1, you feel stronger, which I very much like. Right, so we are... Hang on. Talk to... Cyril upstairs in his house. Right. S Cyril? Cyril? Hello? Oh no. Cyril's not here. What? Where? Oh, are we going upstairs again? Knock at wall? 
Hello. Nope, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary there. Are they hiding? Downstairs works. Oh, are they... Is Cyril down here? Cyril, Butler... Oh, Cyril, you're downstairs. Cyril was, uh, if you remember correctly, he was the AI voice, so we'll keep going with this. Okay. You're back. Have you had any luck yet? Look, I've recovered your armor. Well done. I must say, I am very impressed. Come on, hand it over. You give the armor to Cyril. Before we send you on your way with your payment, I'll just get Jones to whip you up a batch of his special broth. I'd rather not, if it's all the same to you. Apparently Jones is in league with the cultists. What? Right. You. You're going to blooming well sort this out right now once and for all. Jones, this commoner says you had something to do with the cultists that stole my armor. What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing to do with me, sir. I am, as you know, a loyal servant. Hmm, quite right too. I cannot fathom why this scoundrel would accuse you of such a crime without evidence to back up the accusations. Right, I have made a decision. I have given my word as a nobleman to reward you for your efforts in receiving my armor, but I must also compensate Jones for this terrible slander. Now, take this and leave, and don't darken my doorstep again. Don't worry, sir. He won't be bothering us anymore. Jones smirks at you. You are going to need more than words to prove his treachery. Congratulations, you have kind of completed the Hazel cult. But no, Jones is treacherous. We need to do more. Search the cupboards upstairs in the room. Yo, why is Cyril monotone? Because he's powered by an AI. Yeah, no, he's just straight up powered by an AI. That's all he is. You search the cupboard and find a bottle of poison along with a mysterious amulet. And what do we have here? Cyril? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just ratting on this dude right now. Cyril's powered by an AI. That's what happens. What do you want now, you scoundrel? Take a look at what I've found. What's this? Poison. Jones. Just for killing rats, sir. Right. But this amulet. I recognize this. Those cultists wore amulets like this. Jones, we trusted you. We took you into our home. You see, I, old fool. It was all too easy. I should have killed you and your pathetic family weeks ago. Guard. This man is one of those cultists. Take him away. Don't think this is over, Cyril. You will die at the hands of the Hazel cult. I promise you that. Well... It looks like I am indebted to you. No problem, we'll make mistakes. But if it weren't for you, my whole family, we could have been. I apologize for my harshness before. The very least I can do is to reward you for your noble efforts and to offer my sincerest apologies as a gentleman. Thank you. No, no, thank you. Feel free to stop by any time, adventurer. You have completed Hazel Cult. One quest point, one and a half thousand thieving, two thousand coins. Thieving is now level 18. We are the best thieves. And I am being warned in the chat box that I will be auto-logged out in 30 minutes, which means we've been playing for five and a half hours. Fantastic. Sounded a bit human at the end there, Josh. I did, unfortunately. When will we get a Josh Dive Hayes text-to-speech generator? I don't know. As soon as I can be bothered to make one. Anyway, ladies and gents, why is auto log out? Uh, because if you play RuneScape for six hours, you get auto logged out. Ladies and gents, let's see how far along we are. We started today on something like 25 quest points. We're up to 48. We have completed 24 out of 156 quests. That's not bad. That's legit not bad. If we can complete three to four quests a stream, we're on track to get a quest cape. It's going to take us some time. But we are on track. Anyway, go to sleep, get some rest. It's Sunday night, isn't it, tonight? I will be streaming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for the foreseeable future. I want to maintain a consistent streaming schedule. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It will either be RuneScape Lazy Man mode, or it will be reading the Choose Your Own Adventure books, or it will be playing another MMO if I feel like it. Anyway, ladies and gents, have 
a lovely evening. And I will see you on Friday evening around 8pm GMT for more Lazy Man Mode. Take care, good night, and God bless.